Did you know that the Jewelry Maker phone number is free from a UK landline? Now you can spend those extra pennies on more shopping. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Not sure what materials you'll need? Then tune in to Jewellery Maker between 7pm and 9pm throughout January for our Get Started show. We'll guide you through how to get started with step-by-step -step tutorials. Our talented designers will give you advice, inspiration and introduce you to new mediums. Start off the new year with a new hobby. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know when you book on a Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Jewelry Maker on this Monday. Do you know it's the last Monday in January 2006? Where did January go? There's like two minutes since Christmas Day, doesn't it? You know, it's a m calendar month today since Christmas Day. Ridiculous. Now, what, what is going on? <laughs> I always remember talking, I, I, not talking to, reading an article by Jeremy Clarkson saying that once you hit your sort of 30s and your 40s, it's like life has got a jet propeller on it and it just goes vroom. <laughs> it's gone, he's quite right. Um, no, don't forget, I'm gonna, shall I give you a sneaky peek? In case you've not joined us earlier, uh, this is my dealer that we had to make. There's no question we could make, not make these our dealer of the day. I've got three of them. They are, they are Phenomenal. Every superlative I could possibly muster up for these. They are gorgeous. They are solid 925 sterling silver. You've got a crown at each end of the actual toggle bar itself. You've got that beautiful detailed crown on the actual toggle sort of clasp itself. It doesn't have to be a toggle clasp. You could have that as a beautiful charm. You could have that as a beautiful, um, you could put your threads through there, your ribbons that you had earlier. You could make cufflinks, tennis bar bracelets, feature clasps, earrings. I mean, imagine those as an earring. Oh. Wouldn't they be lovely? Fantastic. Yeah, just beautiful. So those are my deal of the day, coming up for you in 15 minutes. That's it, I'm not gonna make you wait for them. So get ready for those. Um, now, I did promise you some red spinel, didn't I? Um, and it's amazing. Okay, so if you did just get the... I'm thinking about that lovely ruby that we've just done for you. That 115 carats of ruby for 17.95. If you did manage to get that, you couple that with this ruby, uh, red spinel. Because don't forget, a lot of people think ruby, ru red spinel is ruby. But, but red spinel, way rare, way, way, way rarer massively so now this has been mistaken for ruby for centuries in fact it wasn't until the late 19th century that there was no distinction between red spinel and ruby they look almost identical they're often from the same location they also share the same desirable visual properties that you're looking for uh, as well as the same chemical structure and both rubies and spinel get their red color from chromium okay so um, both of them are understandably mistaken for one another. I mean, that massive, if you've ever seen it, um, in the Crown Jewels, big carrot weight, uh, which was believed to be um, a ruby, is in fact a red spinel. 
So, being confused, as I said, and even made its way into the Imperial State Crown and the Crown Jewels. Um, in fact, um, you know, uh, the, the Black Prince's ruby, which is in the British State, uh, Imperial State Crown, um, Henry V thought it was a ruby, but in fact, it's a 170 carat red spinel. Okay, now I'm really restricted on this. I'll never be able to. It's it's a bit it's a bit like rare gemstones, like um like your jadeite, your amber, your tanzanite. I'll never be able to bring bring you a big amount of red spell. Never. It just is not in existence. It's a rare, rare, rare gem. Far far rarer than a ruby. It's gorgeous. Now this is one of the most collectible of the spinel. And we love our black spinel. I'm mean, oh gosh, imagine. In fact, Helen, could you pop over that faceted black spinel at the, at the kit? Would you mind? Would you mind, Gord? Just, just, just the black spinel. Oh, bless you. That's fine. Thank you, sweet pea. Thank you, gorgeous. Glamorous assistant there, Helen. <laughs> now then, imagine the faceted black spinel if you manage to get the kit with red spinel. Thank you, Helen. Both totally natural. Now, if you could get that... Oh my word, that is very decadent indeed. And again, look at what you get. You get sparkle, you get luster. They're both totally natural. You get brilliant luster, brilliant. Uh, we well, get phenomenal brilliance. Very, 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 very rare to get. Just like chrome dots, had anything bigger than half a carat. See that? £30, genius. But you know what? It's so rare to get red spinel. It's such a treat. We're excited because Steve Bennett, my lovely cousin, founder of the business, is presenting live on Jewelry Maker this Thursday at 11 o'clock in the morning Ooh. for one hour. Brilliant. For one hour, everybody. Now, if, if he saw this go to 21.95, <laughs> I dread to think what Steve Bennett would say. This is totally natural, super, super, super rare. It's eight on the most hardness scale. It's spinel. Now, Mirabelle's just said, now, Mirabelle has been a customer of Gemporia for the past 11 years. She knows the stuff. And she said, Gosh. wow, what a treat to see Red Spinalzi. I totally agree. Did you hear that as well, Mirabelle? Red, uh, Steve Bennett presenting on Jewelry Maker this Thursday, 11 to 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 21.95. I cannot stress, in fact, I would I would get this valued. I truly would get this valued to get mm. the, I mean, how many red gemstones can we think about? Ruby, red spinel, and then we're talking about Mongolian red underscene. That's the three I can think of. Anything else then, oh, and garnet. Yeah, so garnet, garnet, red spinel, ruby, and Mongolian red underscene. Four, most of the ones like your dyed quartz, Red quartz be, be dyed, it's fine, but truly, we're talking about less than a handful of genuine natural red gemstones. Red spinel is one of the, it's like a red, zir oh, a red zircon. Oh, yeah, I just thought of another one. Five, red zircon I'm up to now. Red zircon. This is a rare, rare, rare treat. Super rare. Far, far rarer than any ruby you will ever, ever find. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's no, it's actually known as the master of disguise because everybody thinks it's a ruby. 21.95 but why it's so rare so much rarer it's only because we all know about rubies because they've been marketed so well and they're one of the big five precious gemstones this can top a ruby on rarity every single time i cannot believe we've gone to 21.95 it's a massive 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 deal in fact if you get that with any if you ever get one of our um shaded emerald strands look beautiful or savorite garnet incredible with the greens and the reds in fact i'll hold that out for you to just have one more look because those those red spinels in the centre are huge. Uh, now, Heather, Yvonne, I've got collectors everywhere. Isabel, I've only got nine left. I've got way over allocated now. If you want to own red sp I mean, have you ever had the joy of working with red spinel, Helen? I haven't. I was um, going to say, I'm guessing I, not. You no, know, and oh, that particular one is gorgeous. Oh. And it clusters for me. It's got to be clusters. Oh, yeah, I, you I'm, want full on. I want to be seen, you know? Yeah. I want a cluster at that neck, and I want it, then a few droplets coming off it as oh, well. Just... And that's exactly what I need for it. It's incredible. That's incredible. Spinel. Yeah, these, these are going to go. They're beautiful, beautiful, mm. beautiful. I could, I could wax lyrical about red spinel for the rest of my days. Incredible. So I must just stress that I've got a lot of, oh, I've got a few people coming in at the last minute. So Pam, um, Follow Sane, Collector in Essex, Collector in Yorkshire, Isabel, Collection Greater Manchester, Yvonne, Heather. Uh, I've got way over, oh gosh, I'm not going to have enough. No. Oh. 
Imagine that with a with imagine that with Sleeping Beauty turquoise we had oh. as well. Ooh. I love I love it. You know the spinel, the red spinel with greens as well. Mm, yeah, I was I just love... with, the, with the with the savorite garnet. I'll just show yeah. you an example of that. Yeah, let's show you with the savorite oh, garnet just quickly. Yeah. Yes, I did promise you savorite garnet today as well. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Just to give you an idea. Did tell you how nice it looked, oh. didn't I? Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Is that not the perfect combination, Savorite garnet with red red spinel? Mm -hmm. I know, it's a shocker. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Okay, right then, I did promise you a whole hour of fantastic deals. Don't forget we've got that deal of the day, sterling silver. Uh, well, we just talked about the crown jewels, hence we've got the crown toggle glass. Do you like it? What are we doing, Phil? Sorry. Oh, no. I, oh, gosh, we are spoiling you today, aren't we? <laughs> Now, this has only been seen once before, okay? It's amethyst, but it's not the purple amethyst. It's not the lavender. It's not the green. So what <gasps> must it be? Oh, oh, hang on now. <laughs> Shall I give you a clue? What? Sounds like sink. Pink. <laughs> to be fair, there is a satellite delay in the studio. <laughs> No, no, that don't quite go. Blessed. Welcome to the world of Helen. Yeah. My own world. <laughs> I love your world. Now look at these. Oh. Look at these, my lovelies. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness me. Perfection. High-end pink amethyst. Rondells there and look at the let me turn the round slightly so you can see that twinkling sparkling facet work they are beautiful aren't they oh my goodness me oh there's oh gosh they're just because oh, that's, that's a heck of it how long we're saying 28 centimeters well, typical jewellery maker, I'm measuring over 30 in the studio 30 centimeters but we all say a couple of centimeters less don't we I like that <laughs> You know, we like to under promise and over deliver. <laughs> oh, no, look at the look at that pink. Isn't that the most gorgeous, gorgeous hue? That's why an amethyst is so addictive. Mm. It is addictive. Big long story. The the as I said, you know, the, you get player crews and so different colours from different angles. I'm just thinking again, dare I bring the black spinel out? Oh yeah. Again, look at that. Oh my word, just glorious. 80 carats of pink amethyst there for you. Utterly beautiful. And we're doing it again. We have just bought red pink <laughs> amethyst and a jadeite each for under £10. Oh my word. That's a shocker. Under £10. That's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. The, the, the hue is perfection. Did you know nearly every one of you so far has bought two? Every yeah. single one, bar one person has bought two, had a multi bar. I'm not surprised. 80 carats, no less. A faceted, sparkling, perfect. Ad I mean, that is full on addiction, isn't it? Mm. I mean, that to me, I, I just, how could you ever get enough of this? Look at it against the skin tone. Pure beauty. Now, again, if you had the lipidolite we had the other day on Jewelry Maker, if, and those beautiful rounds. If you have the stick tight, I know it's an odd name, but if those of you that have seen stick tight and the lovely pinky colours, get that with. If you've seen the stick tight cabochons that we had the other day, if you did get them, you did manage to get them on the show with myself. This would mm. be perfect with it. Or the lipidolite, absolutely dreamy, um, really, really pretty. I've got beautiful um, aventurine as well. Pop that with the pink amethyst, oh. really pretty, beautiful combination again. Massive. Do you know, every single one of you so far has checked out. Literally, people... Now, sometimes what happens with people, they put it in the basket and they think, yeah, I'm just OK, I'm having a listen, and, you know, I'll think about checking out, you know. No. Every single person so far that has come in to get these has checked out. My lovely friend, Pat in Essex, Essex has bought three. Collector in Angus has bought two. Diane's bought two. Norma's bought two. Aisling, you've just come in, my darling. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I'd stay on these for a bit longer, but we've still got the deal of the day. We've got, can we squeeze one more in before then? Phil just said, yeah, let's. Now, can we do the Zamorite garnet? Because I keep promising that, don't I? <coughs> do you 
you know, chrome dark side's my favourite. Savarite garnet is a close second because I tell you what, it is. It's dramatic. It's in your face, glowing green. It's vibrant. When we first bought this to you and we launched it, we've launched it previously. And it's only been on once before. Do you know how many flew out the door instantly? 139. Wow. Not surprised. Now, I'd love to see this with a jadeite. I would absolutely, if you did get the jadeite for less than £10 that we sold out earlier, I did say to you, pop the Savarite garnet. What if, now, you know this gemstone here, do you know, do you know what gemstone it is? We've just talked about red, oh, hang on a second. We've just talked about how rare the red spinel is. Far, far rarer than ruby. Do you know how much rarer, how many times rarer than a, one of the big precious gemstones that is? Savarite garnet is, you, you know, tanzanite is a thousand times rarer than a diamond. So for every 1,000 tanzanites you see, uh, diamonds you see, you see one tanzanite. For every 1,000 emeralds you see, you get one of them. Good gosh. That's how rare Savarite garnet is. Fantastic. And it's this month's birthday, so look what we've done. But we're not stopping there. What, was it, what would you do if I told you this was going to beat the jadeite giveaway 995? <laughs> For a gemstone that is 1,000 times rarer than a diamond, than an emerald. I can't get my breath. I ain't no idea. Hang on a second. Do you know, uh, bear in mind, we're 10, meter sh 10 centimetres shy of a metre. We are at oh. 90 cent. That's a double strand. 90 centimetres. Pop it with the black. I've never seen a 90 centimetre strand of, black, of um, garnet. Pop it with black spinel. Black spinel and savorite garnet is Moorish. Look at oh. that. Ooh, 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 yeah, baby. Mm. Doesn't it? Do you know the sad thing as well? Back in the 1970s when I was born, there were 40 mines, four zero. 40 mines. There's now less than four. Gosh. That's it. Four mines Gosh. in the whole planet that can deliver Savarite garnet. And we're talking about a double strand of Savarite garnet there at 90 centimetres. That's long for a double, double strand on jewellery maker, 90 centimetres. Now, Michelle in Suffolk, she knows the gemstones, Leslie in Essex, Leslie in Devon, Sandra in Sussex, lots of collectors as well coming in. 8.95 is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Have you ever worked with Savarite garnet, Helen? I haven't, but oh, I can't wait to because just standing here, the colour on it. Yeah. I like you, I'm a real diopside woman, chrome yeah. diopside. And me. But oh, this. This glows, because oh. it's got a bigger high refractive index than an emerald, so I'm, it gives you a real glow. Yeah. I'm from sure within. I'm sure I heard a story. Um, uh, that one of the uh, guest designers was saying that they spoke to uh, Steve Bennett and um, they asked him what should they, you know, go for now. And I'm sure it was oh, this one. Got, yeah, I'm sure it was this one. Yeah, it goes to have right garden, yeah. he would. He would. Are uh, definitely going to have a have a little well, probably none left for me again. That will go with the jade, but uh, the jadeite. But yeah, the jadeite did sell out. Have we got yeah. how many of these? We've got Phil Stadilston. Do you know what? At the moment, if every well, at the moment we might grab one. You never know, Helen. You never yeah, know. We've got nice, forty minutes. I've got a few designs in mind, but uh, uh, like a Savarite. Um, Waterfall effect is what I would oh, actually yeah. go for. But see what you've got there now, where you've opened it up slightly yep. between the two. Imagine now those the rubies, either the drops yep. going through them. Yep. You've just see lovely. as soon as you've put that on, I create it, that and oh. Oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. All that with the red spinel as well. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. But you've actually created a channel set of Savarite yeah, exactly. for gemstones yeah. to go into. I know. <laughs> That lovely and look at it glow. Look at oh. it glow. It is absolutely sensational. In fact, if you got this on it, just and again against the black, and it's just ravishing. Yeah. Ravishing. Uh, well done, everybody. Okay, now coming up <laughs> right now for you. I've been talking about this all afternoon. I've waited three hours and 20 minutes to bring you this. I am super excited. I cannot wait. We have bring, been, I mean, we've just bought you red spinel that is in the crown jewels, it's in the imperial state crown. So, do you know what we thought? 
we thought we'd bring you something with a crown on it to keep it all together. So if you create red spinel jewellery with these toggle clasps, don't have to be toggle clasps, we'll show you, you can use whatever you want, charms, whatever. But if you've managed, with, with the red spinel particularly, if you've managed to get that, because it is in the crown jewels, it is in the imperial state crown, let's give you our deal of the day, extraordinaire, gorgeous crown toggle glass in sterling silver. Now, just for sheer sterling silver weight, these are amazing. The detail is beautiful. The fact that they are solid, hallmarked 925 sterling silver. I've never seen these. I've been on Jewelry Maker since May last year. I've not seen them. We have had them before. They are a reorder. But in all that time, I have never seen them. And I have fallen instantly in love with them. They are so detailed. They are so beautiful. I'll show you the actual toggle ring to start with. Look at those. A crown toggle clasp. That's the actual toggle itself. You get three of them in total. The toggle clasp is equally as beautiful. I'll turn that around for you just to prove to you because I've said it's hallmarked. I want to show you at the base there, look. Can you see, look, 925, right where the tweezers are, the tip of the tweezers, look, 925, that is your hallmark. The loop is in position for you, okay, at the top, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, I mean, again, you could have it that way around, if you wanted to, whatever you prefer, obviously, that is the actual shape of the crown. Would you like to see the toggle bar, because the toggle bar is equally as beautiful, like, both of them vying for position and trying to sort of grab your attention, look at that, because you've got like a... A crown at both ends or almost almost like the scepter isn't it so that is actually your scepter and the crown isn't that brilliant absolutely brilliant now the the um the toggle clasp is 19.19.5 millimeter and the toggle the actual bar itself is 20 millimeters by 12 millimeters and it is the crown it's the crown jewels of toggle clasp isn't it <laughs> It is. They're just I want lovely. A, I want a curtsy. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I'd like to see those made into cufflinks because I just think, oh, how, for, especially yes. for girls, because it's quite hard sometimes, I find, to find cufflinks for girls that are really yeah. feminine. Now, that would look just look lovely, wouldn't they? You get three, so you could make, and again, these could be charms. You could hang that as a, because it almost looks like, with the crown, it could look like a little, a little ring as well, couldn't it? It almost looks like a little ring. I love yes. it with the crown on the top, they're beautiful. But especially with the red spinel. I'd love to see those with the red spinel. Now, the price that you're currently seeing on the website, $12.95, you're all checking out at that, and you, a lot of you buying too. I'm going to beat that. I'm going to beat that. I know it's incredible already because we were already talking about £4.32 each. We're beating that. Under oh. £10. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Bear in mind, this is solid 925 sterling silver. All that detail in the serpent toggle bar, uh, toggle bar itself and the actual toggle uh, ring there with the beautiful crown and the, and the, um, the beautiful, uh, what did I just call it? Scepter. It's gone up yet, then I was thinking serpent. No, that's not right. <laughs> I was thinking, hang on a minute, it's the scepter. Um, now, goodness gracious me, aren't they lovely? What would you do um, with them, Helen? Well, I think I would have uh, a set. I, I do like sets, so you'd have the lovely bracelet going on. Yeah. Maybe some earrings, a nice little droplet. Yeah. But but also, it you know, you can use them for what they are, which is yeah, obviously toggle, yeah. the, your toggle class yeah. with a lovely set of pills going round. Yeah. You need that quality, that, that bit of finesse, that finish yep. when you want three figures in, in your jewellery. When you want the high-end stuff, yep. you need that quality I totally finish. agree. I totally agree. Now, I've got so many people. Uh, Beverly's had two. Quarter of the socks already gone. Caroline's got two. These are going to be sell out again. Vivian's got two. Carolyn's got two. Wendy's got two. Diane's got three. Eileen's got two. And the list goes on. That's just the people with a multi buying. <laughs> I've got Yvonne Collectors, Heather Pauline. I've got so many of you. Well done. People increasing their orders to twos and threes and fours because you thought we were going at £12.95 and we've just absolutely amazed you at £3.32. They are lovely i love them i love them i'm sorry if i'm guffawing over them but i just think the detail 
on the actual crown itself yeah. is just beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we all go down to the Tower of London, don't we, to have a look at the crown jewels if you're in the UK. And uh, it's wonderful to go and see them. Um, but to, to be able to recreate the feel of the crown jewels in a clasp. Now, that for me, if you were to use that as a clasp, you can't put round that, that at the nape mm -hmm. of your neck. You've got to have that bang yeah. on on display haven't you on the, yeah you could definitely have it on the side or down below but you couldn't make it for that we're mm. all into you no know the silver way. clays now yeah i couldn't make that no and they're talking three pounds 32 for all that oh. detail but you could even put a little uh, spinel or something just a little droplet coming off the crown yep. inside that circle and then you've got a lovely pendant as well and this is what we're talking about because we've just said if you weren't watching earlier the red spinel, which everybody thought was a ruby. I mean, can you imagine having to tell Queen Victoria that the ruby, <laughs> the ruby in our crown jewels actually isn't a ruby? <laughs> to the tower with you! <laughs> but that's what we're saying, because there is, a red root, there is a red spinel, massive red spinel in the crown jewels, British crown jewels. So how authentic to have a red spinel Perfect. with the crown, with, with, a, with a crown toggle clasp as well. Yeah. Not just the crown. If I can hold that in my fingers and hold the, um, the scepter as well. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful gorgeous perfect as you say for for your actual you know the um cuff links or yeah. they're using they call them i think they're called collar links where you know you yep. get the little yep. buttonhole yep. and they dangle down that's imagine having that dangling down from your collar i love them i love them i love them i love them and i do i absolutely <laughs> love them can you write the code down for me phil because joking aside when i come off there is any of those left i'm having mm. one i think they're fab Again, oh, right. Your mum, right? Mother in Sunday, oh, yes. 6th of March. Your mum or mum in the West Midlands, it's yes. mum. Imagine saying, well, because I mean, she's effectively like the Queen, isn't she? Your mum. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I she's the I, ultimate woman I, in your I, life. Yeah, I'm a queen as well. Exactly. So, <laughs> so if my sons are there watching. There are all sorts of queens <laughs> out there, aren't there? Let's face it. <laughs> There are, there are, yeah, all sorts of queens. There is, and we can all help yeah, them. Exactly. Oh, I think that's perfect for your mum's jewellery. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Can you imagine saying that, Mum? Well, if it's good enough for the Queen, Mum, I'm going to make you some jewellery with a queen, with a crown toggle clasp. Could I just ask, Phil, because I've never seen so many people check out so quick and multi buy. How many have I got left? Say that again? He's turned his mic off. What? Oh. You, well, I couldn't hear you. 40, apparently. Oh, we might be lucky then. Probably not. But... Possibly not, because there's only 30 <laughs> minutes left. But we'll have a go. We'll have, a... have you written we'll, the code for us now, Phil? Good lad. He said yes. Oh, and God, right. I've got Tanzanite with those. Oh. Tanzanite <gasps> with those. I've only got eight left, though. You've got to be quick. Oh, my word. We've got it all happening. We have got it all happening now. Red <gasps> spinel and Tanzanite oh. and jadeite in one show. <laughs> really? It is too much to handle. I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, oh. look at the silver with the blue. With a violet blue of the Tanzanite. Oh, wow. We haven't seen these since New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. 25 days since we've seen these. 23 carats of Tanzanite. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow, my word. Look at the size of those rondelles. They are just perfect. Yeah, sometimes on the size there, do you agree that sometimes when you've got something so incredible, such high value, such a rare gemstone, sometimes size as in less is more. Yeah. They <clears throat> are beautiful. Absolutely. I'd love to see those. with. The, in fact, I'm going to show you with the red spinel. I've got to show you. I, I, can't, I can't get over the red spinel. Look at that. Red spinel with Tanzanite. Oh, hello. Oh. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh. I love it. Yeah, like fire and water, isn't it? Wow. What would happen if I told you that that 23 carats of Tanzanite is about to go under 20 pounds? Oh. Tanzanite. I've only started with eight. I've only said 25% of the stock gone already. 
You've got 17.95. They are high grade, high end Tanzanites. Um, it's stunt, now what I want to focus on there as well is the cut of the facet there. The quality of our cut of Tanzanite is, is as far as I'm concerned, it's untouchable. It really is. We, we really do work with only the finest lapidarists on our Tanzanite. We insist on it. If you've got a gemstone that's so rare, a thousand times rarer than a diamond, you've got to put your very best gem cutter on it without question. We've only known about this gemstone since 1969 when it was launched. It's oh, We've only known about it for 47 years and it's already in that very short time frame managed to become one of the big five precious gemstones along with your diamonds along with your emeralds your rubies your sapphires i've got one left that's it oh. there's been a massive <laughs> rush on these we're not surprised and if you've got the black rough diamonds again for 24.95 11 carats and you couple the black diamonds with that incredible violet blue it's down to the last chance uh, because beverly had two a collector had two kerry's just got the marjorie you've got a chance it's that last oh. last chance i'm so sorry it is Beautiful, well done, well done, well done, well done. Oh. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Kissing them, sorry, got to. Oh, I tell you what, black diamonds, tanzanite, ruby, red <laughs> spinel, jadeite. Savorite. Malachite, yeah, well, savorite garnet. <laughs> I mean, how much can we cope with? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm gone a minute. I tell you what, we are spoiled in here today. Now, these were new in the other day, brand new in. Um, you may never have seen an opal this big. Never. Oh, think about these. With the, with the, if you've got the malachite cabochon, the 250 carat... If you got the 250 carat malachite cabochons earlier and you get these... I'm t now, firstly, forget the amazing colour, but just look at the size for opal. That's opal. That is an opal cabochon natural. Wow. That is green opal. Fascinating wow. natural African green opal. Oh, wow. Get those. If you did manage to get the malachite cabochons earlier, I'd love to see. Malachite and green opal. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen green? First, have you ever seen green opal? And secondly, have you ever seen anything so big? No, they they are astounding. I've never seen green opal in cabochons this big before. But they're like works of art. You can they see are. so much detail in there that they're fascinating. Yeah, because they're so big, you don't realise do you, the the lovely detail they yeah. give you. Look at that. Oh, aren't they just? They're exactly what you want from a cabochon look as well. So you've got the flat, uh, fat, uh, that flat bottom. They're quite deep, yeah. Um, for me, I'd, uh, I, if, I could, if I could open my jewellery box and ever have the luxury of wearing oh, yeah. a green opal ring of that size, that's a real, real luxury. Luxury. Um, now I've got ovals, I've got pear drops. Um, it's the carrot weight, we're promising, not the number. I've got four in the studio. We've gone to less than £15, I ask you. Now I've got four in the studio. So that's, that's less than £3 a strand. <laughs> now Deb is a big fan of green gemstones, aren't you Deb? And she just said, these are the green opal that I messaged about the other day, Z. I've prong set mine, she said. And I've shared the others with my brother as he collects gemstones. Now, am I going to get it wrong again? Is it Simon? Is it your brother Simon? I think, I think, Deb, let me know, will you? Have I remembered that right? Because last time I asked if it was Carl, and I've always got Carl in here, but I'm pretty sure it's Simon. I think it's Simon. My whole family are into gemstones. Yeah, Mom Valley's as well. Val, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're absolutely, they're just, the, they're like us with the Bennets. Yeah. Honestly, whenever we sit down as a, as a family, the Bennets, wherever we are, all we talk about is gemstones. <laughs> That's it. But Deb um, has got a real eye for gemstones oh, she's as well. Yeah, she's she really knows the she's stuff. Brilliant. Yeah. So well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, so now we've done the Savorite Garnet in the green. Um, we've done Jadeite in the green. How about we stick with the green and we bring you green onyx? And I'm going all out on this strand for you. Okay, grab these while you can. These 
I love green onyx. I love green onyx. You pop that. I'm going to show you the black spinel again. I can't help myself. That's what we all say. Everything goes with black spinel, doesn't it? But there's something special about green. It's a real openness of colour on green onyx. If you, when if you get these home, you'll get exactly what I mean. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. oh, oh now the, okay, the, these. If you keep trying to get hold of these black agates, they were in the kit earlier with the smoky quartz and the black, black. Um, what did I say? Black onyx. Sorry, black spinel. Uh, if you're trying to get these black spinel, they're in the kit earlier. Have you got any of that kit left, by the way, Phil? Can we pop it at the bottom of the screen? Because we've got 100 metres of wire in the rose. Rose, um, rose gold colour in 0.4 mil and 1 mil, and there was uh, faceted smoky quartz, faceted black spinel, and golden obsidian. Uh, 100 carats in total for all three. Which I can't believe I've remembered all that, but I have. <laughs> that was quite a good memory. I've been, I've been, I've been, yeah. I've just remembered all that. 50 meters in 0.4 mil, 50 yeah. meters in 1 mil, and the coppers again. I'll go with that. Oh yeah, yeah wouldn't it just wire, with the green onyx? Yeah. I love green onyx. I think it's a very underrated gemstone. I really do. I think it's beautiful. I love it. Can you sound the word beautiful? I don't normally do that, but how can you not? Look at that. And I told you, six ninety five, didn't I? It's a baseline price for you, and they're all faceted. I've got to get it on my neckline. La la la. See, look. Look at that against the black and the skin tones. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I always remember watching, I think it was Eleanor. Um, and I'm sure I'm sure it was Eleanor and she got out of a box the green onyx and she she swore blind and she was if she again if we were passed around uh, the strand that she had in um, training we'd have all say Colombian emerald it she, she, she just couldn't get a breath it was green onyx gorgeous okay so I, I would read all the names up but we've got so many to get through and we've only got we've only got about 15 20 minutes oh, left to the show we're done quick I know. <gasps> it's flown by gone we've had That's a party what when you're having fun love yeah we've had a party Oh, now, if you got... Oh, in fact, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you this with the pink. I've got... Now, if you ever get Rose de France amethyst, less than 5% of all the amethysts mined in the world are Rose de France. Now, these are brand new. They're lavender. Brand new. Eight mil rounds. So, if you've got any of our purple amethyst, if you've got any of that, if you've got the pink amethyst, these are totally natural. Oh, gosh, they're gorgeous. Now, look. You got the pink, yeah. If you got the pink amethyst with the lavender, wouldn't that be dreamy? Isn't that beautiful combination? Look, do you know? I'd have to talking of tassels. I'd oh, yeah. have to incorporate the tassel with that jewelry. Would you, Helen? I do all the time. I I, I collect them up. Oh, I love and them. You, oh, do you know what? It's just a little added bonus, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But they go quality as yeah. well. Now, again, if you got the first kit of the day with Helen and you got those purple ribbons, those beautiful oh, graded yeah. in colour, shaded Satin, ribbons. Really, yeah. really, really Oh, curious. my. So I'll move the pink hammer this out of the way so I don't confuse you, my lovelies. I will show you this on the neckline, but it's so, so pretty. Mmm. Oh, brand new. Hang on, we're launching this brand new lavender oh. strand. <gasps> I've just seen the price. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, is that genuinely correct, Phil? Because you can't take it back. Have a double take. Oh, I had to have a double take. I did a tango staccato head move. <laughs> I can't believe that. I've just told you how rare lavender amethyst is, you monkey. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was listening. And for those of you that got the pink amethyst, oh my word. Patricia's just said, Zena, hi, that would be fab with the jadeite. Yes, it would. I don't have the jadeite to hand and forge but I'll tell you what I could do. I've got some green adventuring, which is. Kind of, in fact, if I show you this, it's not the same as jadeite. It's more opaque, but just to give you a, just to give you an idea. Sorry, it's not jadeite, but it's very, it's very similar, isn't it? But the jadeite did go earlier, did sell out earlier. But yeah, Patricia, you're absolutely right. It's not jadeite. But that's just to give you a, an idea. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Be really lovely with the four. They were four mil, weren't they? I think from memory. Now. Oh, it is. I knew I'd get it the wrong way. Richard. It is Carl. Simon is his middle name. See, that's why I always get Carl oh, and Simon. Yeah. That's why every time. Sorry, Deb. Poor Carl. 
Oh, I can't remember if it's Carl or Simon. Sorry, darling. Memory like a sieve. Look at those. Do you like those, Helen, aren't they? I lovely? do, yes. Quite romantic for me. I think that's sort of a, a wisteria sort of feel coming on. Do you know, nice wisteria I've, yeah, I've got exactly that colour wisteria in my back garden. Yeah. Exactly that colour. Cascading down, I can see that, you know, on some wire or beautiful, some droplets. I'm not laughing at you, Helen. Go on, what have you I'm done? I'm laughing at Mike. Oh. Mike, Mike, bless him. He is a boy. Did my my director just went, is that a flower? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forget how young they are in the, oh, in no, the bless gallery. Him. <laughs> bless him. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, he's in his 30s, he's not oh, that, he's not oh, that right. young. Oh, right, okay, no. well, he's still got a couple of decades on him, but there we go. <laughs> Tis a lovely flower. Come to my house, lovely Mike, and I'll show you a wisteria, it's beautiful. <laughs> Can't see him being incentivised, really, but there you go. So that's with the pink amethyst. Aren't they lovely, though? I'd, 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 got to, I'd love to see that put with the either the sparkling pink amethyst or pop some rose gold or sterling silver... Um, lovely little jump rings in between there, Ooh. and that would look beautiful, wouldn't it? Lovely idea. Ah, oh, lovely message about you. Um, don't, don't read it, I'm going to tell you what it says, right? Oh. Hi all, hello Josephine. Lovely name, by the way, Josephine. Great show with lovely Zena. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is all about you, really, oh. but thank you, Josephine. Oh. Um, I absolutely love Helen's designs, and what a lovely lady. Oh. So pleasant and really funny. Thanks, JM. Oh, I'm good. I'm blushing now. I'm not very good oh. with compliments. Well, thank you, thank you very much, Josephine. Oh, That's very well, kind. Well, they well deserve compliments, oh, lovely bless. lady. She's very. Do you know she's? And do you know what? She's no different off camera. She's always bubbly. <laughs> she's always smiling. She's a lovely, lovely lady. Oh, I'm going even redder now. <laughs> it's all right. You can pay me later. <laughs> Um, but she is lovely, and Aww. thank you for that lovely message. That, that is very, very, kind. very sweet of you, Josephine. Thank you. Thank you. Just down the road in the West Midlands, where are you, Josephine? I live in the West Midlands as well. Oh, now, oh, I'm thinking with the Savarite garnet, with the spinel, the red spinel. Oh, citrine. Oh, I love citrine. Now, we've not seen this before on Jewelry Maker, this particular one. 110 carats. Let me hold that out. Let me show you that lovely... What I love there is you've got all the variations of colours of citrine there. It's like the different... It's like when, when you get different sort of levels of sunlight, isn't it? Oh, he's done it. Oh, he's having a right moment oh. today. <laughs> I clearly didn't get the clearance email that we've been doing all day. Oh, they are lush, aren't they? <laughs> They are absolutely gorgeous. I've got to do a neckline again. Can you imagine those are the sapphire garnets oh. in the green? Oh, again, all the jadeites again. Oh. With the lovely we're pastel spoiled, green. Aren't we? we are. I've been spoiled on, don't we? Love it. Yeah. Oh. Do you know when you get up and it's a bit of a dreary day? You know when you get up, right? Hang on a minute. You know when you get up, you open your blinds or your curtains and then that sun pours in yeah. and straight away you feel lighter, you feel happier. You're, you're all thinking, yeah. oh, I'm going to have a lovely day. It's sunny. And then sometimes you open the blind and it's grey and it's drizzly and whatever. That's your instant sunlight, isn't it? That's an instant smile in a strand of gemstones, isn't it? It is. Oh, they, they're happy. Oh. They're a happy gemstone. They remind me of, like, honey and... Yeah. Nature's best. Yeah. With that really luxurious feel. And, of course, uh, most of the craft designers... They keep that on their stall because it's supposed to encourage the financial flow. You're absolutely right. Money in, they always say. So yeah. You'll see even the woodworkers with a bit of citrine. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> yeah, on the craft really? stalls. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they'd all be there with their citrine. Oh. Can I show you the red spinel? I didn't know that. You learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh. Now, you've taken every one of those. Red spinels, every single one, and I don't blame you. Good for you. They are oh. lush, aren't they? Lush, lush, lush. <laughs> it keeps flashing that price up, doesn't it? I, I look at it. Four ninety-five. It's a shocker. It's an absolute <laughs> shocker. Get it with the Savarite. Oh, I tell you what. Every Nate, how many of these have we got, Phil? Because I've, I've got a lot of people coming in. Um, Beverly, Alice, and Sarah, Jackie. Good luck, my darling. Four ninety. Oh. Whenever we go to four ninety-five. 
which is a clearance price. Uh, for those of you new to Jewelry Maker, we should never go below 6 95 Yeah. And again, tickle tassels. Tickle tassels in orange. Okay, well done, everybody. Well done, well done, well done. Oh, I've got to do the sunstone. Because these are the citrines. Ooh. In fact, I'm going to hold the citrine to one side and show you my beautiful sunstone. And the clue's in the title. You need natural daylight for this. Beautiful natural daylight. Now, this has a natural glitter within. And that is known as a phenomenon called adventurescence. And it is. It's like an adventure of glitter. And that's Mother Nature at a very best. That is totally natural. If I twist this up, but don't forget as well, I can't ever show you sunstone as I would like to because I haven't got any natural light in the studio and I need natural light to deliver that natural glitter. But you, please, please, please get this home, take it out, hold it up to the sunshine and marvel at its beautiful internal glitter. It's, be it's gorgeous. Glo gorgeous? That's <laughs> glorious and gorgeous. I'm going to keep that. It's gorgeous. Oh, that is glorious and gorgeous. Now then, with citrine as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you think about that, Helen? Oh, yes. I'd have to... Um, I'd like to use pearl knotting, so I would probably yeah, use I did. Yeah. different colour threads yeah. as yeah. well. You could even go mad and use like a green thread if you wanted. Yeah, absolutely. But, or a gold thread, a bit of S. Even on. red actually would look nice yeah. on that, I think. Oh, yeah. Red would look lovely. And pearl knot in between. Yeah, great idea. Just to give it to show off each individual gemstone. Absolutely. Because they'll glitter. You can see the facet net, facet work now. Brilliant facet junctions over every single one of them. They look ama amazing. They're exotic. They're Indian. In fact, I'm just thinking when you go to Jaipur, the pink city. It's not dissimilar to that exact colour there. Wow! Oh, hang on, 11.95 oh. for 90 carats, and they're totally natural. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Again, I'm gonna do it again. You can see why. Black spinel, mm -hmm. look how it brings out the glitter of that fabulous sunstone. Totally natural, pleochroic gemstone. It's biofringent as well. So that means you get the fire coming out. It's a, up to seven on the most hardness scale, so it's every day where there is so much to be happy about when you get a natural strand of sunstone because you get Mother Nature's glitter with beautifully faceted. You get, and again, the great thing about sunstone complements every yeah. skin tone you could you could ever imagine. It really does. It's beautiful. It's warm as well. It's very earthy. It's very calming. And can you see the glitter? And I'm only giving you a fraction of the glitter that I that I could possibly show you because I've got any natural light but get it home do this straight away outside front door back door side door I don't care where you go get out in the natural light and do that do that and you watch it glitter and you'll go oh yeah I know what she meant now you will you will right what how long we got oh we haven't got long left I'm going let's go in quick yeah. oh just been talking about jump rings haven't I and then, look at these. Oh, my ears, sorry, Miss earpiece has started sticking my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now then, 20 gold rings. Can't see, you can't, not supposed to sing Christmas. No, we're not seeing these since Christ no, New Year's Eve. Look at these, gold plated. Gold plated, copper twisted wire. They are lovely, aren't they? Can you imagine Fleur using these in a chain mail? She'll have a field, don't yeah. she? Well, 18 mil round. Sorry, Helen, like, go on, darling. All I was going to say was the, the lovely Ali just popped in and I saw Ali make a really lovely Mobius flower. Oh, really? With Linda. Uh, it was superb and that, the, that's perfect for the Mobius. Because you need, you need three, is it three for a Mobius ring? Well, you can do as many as you like, but I think the more you, the more you use, the more intricate they get. But yeah, three probably would be the minimum. Yeah, I've seen so Fleur do a Mobius ring with well, three, you yeah. Know. They are gorgeous. Look at that effect as I gently twist, look. Look at that, look at that. Do you know, it's not just one, by the way. I'm going to bring you 20 of these. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was just... Five, no, 20. 20, gosh. 20, and they're all gold plated. 20. <laughs> 
that is incredible. So is my maths right? Is that 45, less than 45 pence for each one? Wow. Less than 45. And look, there's a big mound of them. Yeah. Look at that. There are 30 grams of copper there that have then been gold plated. And then that lovely twisted wire effect. They are gorgeous, aren't they? I mean, imagine those made into earrings um, and then with a droplet of the, of the tanzanite or the red spinel or... That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, and the square wire, you can make a lovely bracelet yeah. just by using square wire as links. Yes. Uh, wrap around links. Oh, I like that. In the kit when we have that lovely yeah. beadle on. Square. Yeah, oh, the square yes. wire. Yeah. Like it. So there's lots of different things you can do with them. If they are completely solid, don't be afraid to just clip them. Um, and um, normally you can actually manipulate them if yeah. they are uh, solid rings. They're all solid They're rings, they look like it. I'm pretty sure they are, yeah. Sometimes there are JM such yeah, good they quality. Are solid. Yeah. Oh. yeah, they are. Sometimes you can't tell, can no. you? No. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can't tell. Avril in Hampshire, lovely name, Avril, beautiful shade. Wow, wow, wow. JM does silly prices so well. Do you know, we are good at it, aren't we? We're getting worse. Oh, though, do you know? Zina. <laughs> the, the, the prices are We're going down. We're getting cheekier, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all want to pay less for something than we should. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we've got time for one more. Okay, I've got to show you this then. Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Because oh, these have been winking at me <laughs> for the past hour. Wow. Oh, gosh, they are. Oh, they, they make you want to salivate. I've only got 24 left. We have got massive oh. low stock, I'm afraid, as you can see there in the, in the graphics. I've got all about the chocolate here. Oh. All about the chocolate. We've got these lovely shell pearls in the long nuggets. We've got the four mil rounds. We've got the, tw uh, the 10 mil rounds. These are chocolate. Sh I've never seen chocolate shell pearl. Never. Oh, never. It. And I'll tell you what, imagine if you manage to get with the tiger's eye. If you ever manage to get a tiger's eye in there as well, look with the chocolate. Or if you manage to get the kit earlier and you got the smoky quartz in the kit today. Wow. Wouldn't that look lovely? Smoky quartz with the chocolate beauty. And again, those jump rings we've just had, look. That look a bit nice as well, look. Yeah, they sort of really pop, don't they? Oh, is, that's ridiculous. I'm sorry, that is... Oh, I got that. I got a bit stern then with him. <laughs> I got a bit stern then. Sorry, Phil. I felt like I got a bit stern then. Um, but that oh. is incredible. Can I hold just that one up to my neckline? In fact, I'm going to hold that one and the big 10 mil because, wow, I've never seen chocolate shell. Wow. Never. Oh, they are lovely as well. And great for um, gents' jewellery as well. Brilliant. I'm going to hold up the 10 mil as well. Do you mind? Yeah, imagine these on the imagine these in the lovely chocolate hemp bags we gave you earlier. Oh, yeah. oh, that is lush. Absolutely lush. I'll show you together one more time. It should be $6.95 per gemstone. And we've got per strand. Per strand. Per strand. And we've already just gone $7.95. That is incredible. That's just incredible. Less than three pounds a strand. Oh, my friend Jamie's just come in. Hey up, Zine. I've spent way too much today and I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. It's me and Phil. Big love to all at JM. Jamie, you are A up, love. A up, Jamie. Both of you. Congratulations. I can't wait to come across and say hello to my lovely Helen. A big thank you. Coming over. Coming over. Come Coming on over. over to my place. Come on. Hey, you. We're having a party. We're having a party. <laughs> oh, I am not to sing a song then. Oh, yeah, but you're good at it. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to our lovely, gorgeous Helen. Um, so the wire bundle, we're just going to pop back on the screen for you because um, this is the, um, is this the beadalon? The beadalon. The beadalon where you've got 25 metres. We went to 24.95. That's less than a pound a metre. It worked out at one pound. And 37 a reel, Gosh. would you believe? Have I got that right? No, I didn't get that right. Three pounds, what was it? Three pounds. Seven of them, isn't Oh, there? I can't remember now. No. Sorry, I was going from memory. Three pounds to make a reel. 
24.95 was less than a pound a metre, sorry, £3.56, £3.57 roughly, um, a reel. And you've got, if I can just show you the variation, you've got the square and the half round, all different gauges of square and half round of the wire in that beautiful gold, gorgeous, look at that, look at that. But the, the, the half round wire and the, and the square wire, just, just, oh, especially on the, on the half round for your wire wrapping of your cabochons, brilliant, yeah. absolutely brilliant. Um, and just gorgeous. So we went yeah. to 25 metres. Oh, and you know, cool. it is, and it's, it's perfect if you're going to do those prong settings as well. For Absolutely. The cabochons. Absolutely right. gorgeous. Um, right, so thank you, thank you. When you are next, gorgeous? Uh, oh, I've got about 10 days off oh, now. Oh, yes, I've got um, uh, my wedding anniversary and things coming up. So oh, I've got fantastic. a bit of time off. And then after that, then I'll be back. So oh, I'll lovely. About 10 days oh, happy time. anniversary. Oh, thank you. Happy wedding anniversary. Oh. How lovely. Oh, <laughs> great. Um, right then, thank you very, very much for staying with us today. We've had a lovely time. Um, we've got a great show with the lovely uh, Gem and myself tomorrow as well coming up. So get ready for that. Uh, amazing fluorite stranding coming up tomorrow. Um, but please stay with us because we've got the lovely Ali coming up this evening as well uh, after the break. So uh, with Ali, is it with Sally? Oh, lovely. Here she is. Hello, Sally. Uh, right, see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye. Do you want to tell everyone about the great purchase you've made from Jewelry Maker? Do you want to shout about the great service you've received? Then why not download the Jewelry Maker's Viewer's Voice app available for iPhone or Android and record a video that could be played on Jewelry Maker. Simply search Jewelry Maker Viewer's Voice in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download our Viewer's Voice app straight to your phone or tablet. You can record as many videos as you like and send them straight to us here at Jewelry Maker. All you have to do is then carry on watching us as usual and wait for your video to be played. Download the JM Viewers Voice app and you could be the next face we see here on Jewelry Maker. Ruby is an incredibly popular gemstone here at Jewelry Maker. Its beautiful red tones are instantly recognisable as an incredibly precious gemstone. Ruby itself is a member of the Corundum family whose sister stone is going to be Sapphire. Ruby is the only member of this gemstone that has its own name. Now, when we look at ruby, we look for really beautiful, even tones. And these can run from rich reds, which are often referred to as pigeon blood ruby, right through to lighter, paler tones, almost going into the pink tones as well. Ruby is a birthstone for July, so it makes the perfect addition to your collection if you're looking for those unique presents. And it is the 40th wedding anniversary stone as well. Ruby itself is incredibly hard, being nine on the Mohs scale, making it perfect for all kinds of jewellery. And we know that Ruby itself is the everlasting symbol of love. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Tiger's Eye is a gemstone that can be masculine or feminine. It comes in like these luscious caramel colours. And when you get it in fuchsia, that's my favourite when it's bright pink. Love that. And the chatoyancy makes it so different. It sort of follows you around the room. So it makes for some really interesting pieces. Tiger's Eye is one of the first gemstones that I was ever exposed to. My mum bought me a beautiful Tiger's Eye bracelet um, when I was away at university and I've worn it ever since. It has a lot of 
personal value to me. Not only that though, the jewelry maker Tiger's Eye, which you can get, exudes so much chatoyancy and, and more chatoyancy than I've ever seen from any other Tiger's Eye. The carrot weights are brilliant. You can get it in dyed qualities, but it's the natural essence of the gemstone, which I think people find so attractive about it. And that's probably one of the reasons why it's one of our biggest sellers. Join guest designer Gemma Crow as she brings you a fascinating DVD that teaches you how to create all of your important findings that are essential to everybody's collection. Gemma will take you through step by step to create all of your finishing touches that bring your pieces to life. Essential for all jewellery makers. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. and welcome to Jewelry Maker. I hope you've had a wonderful day and if you've been celebrating Rabbi Burns Day, I hope you've had a wonderful day too. Have you had a wee bit of haggis today or are you saving it to this evening? I'm saving mine till about half past nine and I cannot wait. Uh, lots and lots of fun coming your way. I have a fantastic team with me tonight. I really, really do. I'm really looking forward to bringing you many special treats. Goodness gracious me, shall I show you some of them already? What do you think? Let me show you these. Wonderful. I have a selection of premieres, treats that have never been seen before and ones that maybe have that are going to have a very special price reduction. So, oh yes. The zircon you'll have seen uh, if you've been a regular viewer of mine. Um, if not, then you might never have seen it. It's a very special treat. It's coming up within the show. Um, I just wanted to point that out because it's amazing. I've got these outstanding opals. How about we bring them to you at the lowest price ever? They've been seen once before, and I'm going to bring you a brand new low. Who wouldn't say yes to that? On top of that, have a look at these black faceted spinel. Now, I brought you some black faceted spinel that was so, so popular. It flew out the door, and we just did not have enough. Not enough for everybody. What I've got for you now is tonight. Sorry, do excuse me, my top back seems to not be working. I apologise, it just means it allows me to hear my director. So what I'm going to do is just talk through what we've got and I'll try and fix that for you. Be more pearls we've got coming up for you. These are going to be within the show too. These are going to be around 6.50pm. What do you think? My word, I think I've managed to fix it. Um, we've also got these amazing mystic blue quartz 10 to 6 we'll do these at 550 brand new for you there are 255 in stock so we're going to do something outstanding on your price point really pretty spectacular indeed 230 carats in this as well as these very fancy clasps let me bring them to you have a look at these double row sterling silver slider clasps what do you think they look gorgeous and they are we'll do these for you within this very show. The next four hours we'll do that for you. I've got pliers which are <gasps> very exciting, not just for myself, but Sammy in particular. Oh yes, she's our guest designer. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. These will be coming up at half past this very hour. And guest designer, Sammy Fletcher. How are you? I'm so glad to be on with you. I yeah. love working oh, with you. So I love cool. you. And the six step bailers are, everybody knows how much I love them because so I'm banging on about them practically every show. So I'm really pleased they're back. You made my day. I'm so <laughs> sure. When you see what Sammy's made, and you've actually used these in one of your I designs have, as yeah. well, you tend to use them a lot. But the fact that we've actually got them back in stock is, well, it's perfect, isn't it? Yes, because I could say, use your six step bailers or other mandrels, because yeah. I could say, use them because we've got them, which is yes. nice. So you can actually cool. say, use the six step pliers, because tonight we have. Have a good, good, good quantity for you as well. Coming up about half past. So I cannot wait to bring those to you. Right, lots and lots of treats. I'm going to bring you a couple of treats before we go and join Sammy in the first design inspiration. When you see it has clock parts. Uh -huh. Oh yes, it does. It has some of the finest labradorite you'll ever have seen. So close to spectrolite. If it come from fin Finland, we would have called it spectrolite, which is thought to be the highest calibre of labradorite. You have to see these cabochons. Everyone's been looking at them all day today. They are, Sammy, what are, how incredible are they? They're beautiful. They are just... 
There isn't a dull bit on them at all. Do no. you know, sometimes you'll have some amazing flash and then you'll turn it and then it'll be quite dull. Whereas yeah. these just glow, just, just glow. Even There's the back. Like, they do. They're just amazing. Absolutely astounding. We're very excited about these, can you tell? <laughs> They're all coming up in the next few moments. You don't need to wait for too long at all. Right, um, I don't know if I introduced myself. My name's Ali Defoy. If you're a new viewer, it's lovely to see you. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Should we start off with, is that ruby and emeralds? What a way to start the show, ruby and emeralds. I mean, you've got gorgeous ruby treats around your neck, as you do. I'm just going to pop my rubies on. Um, would you wear ruby nuggets with those one day? Would that be something you would wear? You could do, yeah. yeah. There's absolutely no reason why you can't. They're still rubies. How does it feel wearing rubies every day? It's, um, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. And to be able to treat yourself like that, it's just so cool. <gasps> and, but I, I always think you should wear something like rubies, emeralds, sapphires, with, because it's kind of showing what you do. Yes. And you can say, actually, I made myself this ruby necklace. How are we just listening to that it's great, isn't it? Especially if you put the ruby, rubies with pearls and um, oh, the emeralds with the silver bead work, bead work pearls you've got oh, yes. coming out are going to look great. So if you put rubies or emeralds with pearls, you've got such an amazing thing going on. You do. And you can make it for yourself and just have this, you know, a long and a short and a long and a short. And it just looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I, I know, with all the nuggets. Agree. Because they go so well together, the two textures. So yeah, anyway, that's... Me waffling. No, please, please keep, I keep saying it. I love it. I love finding all your inspiration. You're a fountain of knowledge. It's wonderful. Um, these come at 2x1mm. They go up to 7x2mm. And it's an 83cm length. So that's one full length with both rubies and emeralds all combined together. Really luxurious in the nuggets. They're totally natural. Both the rubies and the emeralds. So there's no treatments on either of them. Totally natural. And what you also have is the sections, so you could separate them from the, the emeralds and the rubies and just have an emerald strand and a necklace, uh, a ruby strand, because you could do that. You'd have at least 40 centimetres of each. Yeah. Imagine that, even if you just separated them without doing any work, just have a full ruby necklace and a full emerald necklace. So you've got that option. You've also got the, uh, Sammy's first option as well, putting it in with the Bebop pearls that are still to come. Price point wise, I mean, what would you expect to spend on rubies and emeralds? Do you think you need about 20? Pounds for one, maybe for one ruby. I think that's what we do, isn't it? With the cabochons, do yeah. they like twenty pounds one, and that's really reasonable here. So, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Should we do a should be? Oh, I like this. Now Toby's producing me for the first time ever. It's not his first time producing, but his first time ever producing me. And um, I've just heard my favourite favourite words. That I, I haven't made you aware of this. Toby. my favourite words are should be, should and be in the same sentence. Should be, which means you know they're not going to be. I mean, it could be, should be, would be this price, but like Beverly Knight, shoulda, woulda, coulda. How about we do something super low? We're going down. Well, I like that. Should be, we're going down. Perfect. Oh, I think I think Toby's got a seal of approval for myself. What about you, Sammy? Yeah. Twelve ninety five. Oh my gosh. You just did this so just, cool. On the first street. Oh. Mm. Start as you mean to carry on, Toby. <laughs> Love this. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. I've got the wonderful team with me as well. I've got our Coral and Emma in the studio, um, and I've also got our Mike on direction. So I'm very much looked after tonight. There they are. There they are. <laughs> Lots of you. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. I'm just trying to distract you because that price really doesn't uh, relate to rubies and emeralds, does it? Nobody would ever really think. I'll just do rubies and emeralds for twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. That's that's what I'm going to do today. This is a wonderful way to start off the Late Show with so many treats coming up your way. Lots and lots of you on the web. I've got Kent, I've got Newport Talbot, I've got Essex, I've got Angus, I've got West Midlands, which is where we're based, Stroke Warwickshire, Stroke Worcestershire, as Mike could say. Um, Lancashire in there as well. Lots of you checking out as well. Dorothy's in there. Great to see you, Dorothy. Remember, you can add this into your post and packaging. It won't cost you any more. It's £2.95 in the UK all day from the morning up to midnight. So you can add the same order. Or alternatively, you can join us anywhere in the world. It's completely up to you. What do you think? Yeah, one order in any one day, as in one post and packaging or one shipping and handling, keep adding it in, it won't cost you any more. That's nothing, two ninety five, is it? That really it's isn't. Like a cup of somewhere, a cup of coffee, maybe even a small one, might not even yeah. get a big one. You wouldn't get a big one for that, and no. not if you want soya milk or anything. Oh gosh, like no. <laughs> oh no, I do like a wee soya milk, yeah, I tried it the other day, it's lovely. £12.95, almost tastes sweeter than normal milk. 
Enjoy those Lillian in Ayrshire, a fellow Scot. Happy Burns Day to you. Well, happy Burns Day to all of you if you've just tuned in. I did say it earlier, it wasn't, I didn't. I'm only saying it because you're from Scotland, but you might possibly be a little bit more likely to be celebrating it. Um, Dorothy's in there as well. Devin's with us. Great to see so many of you in tonight. You're owners of genuine natural rubies and emeralds and do print out your authenticity certificate for 25p if you fancy. That's, well, it's not many pennies, is it? Um, well, we'll have a wee break later on. I'll explain that in a wee bit more detail if you fancy, if you've not heard of that before. More treats coming your way. What should we do next? Mm. No. Get black onyx. <laughs> Gotta get black onyx. But this isn't any black onyx. This is disco black onyx, which is why the disco hands were going. The disco pump. Did you see it? Emma's dancing. It means, it means it's, it's all right. It means it's okay to do. Disco. Get black onyx. <laughs> Get a gift that guys. Oh gosh, she's far too cool with these moves, isn't she? She's literally got like a little bop bop going on. I love that. Um, Multicolour coated onyx. This is like party onyx, isn't it? You've got a cheeky wee purple one in there. Look at that. It's like a mystic coating almost. Yeah. Ooh. It's a sort of mystic coating or the multi coating expect usually on pyrite hematite, but we've got it on onyx. I love the fact you can, yeah, it's, it's I've never seen it, so I, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> It's really cool. Shocked me, it's no, not what yeah. to see. It's lovely because from over here, it looks like almost like pyrite. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the screen, which is why I was looking over my shoulder, yes, um, you, it just it doesn't. It's just got all the beautiful mystic coatings and the different colours. And as you move it around now, I can see all the different colours coming across it. It's, it's a really tree, cool. isn't it? It's a little yeah. bit lighter than what your pyrite or hematite would be. Yeah. So if you like that metallic look, but you don't want the weight, but you want yes. the big size, these are eight mil round. Normally, if an eight mil round hematite or pyrite, you, you'd know about it. You'd, you'd feel that a wee bit more. So it's giving you the look without the weight. And it's an onyx, which many of us like. I like a black onyx. Mm, I do like a good black onyx. Member of the Chalcedony family, you'll probably know. Um, I quite fancy it. It's quite, usual, it's quite often dyed, to be fair. It tends to be dyed. It's been um, coated. This is a gemstone you probably know. It's been used a lot by Carti and Chopin and, and also Gucci, actually. Quite a lot of the big, big designers will use your, your black onyx, or onyx in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be black, but the black onyx is favoured quite a lot within the industry, especially with your celebrities. So if you want a little bit of celebrity gemstone, but you want a little bit of sparkle and sort of metallic, it almost looks aged, almost, as if it's like an antique uh, yeah. gold coming through in silver. It's really quite fascinating. I really quite like it. It's a real vintage look to it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It could, it would go really well with the first kit, actually. It would, wouldn't it? it with the wire, because you've got bronze wire. It's antique bronze wire, that yeah. one is, isn't it? Antique bronze so wire. All antique bronze wire and the clock face. Can I grab the clock faces? Is that all right? Let me just quickly squeeze over here. I'll not go far. There we go. Sorry. But if you see these, you're going to love these. These clock parts are coming in your first kit. You could do your sort of steampunk. And this would make your first kit go, it's going to go very far anyway, yeah. but with the, this is going to go um, perfectly with pyrite that's in it, so it's really going to make it go even further, isn't it? It really, really is. And also, you know, you could have, as you'll see when you see the designs, you could have one pyrite and then one of the onyx and then one of the pyrite and one of the onyx, and you're going to be picking up the colours that are in the um, opals and the labradorite yeah. that are in that kit. Sorry, the oh. kit's so amazing. Oh, I can't no. get over the kit's so amazing. Don't apologise. It really, really is. I'm glad you like it. I'm <laughs> super chuffed. Well, you like can always it. tell when I like a kit. Yes, yes. this is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Abby's very vocal when she loves her kits. And um, 20 centimetres in quite, so you should be. Uh, we've got eight millimetre rounds. It's giving you a different size as well to what's in the kit too. So if you're thinking about this now, go for it. If you're thinking, oh, well, I want to see the kit and see if it'll go, write down the code XMRU27. So if you're not 100% whether it'll go or not, you want to see the kit, I understand that. We're doing it in just a wee second anyway. But if you are thinking about it, maybe log in on the web if you haven't already, jewelrymaker.com, or join us on the phone lines. Do you know it's free to the UK landlines and to many mobile providers too? Definitely O2 and EE. And if you're not sure of any other mobile providers, do just check. But many providers are free to 0800 numbers as well now. 995 for Black Onyx, the gem, as I say, used by Cartier, Chopin, your, your big designers, Gucci. The big designers use this gemstone, and you've got it in a really fancy coating that we don't often have, and you've got a really lovely strand. It's 20 centimetres. That's how many is that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 1. 31 is that? That's quite a fair amount on there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you be a bit hot, Sammy. Yeah. Now we'll, we'll, we'll get maybe a, a little bit of a chill on in here. Yeah, I've got Emma like this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. So, I mean, don't know what um, Zena and Helen have been getting up to. They've been having a lovely 
warm evening, afternoon. I think so. It yeah. really got hot in here. I expect they were working really hard. Yeah, they're working really it. hard, I think, is what it was. Hard. We, on the other hand, uh, are, uh, were just too hot anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Um, anyway. Right, enjoy those. Oh, oh, they'll look really, really nice with these. Oh, and with this. Oh, right, I'll show you all that in a moment. I just had to, I had to get excited. Mm, yes, I'm terrible. Toby, Toby's like, oh, are we doing that now? I'm like, don't panic, I'm just getting excited. Oh, I'm going to try to take my water as well. <laughs> Exciting times today. Right, wait to see this. Can I do it next to Sammy? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I miss Sammy. Last time you did a show was with me, wasn't it? I think so. I think? Yeah, I can't remember day of the week to be honest, but yeah, I think so. <laughs> Pretty sure, because that's when I forgot my lipstick because I bought my mascara in mistake and I had to colour my lips in with lip liner because I'd already put the lip liner on. Very technical. Very. <laughs> <laughs> I've got boys in the gallery and mm, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they often have that problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know Mike does. I've seen it before. <laughs> I've seen nothing. Right, wire-wise, let me show you what you're going to get in this kit. Or should I show you? I'm going to show you what Sammy made after because you won't believe what, what came from this kit. You'll, you'll be mind-boggled. You've got 10 metres in 1.25 millimetre antique copper wire or antique bronze sorry on your copper wire so you've got that in 10 meters 1.25 one of the largest gauges we do in this type of wire then i've got 0.6 mil gauge wire which again you're getting 10 meters off and the antique bronze and the colored wire and then you've got 0.4 millimeter gauge and you're getting 100 meters is it me or is that an immense amount Loads, isn't it? I love the bronze as well. It gives such a such a, a nice a fluid weave when you use it. It's really nice to work with. When you see what Sammy's made, you'll be blown away. Did you have enough wire to do this, or did, did you have any left over? This is, this is all left over. This is all left over. Haven't even. Yeah, no, I didn't open the point stick. It's not even open. Oh no, my gosh. No, because normally I would make something with each of the wires. You see. Yeah. But I got so carried away, and we're not going to lie, <laughs> with the kit and making what I made, that I just. I didn't. <laughs> just didn't get there. So I didn't. So if, but what you could do, um, because it's great for Viking knit, is, is make one of the pendants and just suspend it from a Viking knit oh. chain, you see. So you, that would be really, really useful to do that. Or rotary link if you don't want a Viking knit. So it's perfect. Depends what too. you fancy, depends what you like, yeah. what time you've got as well. Yeah. These, now I'm looking at yours and I'm looking at the new one. I don't really think you've dented it, to be fair, no, have you? I haven't, no. This is the, the one that's the new one, and this is Sammy's one. So there's plenty still. There's Cues. loads in there. And they're great in resin as well. Um, Fee, Fee Potter yes. does absolutely amazing things in resin. And I use a lot of them in resin as well um, for, for steampunk pieces with Pepeo paints and all sorts of stuff. Um, so they look, they're perfect for that kind of thing too. And little, well little bottles, isn't little it? Bottles. People fill little but you get some really chunks. big chunks in there as well. And um, a couple of shows ago, I did a wire wrap ring that was just one of the big clock faces. Because you get a big face in there mm -hmm. and you, yeah, you do, do all of that. So, yeah, so there's all sorts of different sizes. But this time, I just use all little bits. So yeah. Incredible. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this steampunk pack back in stock since I last brought it to you. Last time I brought it to you, it sold out. It's called the steampunk. You get 25 grams of watch parts. So everything you'd imagine in your watch um, that you could make jewellery with, it's there, aside from the, the strap, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. It's up 25 grams worth in here, so it's not just one watch, it's lots of different yeah, watch parts, it's not just one tiny watch. Um, you've then got gemstone wise, let me show you these, you will be so excited about this kit, you haven't even seen the half of it, it's amazing. So I'm going to introduce you to two of the strands that are roughly the same length. These are your ply Pyrex Plain Rounds, which are coming in at 6mm, and then next to that, you've got catching the light magnificently. Brother, you could say to the sunstone that Adina had earlier, uh, not Adina, so <laughs> Adina, that was on our sister channel, I used to work with Adina, not Adina, um, Zena. <laughs> Labradorite, she had some sunstone earlier and you've got the, the sister of the family here, or the brother you might want to know as Labradorite, where you've got inclusions within it that are totally natural, that allow you to get this wonderful blue shiller across the gemstones, it's magnificent. 
So you've got that in a length, which is coming at plain rondelles of 2 by one to 5 by 2 29 centimetres. The pirate rounds are 6 mil uh, and roughly 29 centimetres to, to 30. In fact, that might even be 38 centimetres on that one. Let me just, sorry, let me just have a look on here. Inch-wise, it's about 15 and a half. Mm -hmm. 15 and a half inches, which I think roughly is about 35 centimetres. Um, roughly. So you've got both of those. Then you've got Ethiopian opals. Wait till you see these. Oh, they're just divine though. They're super special. Look at the colours coming through from those, and that's not even trying to shade out some of the studio lights, that's just naturally. There's 13 carats in here, they're plain rondelles, 2 by one to 5 by 2 mil, it's a 13 centimetre strand with 13 carats, so a carat per centimetre. Let me see if I can shade some of those um, bright lights out and see if you can see a little bit. You can see a little bit, but there's a one, oh wow. Oh, like so many of them just have such a massive glow. They do, don't they? Because you've had yeah. the chance to work with it yeah. as well. Yeah. There we go, that's all you get. It's not! Mm. I've saved the best bit to last and if you're a, uh, a steampunk lover you'll be thinking, well I've seen it surely. If you're a wire worker you say, I've seen it surely. These, if they were from Finland, they would have called, been called spectralite. Um, we would have called them the, that calibre, the highest calibre of labradorite you can get come from Finland. And they're known as spectralite. Wait till you see this. I talked about this with my gemologist, or our gemologist, Hannah, um, a wonderful lady who was saying to me that we both felt, uh, and she 100% said it to me, and I was just like, oh, you've just confirmed everything I was hoping. I felt they were some of the best labradorites I've seen. Not even slightly coming across on TV, just there you go. to lift one up. As you said earlier, there's not one moment where they're shy and retiring, not one second where they aren't catching the light and just dancing. It's funny, this one flat is green. Yeah. Bright green when I lift it up, it's bright yellow. And the golds and everything going through it, just... They don't stop, do they? No. Every single one. For these alone, I would expect to be a wonderful... $29.95 I would expect to pay for these alone? Yeah, because they're, they're, they're picked to be extremely good quality. They absolutely and are. You do get what you pay for, so that's beautiful. I love the milky colours in that too. So you have that like ethereal blue and it's mm. kind of like a milky colour. So it's gorgeous. Off. I would have put that in sterling silver in a ring. Yeah. Make a great big showpiece ring with that one. Well, I'm gorgeous. sorry, Sammy, but you but don't I can't get these. I don't own it, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you have all of these though. I know, they're just beautiful. <sighs> now I have seven here. Um, it's a carrot weight we're going to guarantee for you and it's... <laughs> A huge carat weight of genuine labradorites for us here. 95, 100, sorry, 95 carats, plain oval cabochons. They go from 25 by 15 to 30 by 20. The orange is coming through, the quality in here, it's amazing. So let me show you what we've got. Have a look at the quality of what Sammy's been working with. You have the most gorgeous Labrador in the middle. Without even moving, it catches the light. When you slightly move it. And for it to do that in the studio just shows, because we know how difficult it is to capture these in the studio. So the fact that you haven't really had any issue showing any of the different cabs. Yeah, but do you yeah, remember when we used yeah. to sort of wait and try and like cover it and try yeah. and tide it and yeah. tilt it just so you could get the nat just a, an idea of a natural light situation because in studio lights it just doesn't show them it off well, does it? No, no, it doesn't. It's really good for sparkly things, but anything yeah. like um, opals and... Phenomenon uh, yeah, stones. that's it. It's really hard to pick up the colours. Mm. This is breathtaking, isn't it? Do you want to know the best part of this? Not only have we got all of this for you, we've got a, a, an inspiration for you, is what you could, oh my gosh. <laughs> my word, we've got an ins, two in, uh, standing inspirations for you, plus many inspirations will come from those pieces as well. Not only have we got that, we've got Toby as our producer, who's already given us some outstanding price points tonight, who I'm pretty convinced will be blowing us away with this price point. And then, to top it all off, do you know what's gonna happen? Our very own Sammy Fletcher, who's actually going to be in Prima Magazine in March. Yeah. March's issue featured <laughs> our Sammy, our Sammy, might I just point out, Aww. our Sammy, um, is going to be in a magazine. 
Prima magazine, not just any magazine, huge magazine, featured on Sammy. Sammy is going to take the time to show us how to make this very piece. Yeah. Uh huh. We're going to get to see how to make this, right? Yep, yep. And you don't have to wait for the magazine to come out in March. We're going to do it tonight. Yeah, we're going to do it tonight. We're going to get that price in for you. This is a treat. Sixty-seven pounds and ten pence for all of this together. All of it. The cabochons, the reels of wire, you've got 100 metres and the 0.4, you're getting 1.25 mil, 10 metres, and 0.6 mil, 10 metres. You've got all the clock faces, you've got yourself 25 grams of your steampunk watch parts, you've got a strand of labradorite, you've got a strand of pyrite, 8 mil, uh, sorry, 6 mil rounds. You've got Rondales of Ethiopian Obos, you've got the ultimate labradorite cabochon deal, and we're not staying at 67 pounds and 10 pounds. We should be. Wait till you see this, this is blowing my mind. I can't even look at this. Look away, look away now. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, is that not one of the biggest discounts we've ever seen on Jewelry Maker? But you paid nearly that for the Opals, wouldn't you? Yeah, and the Cabochons as well. The Cabochons, yeah, definitely. But wow, wow, I can't believe it. I was just so blown away when I opened the kit. And because you could see the Labradorite just flashing at you. And then there were Opals. And so then the, the little. And then the other Labradorite as well, the little, oh, they all just glow so much. The bike ones are amazing. Now, mm. many of you will probably be thinking, Ali, it won't come within my price range, ideally, that if this was two separate kits. And then we went to 39 95 and you're saying, hold on a minute, where's my phone? You can call me now, 0800 maker.com. A huge discount. It's not even just about the fact that we've got a great discount. It's what you're actually getting. I can't offer you these watch parts individually. I can't offer you these cabochons individually. It's the quality of all of this together. This is an ultimate one-time only opportunity. The kit that's been put together, I think, was it Pip that put this one together for yeah. us? And the quality and the standard of what you're getting is another level. The price point, for me, doesn't really um, reference what you're actually getting. It doesn't, it doesn't come to terms. I would be mm. happily paying that for the Cabochons um, and the Labradorite strand to go with it. I mean, those two alone, I would think, 39.95. Now, just so you're aware, it's a limited kit. We had, how many was it? 38 in stock originally. So it's not a big kit, to be fair, because it's got so much in it. We, we haven't got more than 38 of these cabochons to offer you tonight. We ha and if I just tilt them all individually, well, you can see that one anyway, but if I lift them all individually. Look at the glow, though. Just look at it. They're another level. And it's not just one plane, is it? You know, sometimes it is just one. You've got to get it just the right angle. Yes. Whereas this, you can, as you turn it, the cut, the light goes across the whole thing. There's peachy in that one. Yeah, there peachy is. Peachy is isn't really, there? really unusual. Um, so you get it across. It's just got such a depth and a glow. They are, they are absolutely amazing quality. Honestly, hand on heart, these are the best Labradorites. No disrespect to any Labradorites I've brought in the past. They are the best I've seen. And look at these ones popping up. They're like, don't forget me. Look at mm -hmm. me, I can chill her too. Just a flash. And that's what you're getting in the studio. So if you had them actually at home in natural light, do you remember Becky used to go in the car park all the time <laughs> and stuff? And she'd be there in the car park trying to show, <laughs> take photos so she could show you. But that's what it's like with the lights here. So. It's so, well, it's so hard to see a natural phenomenon in studio light situation. It's not the best, but we're not here to show them off to the best light. We're here to give you a 30 day money back guarantee so you can get them home. You've got plenty of time. You can take them outside. You always go to, the, I always suggest going to the best light that you have in your house. Mine happens to be at my mum's house up in Scotland, mum and dad, it's in the kitchen. But my little flat, it's in the living room. That's where I get the best light so I can have a look. Where's your best light? It's in the living room gyms? and my bedroom. Oh, nice. So, because <laughs> I work in both, so it's all good. Perfect. <laughs> because, um, yeah, because south facing. Oh, lush. So we have all the sun just streaming in. It's peace. So whatever you get, your, your light best, take your gemstones there and just enjoy them and let me know how you get on. Sammy, I don't want to take any more time. I want to, to okay. allow you to show us how to, 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 to work with this. And we're going to get a bail making pliers as well, so don't we worry about fine. that. So, and I start this, like I said, this is all that I have left. left I've got opens. tons and tons and tons left. And I, because I had, I think, six cabs in my kit, and I thought you could probably make six of the butterfly necklaces. Yes, which is um, what we're doing. Out of the kit, basically. I think you really could. That's Definitely in terms amazing. of wire, and I think you have enough pyrite to do it all as well. Um, because though we're using quite a bit of wire in this kit, mm -hmm. but not enough to deplete it for making six. But it also means that. Um, you're making your gemstones go further and because they are such good quality it's all about how to make them go further yep but showcase each one so I've framed each one so that's what I've done because mm -hmm. they're all really lovely and you can always tell if I really like something because I will frame it 
So I'm just going to cut two pieces of the 0.25 wire. Okay. 1.25. 0.25 wouldn't make a good collar, would it? That would be, be interesting. Would be. Maybe for Tinkerbell. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. So my technical way of measuring it is I hold it up to my neck, really, and mm -hmm. I see if it's going to be long enough to go round an inch each side. Okay. To make your um, clasp out but you don't even have to make a clasp you can just put a loop on each end and then add a mm. add a pre-made clasp to it as long as you've got a loop on the end so but we're not going to focus on the clasp we're going to focus on how to start making the collar now you'll see that i just rub it with my hands and what i'm trying to do is just if there are any kinks i'll just push it out with my thumb but i'm not overly worried because I, I tend to do this also while i'm going on so i have it to kind of roughly how i want to do it and I'll pick up my second shorter piece. Um, again, you're going to want to make sure wherever you're going to start uh, doing your decoration around here, this is going to have to be about three or four inches longer each side because you can always cut it down afterwards. So I'm going to take the end mm. of one of the shorter pieces and just mm. ordinary round nose pliers, or the zero on ones in this case, but we're just going to make a little loop at the end. All I'm doing and then I'm going to tiny little bit of a curl. And the reason for that to be a full loop rather than a spiral is it's just an anchor point to put your wire through. Okay. So I'm now going to lean it down next to the collar, like so. Mm -hmm. And the thing about the 1.25 is it does really, really holds its shape. It very does, well. isn't it? Once you've sort of put it's it there, perfect. It's, it, and it's quite well behaved. It is. I'm only going to cut off a small piece, but this is because I'm just demoing how to start attaching it. Okay. Um, but also because, I, to be fair, I didn't do a long weave here. I kind of stopped and then started a bit further on. Yeah. So about where I want to start on my collar, I'm just going to wrap it around three times, around the main collar bit. Okay. And you can see it's quite long. I'm now going to pick up the second piece of the second wire. And I'm going to hold it. And you see you'll have wire going everywhere. So I'm just going to hold it right next to it. I am. I promise. I'm going to win because I'm the boss. You will win the good fight. I am going to hold it between my thumb and my forefinger with that little loop and I'm going to push the wire through the loop. Just going to pull it nice and tight and attach that three times. Uh, through the little through loop Through there and then what you're going to do is really quite quick to do that. And then you're just going to tie it off at the other side. Now if, you're, if you want to add a little bit of structure at this point, you've gone three times to, through this loop, you can then take it round, push it all the way up and then come underneath and then back up through the loop in like an hourglass and do that for a couple of times and that actually stops a little bit of the movement however once you get further round that's not an issue it's just more if you don't really want it flapping about while you're beginning to build it so that's a preference thing so what you would then do is just trim that off here pick up so many cutters I have a big pile of cutters next to me and now what I'm going to do is I'm shape it with my thumb. So I think I want a little bit of a gap as a bit of a decoration, like so. And then in order to add a little bit more strength to it, do a little bit of a weave here. Ooh. Um, again, we're going to do a little bit of an hourglass weave okay. very quickly. I'll just show you how to start that and then I'll pick up the one that I just finished. Okay, okay. Um, again, it's going to go around three times. And the most important thing is, as you, I know I'm doing it very fast, but each time I'm pushing up about twice, so I go round, push it up, go round, push it up, you know. Yep. And then I'm going to come, because the wire has come from the top of this um, yep. collar, it's going to come underneath this one. Ah, okay. I'm going to pull it really firmly, and I'm bracing it with my thumb, and I go all the way around, pushing it up again with my forefinger and then my thumb and then coming underneath. And because you're pulling it really, really firmly, you're going to get a really tight, close weave. And again, pushing it up. And then just do that for a little decorative bit, for as long as you really want to. And then can it's just I going just to sit turn there. that up a little bit, just so for anyone who's see? not Oh, aware. right. I can, well, I was going to pick up the finished one, and then you could see yeah. there's a little bit further on. Perfect. Um, just because we can, with that camera, we're able to go a bit yeah. closer, aren't so we? So I've, got it, I've done it for now. a little bit longer here. Perfect. And you can see where I've trimmed it off. Um, so if I hold it up like that with my oh hand behind yeah. it. So it's up to you right. how long you want to do that for, but you can see already that really doesn't have much movement. 
and once you start getting these other bits in there'll be no movement at all it just adds a little bit more strength so if you're oh, ever on a join needing a bit more strength do a bit of an hourglass weave right because it for whatever reason some it, engineering thing yeah, <laughs> some technical, some form technical physics, reason it works. It, yeah it works really really well now just before you do this next part we were meant to be doing these at half past and okay. we were going a little bit carried away so what we're going to do is do it they're a spar star by they've not been back in stock for ages we've been waiting for how long have we been waiting for these sammy absolutely ages mm. so we're going to do it now it's your star by bail making pliers six steppers <laughs> <gasps> you need these in your life, uh, if only for to make Sammy happy, I think. Yeah, you do. There are six step stepper, six step bail making pliers. So you get two mil, three mil, eight mil, six mil, eight mil, and ten mil. So last seen in March, nearly a year. How crazy! And is that March two thousand and fifteen? Yeah, because the other day we did it and it was 2014 of something else. We thought, whoa, that's two years. And wow. um, so it's been one year we've been waiting. I cannot thank you enough. You're already calling. I cannot thank you enough for your patience. Thank you so much for waiting. We've been waiting for them too. I think Sammy's been waiting more than yes. anybody. Bless you. You adore these. And every time you want to say, when you can use these, we haven't got any in stock. So no. it's the first time ever that we've got them. And Sammy's been, well, Sammy always uses them, but it's the first time ever you can say. I can say, just use them. Because they, they always ask you what tools you've used. Yes, we do. <laughs> so you email them. Sorry, I've got a coffee. You want some water? <laughs> so you email the producer, and I'm like six step baby pliers. No, we haven't got any. He's like, okay. You never have any. Not today, Sammy. I don't even think you emailed us. I think you gave I didn't up. I emailed. I was like, no, they won't have them. And they've got them. So there you go. Had them since March, but they've been saved for <laughs> Sammy. Sorry, everybody else, but Sammy does love them. Um, you've got a selection of different gauges: two mil, three mil, four mil, six mil, and eight mil. So you've got the the first three on one side. Uh, oh no, you don't actually. I tell you, it goes yeah. graduated two yeah. mil, three mil, four mil, uh, six mil, eight mil, and then your ten mil on this side. So you're getting yourself the perfect hat already. There's multi purchases in here. Many pe people are getting them not only for themselves, maybe as a two sets, one for working at home, maybe one for your tools when you go travelling, but also many of you might be uh, getting some for your friends who you know really want them. Maybe you've all been talking about them. Maybe you sort of work together and do your jewellery making together and you've all mentioned that you would use them. But Sammy, I know you yeah. love them, but for anyone who's just tuned in or hasn't even heard of them, why do you love them so much? Why do, do these work for you? Well, especially in the design that we're just about to yes. do, because you're making um, lots of these little shapes that I've just... I've just basically made this kind of figure of eight shape using yep. my bailing pliers, and you want consistency up, right? all the way around. Um, you, want, you want consistency. So you want exactly the same shape because you're going for symmetry. Um, that's what exactly they're perfect for. Perfect for making clasps. Perfect for making bales. Perfect for making um, pretty much any kind of symmetrical design you want to make. I mean, I've done amazing deco pieces because you want all the yeah, different you loops, you want, but you want them all the same. So you might have a little one and then a bigger one and then a bigger one and then a bigger one. And, and then you can graduate you can, with them. You can't can graduate you? it. Um, you can see here that I've, I've used the bigger ones, it, the, you know, the bigger sizes of the middle at the bottom just yes. for a little bit, of, a bit of difference. And I've used them in the um, actual butterfly as well. They're so gorgeous. They're great. How do you use them for everybody's flying? And I cannot congratulate you enough with over 13 baskets. How many did we have, was it? 100 we had. We waited a year. We've got 100. I apologise, but we've, got, we've done the best we can. The, uh, w another way of doing this is we're managing to get this price and we're managing to keep this price for you. It's an outstanding price. Do you want to see what it is? It's just 8 95 Oh, my gosh. For, in essence, what, six different mandrels? Yes, Could you look basically. on it like that? But it's even easier to use than a mandrel because, you know, you just... This, we're just about to do it for the demo Should as well. we do it? Um, so for to start making the bits that you're going to put around the collar, you're just going to go with the second one up. So not the smallest one, just going to go all the way around. And then I want one that is two sizes bigger. And I'm going to go, because I want to fit the pie right in. And I'm just going to hold it like so and wrap it all the way around like this. You see, and it's just yeah. so easy because it, it's not a mandrel. You've got the pressure you can you can grip and turn, which makes it a little bit easier. Rather and than you turn the wire, you're exactly. turning the... You notice that I'm working from the reel here, and that's because I want um, a cur the proper curve at the end. So it's easier if I work on the, on the reel and then cut, I can cut it to exactly where I want it. Uh, rather make, than... You know, yeah rather than cutting it and then trying to do it. So it just makes it a lot easier and a little bit less waste. 
So you make as many of those as you want to go um, around your necklace. necklace. Thank <gasps> you. I love them. I mean, they've got tools where you can use to create the sort of S hook, but that's the full all the way around. It's, a, it's a not just an S, that's not an S hook, it's a, a full connector, it's a piece of jewellery. Yeah. They're, they're gorgeous. I mean, you imagine just having a, a gemstone drop from that. You could use them in the middle of earrings. Yeah. It's going to completely change I mean, your jewellery making so techniques. Make a, making a clasp is just really, really, very really simple with these as well. Is it? So, uh, to make, you're just going to go one way with the smallest one at the end, just to make a little tiny loop at the end, like so. And that's almost like the end of the loop. And then how about, use one of the middle two here. And I'm gonna go, I'll use a slightly bigger one, I think, just because I want to make a bit more of a dramatic clasp. Yeah. Like that, and you have a clasp. Wow. One, you know, you see if I hold that there, Yeah. you have one bit of a- um, Straight line. A straight line, you know what I mean? So you can actually, if you cut that off there, and you bent that up there and made that into a wrap loop. You can just attach it onto something like so, or just do the clasp on the end of this. And then to do the the eye bit that you would hook that into, I'm just gonna hold the wire like so. I'm gonna go all the way around the bigger bit like this. And you can see it has a little bit of an overlap there. And you're just going to take that all the way around. Obviously I'm using a 1.25 wire, so that's quite a thick one. I was going to say that's quite strong, you probably <laughs> yeah. but I have, So I am actually going to use pliers, pliers on the end there, like so. And you can see, because you've got consistency here, you can make a lovely, consistent, even loop. That, and I've done that straight on the reel. I haven't squidged that shut yet. And you and just put the clasp through. And you can see how professional that looks. And if you want to really, really, really top it off, just give it a little bit of a hammer for mm -hmm. a little flatten out look, and it's going to look great. But there you go. Love it. So that's how easy it is to make clasps with those, as well as consistent loops Thanks. in designs. Mm -hmm. And I use it with anything from 0 0.6, 0 0.8, anything all the way up to make, um, make pieces that are really kind of uh, so it's beautiful butterflies oh. because you do need the symmetry. So anyway, back to the collar. I love it. Just, <laughs> just to let you know, I've got 35 baskets, wow. not to mention those of you who haven't thought about picking up the phone. If, the, if you all check out and just buy one, I'll be lucky if I have about 15 left, lucky out of your 100. So just to let you be aware, I'm not saying it to rush you, just to make you aware, a majority of people are buying two. So if everybody mm -hmm. bought two, there's not enough for everybody who's on the, the web just now. So just to bear that in mind, the code on it is XLZX. 52. We've not had them since March, so check them out as soon as you can. I'll let you get back to it, Sammy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. No worries. So we've got, we've got the beginning of a collar here, you can see. Um, so I'm going to use this shape. And, and what you're going to start doing is like we wove these two bits together, just weave those. You can do that. I don't really I need to demonstrate that again. Oh, yes. Just weaving um, the wire in between. Just weaving the wire in between. Um, lay it out like... I wanted to have a sort of a small, big, big, small, mm -hmm. like this that I'm laying it out on here. So what uh. I did, I wove those two in place, and then I wanted to make sure to create like a beveled edge to my um, Ooh, yeah. collar. So I, always, I made sure that this wire was going to come down, pull it really firmly on against this, mm -hmm. and then I'll take this one out here just so I don't have to make another one. Oh yeah. And then just all of this was using my fingers. Really? But because you're using the guideline of the pieces that you have made that are completely symmetrical, you're going to have it looking great. So then you put the next one in and you have that up and you just bring that across. So you start getting an up and down beveled effect yeah. to your collar. And then See when you there, get to where you went gorgeous. at the bottom, I just did two around the biggest one across the, you know, two hourglass ones yeah, across the bottom. Yeah, big ones there. So that was how we did the collar. So I'm just going to shove that off to one side now. So we've done that. Now, um, I'm not going to talk you through doing netting around a cabochon because right. we have it on the website. Yes, we do. Um, and it's demonstrated quite often. Yes. And if I did that, then we wouldn't get much further through this piece. Okay. But you can see here I've netted um, a cab. And if I lift it up like so, you can see, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? But what I did was, on the third row, I just did a couple of bits, if you can just see, I did a few big ones across there, and then I've left the wire at the top, and there's a little bit of a gap. Oh, yeah. So, and the reason for doing that was that I can just thread, I can pick a, one of these gorgeous little ovals, 
and I can just thread it onto the water. They're so beautiful. I have trouble picking. There's so many. Let me anyway, pop I'll some pick one up here. So I only need one, and I can just slide slide it on the end of this wire. Now there is a, there are many reasons for doing this, mainly because I've got opals and I want to. Because you can. That. I've mangled the end of that wire, so I'm going to cut it off rather than waste time trying to get that through there. There you go. <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? Mangle the end of the wire. Well, that's what happens when you're weaving. You'll quite often do. So I've pulled that across, and I'm just going to take the wire around. I want to hold it really carefully with my finger right in front of the camera, so that's very useful for everybody. Oh. I'm going to thread that around. I'll move it back in a second. And you can see I'm just pulling. Now, I will pu pull this one quite firmly, but as I'm pulling, I'm going to just centre that again and then pull. Mm-hmm. And now what it does is also hides the fact that I'm going to take the wire down behind it. If I turn this round, you'll be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing. I'm taking the wire down behind that opal oh, yes. on that top row just to finish off the netting. And I'm going to be, I'm very carefully adding tension and pulling that okay. so I get it really nice and neatly. So you can see it sat down there and I'm going to take this wire back through the base of the frame and you notice that it's really quite a long wire I've used to net and that's because I will use this long wire here to start weaving it to the actual frame of the butterfly which I will build around whichever I mean there wasn't any point in me giving you direct measurements because the cabs are all different sizes yes they are so what you have to do is to lay it out and decide how big you want to go so i put that in the middle there perfect and as you say on have a look on our youtube page julian maker uk you can yep. find many tutorials sammy and many of the other guest designers have done some netting so just do have oh, a yes. check and you can look for just specifically sammy or other guest designers do have a look for the name and you can just and look for just specifically you can. them. And if you get stuck, just message me. I have got a step-by-step -step guide that I can link onto my Facebook page. Yeah. But obviously, there's one in Joy Baker as well. So just get me in and I will do that for you. Might not be tonight because I might be passed out by the time I get home. <laughs> but it might be. So what I always do, because um, obviously every cab is different and I'm trying to build up a frame for anything, mm -hmm. the first thing I do is I won't cut one piece, I'll cut two. Okay. Because what you want to do is, if, if it's the right size, mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to have to cut a second one exactly the same ah, size okay. because you've already bent it. So how ah, are you going to know? Right, okay. So I always cut two because you're doing a symmetrical shape. Okay. Now you can see this is a couple of inches, or quite a few inches larger, um, both sides. Now you can use your bailing pliers again. And just to let you know there are only 10 of those left now. So if you haven't already got them and they've got them in your basket, do check them out because they are about to sell so out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bit of a, just a bit of a kind of a spiral. And if you want, you can put a loop in there as well. But I'm just going to make a bit of a spiral. I'm going to lay that here and I'm going to bend it in. And you can see that although it looked quite massive, when you, in terms of where it is, so about halfway along, I'm just going to gently, and I'm just gently coaxing it to be bent in there. So I want it to sit, um, but still have a little bit of room at the top. So I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to bend it a little bit more, actually. But remember, you're the boss, so you can do that. And it's going to fit in like that, and then we're going to just bend the bottom bit. So I'm going to pick it up again with my thumb, like so. And I think this one's going to be quite long, but... If it is, you just do a bigger spiral. It's all fine. Oh. Or you can cut it down. So we're just going to do this. Just going to bend it. I promise you I am. Just caught that with my finger. There we are. So the important thing is, once you've made one, and I'm going to do that oh, wow. this way up, you can see you're already getting that butterfly <gasps> shape. Oh, it's gorgeous, And Sammy. it's slightly off centre. So then you just echo it with the other side. Mm-hmm. And then if you've got, you're going to make some, two more of these loops and these are going to sit here on the top and you can either do it with the biggest bit at the bottom or the biggest bit, it depends which way around you want to do it. I prefer to have the biggest bit at the bottom because mm -hmm. it sits nicely in the loop. So get it all laid out how you want to, like so, fill it, fill this side in. Mm -hmm. get your other do you want me to pop this next to it for anyone who's just You can in? because I mean I've done a much bigger wing here. Whereas that one, you know, you can just see, um, you've got a, one of the lovely little figure eights there, and a little figure, a smaller one using yeah. a smaller bit of the balers at the oh bottom yeah. there. Um, but and that, that's those bits there, doesn't so it? So basically, here and here. all you have are two wing sides, and then a few of these. 
So I've taken that theme that has, has run through the whole piece. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're designing a piece of jewellery, that's quite an important thing to do. Of course. Because it, it subconsciously registers and it, it just kind of makes it look more even. And it, it does, it's a very useful trick. It's amazing. Then if you take the wire that you've used to net this and just start attaching the one of these to the frame and you wrap it all the way around the bottom like so over and over and over and over put taking it up through and just wrapping it and pushing it because when you net there is always a little gap mm -hmm. you probably can't even see it between the base and there that's quite easy to thread a wire through yes so it's space. a really easy way to attach things to frames which is why i love netting so much so you attach that and then just start net it wherever any wire touches another wire on your design you're going to draw it. it through um, so it's that is basically it and then you can just attach stones either as you go or I prefer to do it after so I have it all laid out and then I will touch put stones and little ah, accents so you do that as the there. last section I do it as the last section so you can see there the wires touched there so that's why you've wrapped there again it's touched there it's touched and there yeah. and rather so than um, on some of the smaller pieces rather than cut it off Mm -hmm. um, I'll just take it all the way around the whole bit of wire. Yes. And just also adds a little that, bit of detail when you do that kind of thing. Lovely swirl all the way around. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just using those bedding flies to the max, really. I love doing it. Sammy, this is incredible. And it also shows that once you've, as you said, you've got enough wire to make this and enough cabochons to make this quite a fair few times over. You have. If you wish to add another gems other than the pyrite or the Ethiopian opal, once mm -hmm. you've been having your stash or a strand that you've bought that you really love that you haven't used as yet, then that gives you that option to it do does. that as well, doesn't and I, it? I would be charging at least ninety pounds for that necklace. Of course. Yeah. For that quality and calibre, the work that's gone into it. And people um, would buy it at that price, no problem. Yeah. Because it's a beautiful stone, and I think for me. The stones are the star of the show, mm -hmm. so it's about framing every one of them and saying, I'm just beautiful. Look just at me. Saying, yeah. Sammy, I cannot thank you enough. Thank Coming you. into work today, I thought it was going to be a, a special day, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but I didn't realise just how special. Sammy, you're Aww. amazing. Thank you but so much. lovely working oh, with I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Please don't admit, sorry, we always hug and then bash no. our microphones, aren't we? We never learn, we just do it just because it's fun, just upset. No, not, no, not we don't at do all, we just do it for fun. <laughs> we just like each other that we much. We do. Um, we're going to have another few treats for you. Um, are we going to have a star by now? Are we going to save it in a minute? Should we do it now? Do you fancy star by? Yeah, always. <laughs> Me too, let's do it. Star by time. Oh, I'm feeling terribly naughty today. If you've just tuned in, I'm Ali Defoy. What I've got for you right now is so wrong. It's almost right. They look amazing, but the price does not match them. The quantity is immense. I got 255. When do I get 255 of anything? This is massive. This is not an everyday on Jewelry Maker. It's a Monday, and boy, oh boy, are we making it manic. Have a look at this. The colour is metallic in its look. It's mystic blue, sort of metallic coating. It's a wonderful treat. Very, very popular. If you've seen sort of celebrities recently wearing, the, they've been wearing a lot of um, bolder opals with that sort of metallic -y blue coming through from them and bright, 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 rich, intense um, metallics like this. Really, really fun. They are nuggets. They are quartz. They're 12 by 10 mil as they start and they're 20, 24 by 60 mil. You need to trust me on this one and call early. You will love what we can do to these price point wise as well as quantity wise. Got plenty for everybody. 230 carats as a premiere. You are the first to see it. Jai XPO28. This would be my try as out strand. The only reason it's not is, is, is because I've got, I was torn between this and some neon appetite which would look pretty spectacular together. This will be at 750 for you for the Neon Appetite. Um, and it's really, really affordable. They're all they're both brand new, both coming your way, and they're both big, big quantities. You can actually, aside from maybe 12 people, is it 243? Yeah, but 12 people, you could get both. We've got such a huge quantity. That's an immense one. Both of these together, what would you expect? In neon Appetite and Quartz like this. Well, let's promise you under 50. Way under 50. What do you think about it with black? You want way under 50? 
How low do you want me to go? Under 20? Oh, I just bit my own mouth there. That's far too low. <laughs> All right, then, if you insist, under 20. I had black spinel in my hand there, though. That's not coming up to late. You want that for under 20? I had, hold on, I had neon appetite and then I had black spinel. You can't say you want that. And, all right then. This means this has to go, they both have to go under 10 then. This is black spinel. All right then. I'm having a, a night for you tonight. Boy, oh boy, you're going to love it. And I think it would look pretty spectacular with these. It might just remind you a little bit of that wonderful Disney film called Frozen. 10 to 7 amazing B World Pearls. We've only got 44 of these, though. These are going to be something um, we have to really jump in on time for. They're going to be very limited. For these, already lots of you coming through. If there's a particular colour you want me to show you with them, just let me know. If there's something you want to see it with, do always ask. But for that metallic, it's almost got hints of teal in there as well. Really quite cool. I was at the furniture show yesterday, actually. It sounds a bit bizarre for all the things I could be doing. I was at the NEC at the furniture show, I know, right? Um, I really enjoyed it, I really, really enjoyed it. But there were so many teal and metallic blue sofas. Like velvet colour, velvet feel, metallic blue, a met yeah, a metallic uh, teal colours. It was really quite cool. So that's what's coming in, going to be coming into your stores in the next weeks. For the next few, yeah, yeah, it was. Crazy. Um, well, look cool, but I'm just thinking you'll match all the sofas that are coming out. Maybe that's the reason to get them or not, I don't know. But it's what's coming into um, to fashion um, in your, your house wise. So there you go. Um, Mercedes is in, Vivian's in as well. Multi purchases, Avril's in. You don't even know the price. This is awesome. Um, or you might have an inkling of the price. What can we do for this? I mean, it's a full 38 centimetres. Should we, do, should we do something really low? All right then, let's do it. If we're going to do it, we might as well do it good. Terrible English, I know. You know what I mean. You're going to do it. Do it well. Um, £6.95. Woohoo! Wonderful treat. Tracy's in in Lancashire. I've got lots and lots of lots of you joining us out in Manchester. Great to see you as well. Oh, West Midlands are in as well. East Riding of Yorkshire. Kent's there. Essex there. West Sussex there's there. Gloucestershire. We're, we're not far from Gloucestershire at all. I was in Gloucestershire at the weekend. Yes, we had to be drive in the car. Lovely. I live there. Do I mean, yes, you do. <laughs> should have knocked on your door. You should have. Um, I have visitors, though. I have my mum visiting, so I could have done that. But then I would have been like, you've got all of us all oh, coming to town. Would that have been oh, okay? Yeah, that would have been fine. All right. My house is manic anyway. Wonderful. To join the madness. <laughs> yeah, sure. Perfect. Do. And we'd fit in just right, just right here. <laughs> um, Six pounds and 95 pence. What a treat for you to be able to get. Ge now, they are genuine gems. As much as they look like um, wonderful, they remind me of um, the really fancy Christmas paper you get as well, or not just necessarily Christmas, like birthday paper. That would be really cool. My um, the director Mike's just come up with a great suggestion. You know, sometimes people have a, one of my friends has a bowl with corks in it, and you have different bowls of potpourri and different things. Imagine a bowl with these in it. That would be quite cool. Have a little candle above it, or maybe you had um, a flower in there. Just, you know, one of these sort of four flowers that stay alive all the time. And you could put them in something like this. Oh, weddings, I know, if you think about that. One of my friends had a Christmas wedding in January. It was a bit delayed, but it was, like, it was in January, but it was still a Christmas theme, if that makes sense. All the Christmas decorations were still up in the hotel. It was only like the 3rd of January. It was brilliant. Um, but these, that could be quite a sort of Disney Frozen theme and have them in, in your table decorations as well. Oh, I think these are quite cool. And that's both ladies and gents, isn't it? The favourite colours thought to be blue of ladies and gents. I really think they're quite metallic and quite fabulous. And I love the greens coming through and the teal. Oh, I think they're lovely. I really, really do. And for £6.95 to add to your order, well, I just did a little um, Alice... What is it? Alice in Wonderland? What is it? No, it's not. I clicked my heels together. What's that one? Total. Wizard of Oz. Wizard, Wizard of, of Oz. Oz. Dorothy. Dor I just did a little Dorothy there. Quite excited. Rosemary's there in Belfast, Patricia's there in Ronda Kine and Taff, I hope I said that correctly, Mary, Mary's in Yorkshire, multi-purchases, Suffolk, Devon, Somerset, oh my word, super, super popular, don't forget, we've got the sterling silver slider connectors, two-sided um, two sterling silver connectors that are coming up, we've got Bebo Pearls, we've got Black Spinel, I've got the ultimate price point and your neon appetite, I've got everything coming your way, you don't want to miss it, and we've got Ethiopian opals all to come on the other side of a very, very short break, plus more with our Sammy, so we'll see you in a sec. 
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, V807DU. Get making and good luck. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. I think Labradorite, when you think about it, is as beautiful as a diamond because it gives you, for me, more amazement than a diamond. You look at it and it does something really unexpected, like a lightning bolt. Labradorite is one of those gemstones from Jewelry Maker that is always going to be a top seller. The Labradorite that you get from Jewelry Maker has got I extreme amounts of labradorescence. The colour saturation is just superb and that's really indicative of the quality that we can get for you here at Jewelry Maker. Um, it seems to reflect your moods as well, whatever kind of mood you're in, whatever you put it with, it seems to bring out those gorgeous colours so it really is a true chameleon gemstone. How are you doing? Happy Burns Night to you. I'm Ali Defoy. It's great to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful evening so far. Let me know what you've been up to. Have you been working away today? Have you been jewellery making? Or have you been doing, uh, maybe you've got something you do, a usual job during the day and then jewellery making is a hobby? Drop us a text. It can be 60777. Your normal network charge will apply. And if you put GM Studio at the start of your text, it'll come straight through to us. Maybe you've got some questions for our gorgeous Sammy. Maybe, uh, if you've just tuned in, I've got the wonderful Sammy Fletcher with me. Where have you been? Had a fantastic design inspiration already, but don't, don't worry don't fret or fear we've got another one coming up uh, around seven o'clock so you're if you stay here you'll be fine um sammy's second de uh, design inspiration is fantastic brilliant for if you're beginning jewelry making as well actually also for regular viewers and for those of you who are quite um quite skilled in it yourself but great for beginners as well coming up at the seven o'clock hour i've got so much coming your way i want to show you some treats in this hour silver grey Biwa pearls, oh my word, all after the Biwa Lake out in Japan, which if we could, if I could, Sammy, if I had the money, I would send you and your husband to Japan for your honeymoon. I would totally do that. I'd love you Aww. to get to go to Japan. Really, really want to go. I, I think it'd be incredible. I love Japan. Yeah, one day we're going to have our honeymoon. Why we don't you see, guys, I'll go and do some research on Biwa pearls and oh, uh, can take my husband with me and it can be our honeymoon. 
Ah, I totally do that. We could do that, couldn't we? Yeah. I tried to do that with the Australian opals, and then they started finding them in Ethiopia, so that oh, didn't get me to Australia. That didn't. Oh. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Know. But they're different though. They're yeah, different. I know. They're mm. both gorgeous. It just didn't get me a plane ticket to Australia. Um, let me show you, although I have fortunately been, which we were just discussing, I've been once and it was the best thing. Right, sterling silver. Have a look at these. These are slider connectors. They've got a 95 sterling silver stamp on the back, you can see there, and they slide in. And you've got a double connector. Obviously, you don't, don't just have to use two, you could use um, more threads in there if you wish or one, it's completely up to you what you decide to do. But these connectors, I don't know if you can see there, if I try and turn it around, they've got a little groove in there. It's a little spring, so when you push this over the top, it springs down and then holds it in place. Curved on the ends and perfect for your bracelets, necklaces, and many, many other treats. Sterling silver coming up, brand new for me. Uh, oh, I've got hiccups now. It's eating cashew nuts far too fast, that's what that was. Have a look at this. This is a special treat our Sammy's made. Sammy's going to be working with this particular strand. So we'll just quickly show you this if you've just tuned in again. Where have you been? It's all right. It's Monday. I'll let you off. It's all right. Um, they went to 6 95 So imagine how many you can make of those. Let's count them quickly. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 20. 2, 4, 5. 25 rings you could do. Wow. A and it's six ninety five for the the whole strand. A five of each should be a you'd be pennies in, wouldn't you? Yeah. Quidson. Loving that. Oh gorgeous, and it looks stunning with the copper wire. Copper yeah. colour, doesn't it? <sighs> Love it. Our Sammy's a superstar. We'll get to see what else she makes. She's playing with this strand for the next wee while, actually, up until look at her. You're awesome, right. Lots and lots coming up. What do you fancy next? What would you like? Let me jump in too. Ooh, ooh. Oh. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, don't you worry, I've got it. I'm on it. Uh, I've got producer Toby with me tonight. It's the first time we weren't together. And um, I think we're having a good night. What do you reckon? He's enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's going well. The mic's working away. <laughs> it's a really, really night break tonight. How lovely are these lavenders? Oh, they would match your unicorn dress perfectly. Oh, they would. I love those. I love amethyst anyway. Yes. And that beautiful, delicate, pale amethyst is just gorgeous. It's almost like a complete contrast, isn't it, to what we can get with the Zambian amethyst, the really, really dark purples. It's almost like yeah. you've got two different variations of, of amethyst, isn't it? You can go for the lovely lilacs, depending on your mood. You can still wear amethyst, but wear the darker ones if you want something a bit richer. Well, that's more bridal. Like, you can make something amazingly bridal out of that. Yeah. Um, and it was so decadent to have something bridal made out of amethyst. Amethyst is imagine? really well known. Yes, isn't it? So amethyst. I love the way you say that. Really well known. Oh, it is. Isn't, isn't it? it? Is I, know, I completely known. agree. Um, say so next month's birthday as well. Mm. So. And that special weekend. Oh yes, that. Anybody yeah. like it or <laughs> loathe it? It happens every year. I like it. I just get Do too, you? too many expectations. Really. <laughs> I love my husband, but. <laughs> not a strong point no okay <laughs> and well maybe this year it could be changing maybe you never know um lovely lavenders i mean i was talking about this with my mum um, just yesterday it was a lovely picture of flowers we were looking at and i said well it's something you could have a picture of a flower you can have forever but you can make some flowers with amethyst okay. and that could be a gift of flowers that last forever because flowers don't usually i mean i had got some beautiful flowers the other day don't get me wrong but they're said to last for seven days which would be great but then what happens after the seven days you have to throw them away, Exactly, and it's a sad affair. So something like this, those lavender colours, I mean, they would be really pretty flower pieces or a bouquet or... Yeah, um, yeah, one of those in the centre with woven leaves. Oh, Which are just yeah. gorgeous. Alison did some amazing flowers at the weekend. Yes, if you want, If you need to go back and have a look. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's something you can you can do with those. Just have one as a centrepiece. Just be beautiful, it really would. delicate. I do it with silver wire, I think. Yeah, Just sterling silver. Oh, yeah, and a yeah. sterling silver slider clasp. Yes, I do think that that warrants with the faceting. It definitely warrants the sterling. I completely agree with you. Oh, I should be. Oh, and there he goes again with the two words that I really like: should and be. Should be. <laughs> Woohoo! Fifteen pounds is what we should be at. And um, you've got thirty-eight centimeters here. Lots and lots of yen already. I've got three hundred sixty carats of luscious. I'm going to call it luscious lavenders in your amethyst. Ooh! Oh, well, there you go. Now, this would have been perfect 10 years ago when I was going to my school prom. We're over that now. 
over 10 years. But yeah, when I went to my high school prom, this is the colour of dress I wore. Oh. And if only, and I got some, love you mum, but I got <laughs> some pearls that like were faux pearls because that's what we could, that's the only thing that my mum and I could really find that we thought would go nice with it and we got some faux pearls. Managed to break the bracelet in the first prom and I had two proms so I didn't get to wear it for the second one. Um, but yeah, and I wish if this something like this was accessible to me, I would have, have loved to wear something like this. And, and the fact we've even got real pearls. That's probably cheaper than your faux pearls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a beautiful, don't get me wrong, that's what I'm saying. It was a beautiful gift, but knowing what we could get nowadays, it wasn't, a, Julie Maker's only been around for six years. It wasn't as if in my prom I could have got it as an alternative. It wasn't there, but looking at it now, there's so many great ideas. This would have been perfect with my prom dress and still a lovely colour for proms these days as well. Lovely pastel colours this year. They are stunning. Well done. What a discount and what a treat. Enjoy them. Lavender amethysts fasted perfectly. Oh, lots of love for those. Right, nine pounds and ninety-five pence. What do you fancy next? Mmm. Oh, bit of blue. Mmm. An agate bundle. Oh, I like this. This looks like I've just dumped, jumped back into the furniture show with all their teals and their blues and their and their sofas. Really quite cool. I don't think I'm I'm cool enough. My house is just beige, beige and brown, but these. Teals and blue, these are amazing. Oh, I feel like I've just dived to the bottom of the deep blue sea. <laughs> what do you think? I want to put some yellow with this now, so I've got some like rubber duckies going on. Oh, what would you do with it? What would you put with it? That was like one of the first strands I ever bought. Was it? Yeah, I absolutely love that banded agate, blue banded agate. It's just so pretty. Isn't it? So one of the first strands I ever bought. This has just blown my mind. <laughs> there it is with copper colour. And then look at it with antique bronze, which you might have just got wire-wise from, from the wonderful kit, which there are very, very few left of, if any at all, on Sammy's kit. So just bear that in mind if you were thinking about it or if it's in your basket. There's only a few. I love that. Let's just flip this round, because this was made by our gorgeous Sandra. But the smiley face, I love it when they put smiley face and kisses on, on, the, on the labels. That makes me very happy. Sandra's done, if, if I'm not mistaken, some herringbone weave there. Is that yes. herringbone weave within there? Yes, it is. With your wire, encapsulating some of them, spaces within them. And the antique bronze and the copper colour and the gold look wonderful if you mix them all up. That's lovely sort of mix of metals, isn't it? And the graduation of sizes. And it's wonderful because each one has their own individual characteristics, but they all go together really well as well. I think that's fantastic. I mean, you can wear that with a huge array of different outfits, even just a plain white blouse in the summer. Or I know I'm already, I'm bypassing winter. I am, I'm gone. Oh, yeah, I'm, I just I'm over the snow. I'm ready for sunshine, I am. Me, I hate winter. I like snow. The rest of the winter, I'm not interested. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're done. So we're done with winter. We're ready for the spring. We're ready for the summer. We're ready for blues and brightness. Yeah? You ready for a little bit of brightness? Mind you, winter skies are that colour, aren't they? This and I love true. those. Really the crisp, Switzerland cold. skies, oh Swiss blue skies. Yes. That's oh, all right, we, we like winter again. <laughs> <laughs> Winter's okay, we'll take it again. It's allowed. Um, so, what do we do? You get three strands, all of them are 12 millimetre and they're fasted. What can we do for your price point in that? Oh my gosh, I would say expect £35 for a necklace like that. £23.85 is just the price of three of them added together and we're going to go down on top of that. There should be a price, oh, triple trouble, I like that. What do you reckon we could do for three? Not even £10 each. I don't. £5 each. They're amazing. Aren't they? They're really great quality, aren't they? From the colour that you're and seeing, the luster. So and big. you see them from there. They're so big because I love to use the 12 mil and, and up for the um, orbital. I do like pendants with two. And yeah, a little bit do. of weaving around. And that's perfect for that. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous, isn't it's it? It's cute, isn't it? It's really stretchy. Um, well, it's on elastic, so it's going to be, sorry. But it's got the chain weaved in between. So if I take it off, you'll be able to see the, the way the chain falls and the way the chain's been wrapped around is giving you that really gorgeous, stretchy, but with uh, attention to detail. Yeah, I love it. It feels fabulous. It goes on really easily. And then you've got that chain draping down. That's lovely with the blue in the corner. I really, really love this. Margaret in the West Midlands is in. Tracy's showing interest. Valerie, lots of the year for only £14. For that quality, all the same size and uniformity there. Enjoy those. Well done to you. Mm, mm, mm. Right. Ooh. 
How many have I got of these, please? Oh, I've got a good, well, it's not a lot. I've got 50 of them, but it's, it's better than none. It's more than some, so we like it. Rubies, emeralds. Not just sapphires. Fancy sapphires too. We've only, only gone and put some yellow sapphires in there. Hello, how are you doing? Oh my word. This is one of those strands that we would be expecting, what, 49.95 for? Minimum when we launched our uh, rubies, emeralds and sapphires. And this isn't just sapphires, this fancy stuff. Look at the yellows. Fancy yellow sapphires in there as well. It's another type of sapphire. Any sapphire other than blue, you will know is classed as a fancy sapphire. Really spectacular in its colour. You've got the greens and the emeralds there. And hold on a minute. I'm not getting any treatments coming through on my screen. Totally nat oh, natural for a yellow sapphire. I don't know if I know anyone with a natural yellow sapphire. Well, not yet. Mmm. Look at that. And how rich are those rubies? That high chromium content that it's got gives it that amazing rich red ruby. And that's what they're famed for, isn't it? The red variety of the Corundum family. So if you're new to Jewelry Maker, first of all, welcome. It's great to see you. I'm Ali. I've got the gorgeous Sammy Fletcher with me as my guest designer. This gemstone selection is giving you four out of the top four gemstones. Rubies, sapphires, emeralds. Oh, sorry, a telefib. It's not got diamonds. That was a massive fib. It's not got diamonds. It's got three out of the four. But what you're also seeing is three out of the same family. So the rubies and the sapphires and the fancy sapphires are all from the Corundum family. You'll never get a red sapphire. And that's because anything that's red in the Corundum family is a ruby. And if it's pink, then it's a sapphire. A uh, fancy sapphire. Only blue is known as a classic sapphire, coming from the Latin word sapphires, meaning blue. So anything other than blue is a fancy sapphire. And if it's red, it's a ruby. Are you ready to see how low we can go for such a fancy, fabulous strand? $23.95. Hold on, wait a minute. Toby's got a price drop for it. Oh, I usually say in it. That's just better. I'm going to stick with in it. Robbie, Toby's got a price drop in it. Oh, la la. Says, oh, £19.95. How low is that? H, H, yes, HX, that's hard to say. HXNV943. Why did I try and read that? Read that. It's one, one code I try and read and I can't even get out. <laughs> HXNV43. £19.95. Woohoo! And there, sure, you're with us. Lovely to see you. 3 by 2 millimeter to 4 by 2 millimeter on a 17 centimeter strand. Hold on, I'm just going to bring out my, oh, with the sterling silver clasps as well. Oh, ah, oh, rubies, emeralds, classic sapphires, and fancy yellow suit you for twenty pounds. I don't even know what we could get in the high street for twenty pounds. Like sort of faux jewellery or a sort of plastic or um, sort of costume jewellery. Would you pay more than twenty? I appreciate it's not on a strand. You need to restrand it and put it together. And if you haven't got any tools, you might want to borrow some, or you might need it. But you know what you could do. You could print out an authenticity certificate that proves this is totally natural. And even if you got somebody else to make it, one of your friends or family, I still imagine you'd probably be less than what it would cost you to buy rubies, sapphires and emeralds of 30 carats anywhere else. That's a wonderful treat. Straight away, Linda in with multi-purchases for Hampshire. Lovely to see you. It is a 17 centimetre strand, so that'll give you a great length on there. That'll give you, what, 34 centimetres there to play with? For £40, 34 centimetres, that's a fabulous treat. Well done, you. I'm over the moon with that quality of colour. And you could be like our Sammy wearing your rubies to work. <laughs> As you do. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. I'm going to run down the shops. Oh, no, I love your necklace. I made it. <laughs> it's amazing though, isn't it? Yeah. People say, oh yes, I made this. Um, I'm just going to pop those back and grab. <gasps> the gem of 2016 is rose quartz. And what's the second colour? Serenity blue. In opals. If only. All right then. On a Monday. You can't have brand new opals on a Monday. Well, there we go. Opals on a Monday. What a way to go. If you're gonna, if you're gonna treat yourself to opals, you've got to do it on a Monday. You can't wait till Tuesday, can you? Because it's not going to be here. It's only here today. Surprise. a little bit manic this Monday. Um, we've got two different strands. So as you can see, we've got the blue opals. They are plain ovals and they are all the way from Peru. 
Peruvian blue opals, which is quite esteemed for its quality, and they are totally natural. Next to Ethiopian opals, which are totally natural too. So there's quite a lot of rarity there, quite a lot of collectability, two of the different opal families. And what's quite nice about these, you've got two different varieties of opal, because a lot of opals we look for a play of colour. It's coming from the Latin word opalis, meaning to see a play of colour. So let's see what we can see in these. Oh, HSC, pinks and reds and greens, not to mention oranges and blues. These are fabulous. Can you see? Just a little hint. Now, across the television, when you have such redonkulously strong studio lighting, it doesn't tend to show off the beauty of these wonderful natural stones. But when you get them home, you can see for yourself. You don't need to walk about hiding them. The natural light will be able to do it. It's because we've got more than one direct light on them and none of them are natural. Studio lights are very, very bright and can quite often bleach out. Oh, which is why I sometimes hide them. And I love them. They're gorgeous. Right, and then, and so that's giving you a play of colour. And then you're getting blue opals, which are not so much about the play of colour as in the different colours you'll see, but they're more about that quality of colour. And for them to be natural and blue, it's very, very rare. So for us to get them with the rarity and the location that a lot of people look for and dream for when it comes to a blue opal, then this is definitely the way to go. Hmm. You would think a price point would be attached to that then, a very high one. I don't think Toby does high price points, I could be wrong. But I've got a funny feeling, after an hour and twenty, there we go, after an hour and twenty minutes, you know what he's just said to me, Ali? Uh, I'm Ali, sorry, Sammy. <laughs> what he's just said, should be, loving this <laughs> boy, £29.90 should be £29.92. How low can you go? How low can you go? So, ooh -hoo. 97 carats in blue, 35 carats in Ethiopian. Not even £15 each. Totally natural blue opals from Peru, natural Ethiopian opals from Ethiopia, from the Wagle Tenor Mines, the Wellow Province, all yours for £21.95. Opals or opals? What do you reckon, Sammy Fletcher? Um, I love opals. Everybody knows I love opals. Yes, we do. I love to make Tree of Life um, with the bare copper wire with the opals. <sighs> Cause just because you can see all of the flashes mm -hmm. in the leaves of the trees, they look absolutely astounding. Yes, they and do. even if you just put £20 for one tree of life, you've paid yeah. for both strands and you're going to have, you all have used less than an inch, I would have thought. Yeah, you don't need life. a lot, especially yeah. when you do the twists, do you? No, I'm we all know I'm tight, so I like to make my, <laughs> <laughs> we like, I like to make my gems go a long way. So, no, you know, you're just not? conservative, you just make sure you work it out. Good business head, maybe tight is better than putting tight, but yeah. I am tight and I do like <laughs> them to go a long way. <laughs> <laughs> I know, thank you. Right, £21 and £95. Enjoy your totally natural opals. Just to wear an opal necklace is one thing, but to have them natural and from Peru, that in itself is wonderful. And I would love to intersperse those with maybe white pearls. That'd be lovely. Oh. Just have a big long lap. He does amazing resin pieces with opals in yes, there. Yes, I was uh, just thinking it's that. A, I mean, it's beautiful because mm -hmm. when the, the resin over the top of the opal, and it's almost like capturing it in water forever, so you have all of this amazing sparkle. But it's like it's it magnifies it, doesn't it? It does. It's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Get a wee bit. If you've got any resin, give it, give it a wee go because it will just... Oh, you only need a couple and it looks magnificent. Is this the citrine? Oh, wowza. Citrine is in the house. <sighs> so what's lovely about these is they're not actually too dark and they're not too light. They're a perfect blend of both. Sorry, I'm just moving my hair out of the way. Hiya, how you doing? We've got Citrine. This is the first gemstone I ever bought. Genuine gem. Mm-hmm. The reason I bought it is, <laughs> is because it's called the happiness gemstone. And I thought to myself, well, I'm always happy. And that gemstone reminds me of the sunshine. And the sunshine makes me happy. So I'm going to get that. And every time I look outside and it's miserable, I look into my jewellery box and I see my little citrine heart ring. And I think, oh, sunshine in a box. And it's still as, as sunshine and beautifully gorgeous and glowing and rich and golden in its colour as it was the day I bought it, which was about 10 years ago now. Literally, the 14th, when did I join? 15th of February is when I first started working in Genuine Gemstones. 
and it was about three days after I started working, I wanted to buy everything, goodness, I hadn't even got my first wage yet, and I was like, oh, I really fancy that, I really fancy that, and citrine is what I went for, and it's a wonderful first gem, it really, really is. What's lovely about these is they're natural, some of them are, have got more colour than others, and it's just simply because they're natural, some will be stronger in their goldens than the other ones, and some will be lighter, so you, but what's the beauty for me is that these are totally natural, and you very rarely get natural citrines, so when you get them, do enjoy them, quite often they're heated or treated, which is nothing wrong with that, it's, it's not a problem, but it's lovely to see them in their natural form and really quite strong colour. They graduate from, they're between sort of seven to eight millimetre and they're not perfect rounds um, because they're seven, oh sorry, seven to eight mil. So forgive me, you've got perfect seven mils and perfect eight mils, forgive me, you do get perfect rounds, they're just from seven to eight millimetre in size. Which is quite an unusual size because we don't usually get seven mil, do we? You usually get six or eight, but seven mils are is that quite a different one? So it might be something you've been looking for. You're thinking, oh, I just need one that one in between size. Where, where'd I ever get that? And well, I wouldn't have known until tonight where you could have got that. Mm -mm -mm. No, whoa! You can't do that just when I've had a sip of coffee. And that nearly went everywhere. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence, Sammy Fletch. I needed to hold my hand. Wait to see this. You do you, honestly. Wait for this. I can't look. No, he's not dropping it from that. I thought that was what he dropped it to. It's going down. No. Don't look. No, no. No. No! No way! Alison, if you're watching, grab me two of them, please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't get in for it. Literally, I hope your hands are right. I squeezed it so hard. It's fine. <laughs> it's like, They'd be perfect with that first kit as well. But they're beautiful. And then, like you said, they're natural. Yes. Because it doesn't... Um, totally natural. Oh, oh, oh. It doesn't happen. No. I can't believe I just made you He's a very naughty boy. Studio. That's what he is. Very naughty boy. But we like it. <laughs> we're not complaining. We're just we're just pretending like we're protesting. So if we ever get spoken to by any management and said, Oh, why did you go so low to 6 95 on natural citrine? They'll say, Oh, well, I, you could, didn't you hear me? I totally protested. <laughs> <laughs> totally not. Um, oh, no, I'm not a, bra a blame passer. We share it. We're team... But a yeah. team Toby, it's all right. Emma, myself, Sammy, Mike, we'll take the flat with you. We'll, we'll, aren't we, Emma? Hands team. up. We're together. We are a team. We're the team. A team. <laughs> it's all right. We're with you. <laughs> Quick, run, everybody. <laughs> Six ninety-five. We should be doing a runner at this price point. Can you mind? Barbara's gone for two. Susie's in. Alison's in. Nadine's in there. So if you've just tuned in, you're thinking, Sammy's asking Al. Who's Alison? Alison is one of our other guest designers. Alison, Fiona and Sammy tend to get strands together. Um, and I think this is the first time, Toby, you've worked with Sammy as well, isn't it? Yes, um, so you might be aware of this, you might not. So what usually happens is, if Sammy's at home, Sammy will get involved. If Fiona's at home, Fiona will get involved. Or if Alison's at home, Alison will get involved. That was like a tennis match there, wasn't it? <laughs> um, what happens is, the three of them will either get one strand and split it between the three of them, or you'll get yourself a gift box and split it between the three, or you'll all get something for each other. So every time I see any of you, you always get massive orders. And half the time it's like, oh no, it's not for me, it's for Sammy, it's not for me, it's for Alison, it's not for me, it's for Fiona. So hopefully, Alison will be watching, there'll be something for you tonight. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Just a She's a trip. gem. Isn't she just? <laughs> she really is. Oh, so. love you, Alison Terry, if you're watching. Um, six pounds and ninety-five pence. I can't quite believe you're getting seventy-eight millimeter in citrine. Totally natural. Check it out as when you can. It's an add to your order price for citrine, isn't it? If you've never tried it, add it and try it out. And if you have tried it, then you'll be over the moon with that natural quality. One quick treat then before another star buy, which is going to be. Ooh. Dare I bring nuggets of chrome diopside on a Monday night? I mean, they are from Russia. I can see, I'm just presuming they are, because of the depth of colour and because, of, oh yes, they are. Look at the clarity on those. That's how I tell the difference between um, Russian diopside and Brazilian diopside. Stunning. For, for many, many years, diopside was only ever found in Brazil. Uh, uh, sorry, Russia. Um, and just recently they've started to find it in Brazil, which is amazing. In Brazil you get the bigger carat weights, the bigger sizes. Uh, from Russia you're looking at 0.5 of a carat, so half a carat is very, very rare for 50 points. But in, in Brazil you can get bigger carat weights, but you don't get the same clarity as what you get in Russia. So it depends if you want clarity and size, um, or clarity or size, you, you decide what you, what you prefer. If you want clarity and colour, go for chrome dioxide from Russia. If you want size and quantity, carat weight wise, go for Brazilian. 
And if you've got the option to go for both, then 100% go for both. Try them both out. They're both stunning and they work great together. They're both brilliant. They're, they're exquisite. So the gemstone was only ever found originally in Russia, in Siberia and Russia. And this is actually the mine you're seeing behind me. In working operation, you mine in June and July and that's it. Could you imagine that? Oh well, yeah, I can, do my, I can do my job for two months of the entire year and then I can't do my job. We would have to find something else to do, and that's what everybody started doing. They started going elsewhere to mine other gemstones, which you could mine all year round. So therefore, why would you come back? So there's less and less miners than ever before uh, in Russia. Less and less pieces are coming out of the ground than ever before. It's not as e economically viable. There are far fewer miners, um, and there are far fewer gemstones to get. It's getting harder to source every year. The fact that we buyers, and we've just recently started to sort of facet and cut it in Jaipur, because previously it was cut and, and faceted in China, what they would do is buy massive big geodes, take it all the way to China, and then cut it there, and then you'd have to buy it from there, which is fine, but it just puts the price up, because you're not buying it direct from Russia anymore, you're buying it from China, and once it's been bought in, and of course, once more and more and more people have their, um, have their involvement in it, the higher the price is going to go. So for these, they're usually much, much more considered. But, I like big butts, and I cannot lie. I'm not a butt person, but this is a good butt. You ready? What can we do for totally natural Russian dioxide? Should be. Yeah, 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 you heard those words. Should be. But we're going down. Oh, Beverly Knight being in our element right now. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. She could be singing her song all night. Love this. Here we go. It's 88 centimetres. This has to be the biggest double strand we've ever done. Normally, they go from 83 to 86 now and again. 83. 88, I tell you. Hello there. Oh, it goes with tartan as well. There we go. I mean, that for me is a clincher. There we go. The dust on my top. Don't know what I've done. Sorry. Sorry. Here from my funny rabbit. <laughs> If it is, I apologise, he's molting. Nine pounds and 95 pence in What a qu for springtime. Imagine that. Wouldn't that be a mag magical gemstone to me? If you've never tried chrome dioxide, usually it's a much, much more considered. To get it for 10 pounds for these qualities, uh, for quality and nuggets, it's really, really special. Oh, you have to put sterling silver class with this with, without a shadow of a doubt. Or even gold plated sterling. Oh, yeah. yes. Because the green and yeah, the, the gold. gold. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's Alison and Fiona. They both, that's their favourite stone. Isn't it? They absolutely go mad for it. They love that. Well, I hope they're managing to treat themselves and you tonight. Enjoy yes. that. Wowza. What a treat. Right, I've got a presenter's pick. I'm your presenter. Hiya. It's me, I'm Ali. Uh, and I've got to pick. Uh, and of course, I'm going to pick sterling silver clasps if they're in stock. Brand new to me, I hope you like them. It's Star by Time. Present your pick. Oh, so many people have been waiting for these and I understand why they're amazing. Whether you have them for briefs, I think it's so much easier. I don't know about you, but I struggle. Maybe it's because I've got smaller wrists, but I struggle with bolt ring clasps and lobster clasps. I like macrame knots and I like hook clasps for bracelets particularly. The neckline, it's all right. I can maybe get my hands up there. But for clasps and my wrist, I love slider clasps and we hardly ever do them. And when we do them, they always sell out. They haven't been in stock since July. That's how popular they are. Um, we've had to wait. They're gorgeous and they're sterling silver. You're getting a 925 stamp on them as well. So if you sell your jewellery and you want to have that on there, that's uh, an option for you too. You don't need to add that stamp on. They come with it. We've paid for that, so you don't have to do that. That's already done for you. So each one has a 925 number stamp on it. That stands for 92.5% pure sterling silver. And they are selling out. Lots and lots of you are in. That's the way to do it. 13 by 11 millimetres. So you get a two row clasp. But you can add, of course, more than one um, or two threading materials. You can double up or you can add links on. You can do whatever you want. Obviously, there's masses, masses, masses of scope with these. You get five of them. Just so I can see, when I, uh, just so I can show you, sorry, when I pull them apart, they're very solid and they're very sturdy. If I pop them together, you can see there's a little spring. Just as you push that over to close it, because it's pushed it down, as I'm sure you already worked out sort of physics-wise, it's pushed up underneath, so it's holding it in place. So without, and it's not a lot of force, it's really not. Without you giving it any movement, 
um, or too much movement, sorry, it starts to slide apart. But it's not going to slide apart on its own. It's solid enough that it will stay there and your bracelet's not going anywhere. But once you give it that little bit of movement and you give it a nudge, it's coming through and there it will detach for you. You don't necessarily have to use it even as a clasp. I know so many of our jewellery makers are so inventive. You'll have plenty of ideas of what you want to do with them. They're flying out lots of multi-purchases as well, which is so good. Whoa! Where is Penpiderio? Penpiderio? Wowza! Is this Wales? This looks amazing. I need to find out where this place is. Um, first in and gone for two. What was that? Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I thought you'd looked it up. Forgive me. Um, this is a treat. So we've got five of them. What do you think to these, Sammy? Are you a lover? I uh, absolutely love them for yeah. like um, double, mainly for small pearl bracelets, double-stranded pearl bracelets. Or if you had the uh, ruby sapphire, the sapphires and everything earlier, oh, yes. you could do a double-stranded sapphire because they're beautiful with those little rondelles, aren't they? That sounds like a perfect treat with sapphires. Mm -hmm. Would they be hard to attach to for anybody who's never tried attaching anything to them? Would you no, use jump rings loop, or yeah, you just loop things through? Or? You could just loop beading thread through and crimp it with a crimp bead, couldn't you? You don't have to do anything um, spectacularly hard to use them. So, so you could pr pretty much use them straight away if you, yeah, I mean yeah. you could attach jump rings as well if you've yeah. already got something you've made and you just want to get it on straight away. That's the best way of doing it. Is I it? always think if you put a jump ring on it and then put the beading thread through it, because if you do decide you want to change a clasp in future, mm. you can always do that rather than having to undo your beading thread. So yeah. I'm, I've made that mistake before. <laughs> Me too actually, and I felt I've had to cut the piece up and I thought I like it, but I wasn't wanting to wear it today, but I, I need that clasp and I don't yeah. have any new clasp. So this is brilliant. You've got five clasps, so understandably you might want ten and you might want to have quite a few. Um, with 20 in baskets, not to mention those of you who are already uh, involved, they had a good quantity of them. I had 151, but they will sell out today. Now that's without a price, goodness gracious me, I forgot I haven't even put the price on for you. Um, how much would you expect? Five pounds each? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. No. All right, then. Well, let's see what we can do. Woohoo! Not even three pounds each. That's really good. Because they're really skeleton. solid, aren't they? Yeah, have you felt them? Do you want no, to they look, you can see them. Let, me, let me give one to Sammy. I can do a slide. Oh, they are, aren't they? There's a really good weight to those. There's a good weight. They're not too big. They're not like five grams or anything. They're not huge, but they've got an average gram weight of a ring to them. You they're like the feel. You know, they feel beautiful, don't they? I like yeah. the edges of them. I don't know how they're so slightly domed at the top. Yeah. And sterling yeah, they're, silver. They're lovely. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, and they're very luscious. There's enough silver there for you to be able to see how luscious they are, but not sort of overpowering, not yeah. taking too much away. It's just simple. It wouldn't detract from a piece either because it is just simple. So something simply classic with that, like like pearls, two strands of pearls. Oh wow! It'd just be beautiful. Lovely little bridal pieces. Oh the yeah. Necklace and bracelet set. We've well, got enough to do. A couple, haven't you? And what you've just said there's just reminded me. If you have got something for maybe a bridesmaid or maybe a flower girl, and they want to to keep that bracelet throughout their life. If you do the jump ring thing that you've said, you can always make the, the bracelet bigger and keep the sterling silver clasp. So that's, yep. you, it's always something you could then continue to keep and wear and maybe extend the bracelet if it's something that you've made for, for a smaller wrist or whatever. I mean, my wrist is still the same size as I probably wear when I was about 12. But, <laughs> but there's that option. Lots lots of you getting involved. And I also think for both ladies and gents, I don't think they're, they're, they're um, particular either way. I think they're quite unisex for me. I think that's... Yeah, gonna cover everybody. Yeah, it's not filigree. It's not fussy. Yeah, you know, it's just it's not classic. too sparkly, but it's lustrous enough. Yes. Mm. Mm. Lots and lots of baskets. So we had 150. Once they've gone, I'll let you know. Many of them being allocated on a first come first serve basis. Check them out when you can. Lots and lots of multi purchases. I'm over the moon for you. I've been waiting for those for ages. So congratulations. That's a lovely treat. That's the way to do it. I hope you like my presenter's pick. I picked it just for you because I thought you'd like it. And um, we do love a wee bit of sterling silver as well. Coming up at the end of this hour, which would be perfect with your sterling silver slider clasps, be what pearls. So I'm just going to try and get my hair out of the way. <gasps> now these are brand new to me. We just got these last minute. Very special edition, but they're only 44. So you will need to be quick as you can on these. They're coming up just before 7 o'clock. 6.50 we'll try and do these for you. Let it go, let it go. Mm -hmm. Tiara, job done. Happy me. Here we go. Yes, anything to do with Frozen, if you put it in the schedule, Toby, I will love it. <laughs> I just think it's fabulous. 
Just like princesses. Right, what do you fancy next? What would you like? Oh! <laughs> this is the one I wanted you to do a minute ago because I literally saw it as I was going over the top of it to get something else and my eyes just, woo! Maybe it's because I was a wee bit um, over the moon for, for Xena early when she had some sunstone and I thought, oh, I want some sunstone tonight. And then, and then I saw this and I was just like, oh, yes. Oh, I don't think we can do them though. They're really good. They're really big. And you're all going to want them. Have, have we got many of them? 32, oh, it's not enough. <laughs> They're phenomenal. <laughs> this isn't even a joke. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see these. Oh, hello there. Hubba hubba ding ding. <laughs> wow. Look at the sparkle going on here. Totally natural. Thousands of tiny, 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 tiny copper platelets within here. They're, <laughs> they're allowing these to just explode. It's like a party in a gemstone. Let me just move this to the side. Oh, there's like rainbows going on in these. It's like a glitter fest. I don't think that's an actual festival, but it feels like it, it should, should be. be. Glitter. Oh, you can't even see. Hold on a minute. Any of them, it doesn't matter what one I get, any of them are just explode. Oh, look at this one, it's like a rainbow. I can see a rainbow. Oh my word. It's like an explosion of glitter during the perfect, the best sunset you've ever seen. And I would not be disappointed if that happened in my life. A totally natural glitter explosion. Those inclusions within it are giving you that outstanding sparkle. Oh, and it's a special family as well, the Feltzbar family, which is a phenomenon family. You might have known it as Healy White or Aventurine Feltzbar. You can call it that if you wish. We're calling it Sunstone because we can. Totally natural. Oh, I really love it. I re Oh, have you got this yet? I have no idea the price of this, but I expect it's going to be considered. Is it? Is it? It's not. Oh, I guess it should be as well. Oh, this day is just getting better and better. Virginia's in! I was thinking 30... Sorry? <gasps> I was thinking 37.95. We've gone to 24.95 and that's not even your price. That's your Beverly Night one. Your shoulda, woulda, coulda. Woohoo! Oh my... Woo <laughs> this is so wrong. It's... It's totally right at the same time, isn't it? I love this. Oh, look at them go. Just the way that one catching the light, you will be over the moon. This is highest caliber moon, sunstone. Hints of moonstone in there as well. So almost hints of borderline moonstone. You've got some Schiller in there too. And you're getting them for a record low for me. I mean, this is one of the lowest prices I've ever seen for this quality of sunstone for $16.95. Honestly, I would have happily paid $37.95 for this without a shadow of a doubt. To get it at $24.95 is a brilliant day. But it's $16.95. That for me... Congratulations, pat yourself on the back on that one and thoroughly enjoy. You're getting some of our highest grade moon, uh, sunstone with shimmers and chiller hints of moonstone because bear in mind there is a sort of borderline between. Can you see some of the shillers coming through there? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Jeez, oh, wow, is that? I'm over the moon. Surrey, Hampshire, Buckinghamshire, Hampshire again. Merseyside, enjoy those. They are amazing. Did I mention they were amazing? Well done. <laughs> So many treats. Um, now, Sterling Silver 925 Shepherd hooks for you. What do you reckon? Oh, wow. Gorgeous. They are magnificent. They almost look like diamonds, don't they? A lot of sparkle, a lot of luster from these. Now, you're going to get a pair. You're going to get two. What a treat. Gosh, it's been a while since I brought you something of this quality. There you can see them. Not of this quality, but as in earring hooks like this with the, with the gemstones in here. I mean, straight away, you don't need to do too much to these, do they? Do you? No, not at all. I'm thinking um, those amethyst briolettes. Yes. Bottom of that. Yeah, perfect. 
So you could use a featherweight head pin maybe coming up in the next kit, yeah. it, wrap it and just attach it to these. Yeah. <gasps> because it's just so, they're just beautiful, aren't they? I would, or just a little half drilled pearl underneath it. Oh. That's all you would need to do. They are divine. So they're shepherd hooks. If I pop one down and turn it to the side just so you're ready and um, lovely to see you. They go from 25, 4 millimetre in their size. They don't go from, that's your actual size. Love the movement and the shape here you have. You've got what you can see here as an open eye loop, you could call that if you wished. An open loop which allows you to attach things to it if for any reason, maybe you've never made jewellery before in your life. Maybe you're not interested in making jewellery. If, if that's the case, you're probably watching the wrong channel. But um, you could, heaven forbid I'm about to say this, you could cut off that loop and just wear them as earrings straight away. Yeah, you could. So think how much you would pay for sterling silver earrings with round brilliant white topaz fasted gemstones. Just pretend the loop's not there because you can cut it off. Dare I say it, but I just did. Would you pay £35 for sterling silver earrings? £25. £20. £20. Or £12.95. You want me to go lower? No. Oh, well, we're going to anyway. <laughs> I know. Try us out. Sterling silver earrings, you can wear them straight away. You don't even need to do anything to them. £8.95 for that quality of sterling silver. Now for jewellery makers, obviously you'll have plenty of ideas. You've probably got gemstones sitting at home just waiting for this perfect pair of sterling silver shepherd hooks. But for those of you who are trying this out for the first time and thinking, do I go for the quality of the gemstones that you've got there? Did I do it? I think I'm going to. I'm going to try and pop one in. Now forgive me because anyone who knows, knows I've got dodgy. Oh, there we go. It works in that ear. I've, um, the way I've got my ears pierced for some reason, I think it's some sort of diagonal way. But um, if I turn, sorry, I don't mean to be rude and not look at you, but if I turn this way, um, you'll be able to see how they look at the ear. As a pair of earrings, obviously I've not put any drops in them, I've put them in right. Yeah, there we go. Of course, you can see them from there. Yeah, they're really sparkly. They are, aren't they? But they're not OTT, they're just beautifully de delicate and they're just gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, I love these. Exquisite or exquisite, straight, straight away you can wear them. Now, obviously, there's a loop on there. You decide what you want to do with that at a later date. You might want to add something to it. You might want to do it straight away. But for selling silver earrings, many of the guest designers of I have spoken about this. Obviously, you can't get the brilliance from the gemstones there, but you can see that you've got them. Um, with these, the quality of what you're getting in sterling silver, many of the people on Fleur, I don't think she'll mind me saying this to she said actually on one of the shows when she was with me, she wished, she said, Ali, I wish I'd listened to you because I remember you'd said, if you, there was some sterling silver studs we had. I said, if you get hold of these, especially if you've got your ears pierced. When I was at school, you weren't allowed to really wear earrings unless they were sort of flat to your ear. Because if you're doing sport or if you're at school, you weren't really allowed earrings. That was just my school, maybe, but or maybe other schools too. And Flora had said, when her daughter got her ears pierced, she then had to buy sterling silver earrings to put in her ears. And she was like, I think it cost her about £30, if, if my memory serves me correctly. So £8.95. Okay, maybe you can't wear these at, to school, but... You can wear these to your work, They're, you can wear them to a ball, they're that calibre. They look very, very exquisite, don't they? And they are solid sterling, so they're great quality, but you've got 30 days to see that for yourself. And they're very comfortable at the year, to be fair, I've forgotten I've got one in. Which I just realised when I worked out where was the other one? It's in my ear. <laughs> £8.95, pence. enjoy those. I think, I think you'll be able to get yourself some of those if you fancy. Um, one more treat. And I'm going to go for, oh, Rainbow Moonstone. Oh, are we nearly over an hour? Can you believe second hour is nearly? Oh. oh, no, we can't do these. For anyone who's tuned in, I think we do Moonstone of this higher end calibre every single day. And I, I can imagine you've got some sort of naughty price coming our way. Natural Indian Moonstone, my favourite location for Moonstone is India because of the quality. It's never let me down. It's got this amazing glow. Wait till you see these. <gasps> mm. Hello. You get clarity and you get shiller from India when it comes to Moonstone in particular. I'm very excited about these. Straight away, you know me well enough to know I probably want to put them with 
the Biwa pearls that are coming up, with those amazing neon appetites which are coming up, with the black spinel which is also coming up. So many treats coming up tonight. Mm. Imagine that with black spinel. Can I do it? Oh! And it's graduated. That one in the middle is sizable, nine by one millimeter. It's beautiful. Do you know, I I have a couple of strands like this. I've got from here because I love them so much. Yeah. And what I do is I just get um, little bead caps. You know, we do these lovely little sterling silver bead caps. Oh yes, we do. And I'll put one around the central. You know, just bead caps around each side of the central one. And little sterling ah. silver spaces. We've got so we have beautiful sterling silver spaces here. Yes, we do. Um, and I'll have sterling silver spaces in between them. And and just doing that, nothing else. Mm -hmm. and make a bracelet or a necklace or bracelet or a necklace set out of two. Um, and I have them on my store. And are they, they popular? They, they are popular. Yeah. Because they they just scream beauty. Yes. And it's anything that is. Gorgeous, classically elegant. You don't really need to mess with it at all. It is just so fabulous. It, it, they are just, they sell themselves, don't they? Because they're beautiful. Yeah. Really do. I love them very much. I completely agree. I think with the Biwa pearls, yeah. that would be super exciting. We'll do these as your next star buy. I'm super excited, but only 44 of those, so you will need to be quick. Should be for. Oh, Twenty-four ninety-five. Some of the highest calibre minster we've got. I would print out my authenticity certificate. It's twenty-five pence if you want to get one. Let us know um, when when you're ordering this one, and we can get that for you for twenty-five pence to prove this is a natural Indian moonstone. That is now down to only seventeen ninety-five. Now it's a first come, first serve basis, but at that price point, you do not want to miss out. Look, can you see the quality? You don't even need to try barely moving it and you've got blues, purples, greens and that's why it's a rainbow moonstone. It's not just one colour that you get to see, it's a rainbow of blues and greens and purples and wonderful orange flashing through. I know, very rarely do you ever see an orange in a rainbow moonstone. So great to see you. It's a super busy night and I can't thank you enough. Well done. DN, oh no, DVNV69. Why do I always try and read out the codes that are difficult? Just don't bother. You just want a challenge. That's yeah, what it no. is. Challenge <laughs> Alley. Move over to Hanukkah Rice and I won't be wearing those little leggings. Right, are you ready for Star Buy? Me too! It's Bebo Pearl time! Wowza! It's not every day I come in to work and see Biwa Pearls. In fact, hand on heart, I cannot remember the last time I brought you Biwa Pearls. I really can't. And I've got a pretty good memory. These are our premiere. These ones have never been seen by anyone. I'm going to hold them up here just so you can get an idea of Biwa Pearls. Um, Wowza! What do you think? Great orient, great colours coming from them, as well as the silvers that you're getting in there. Totally genuine pearls, freshwater culture pearls. Now they're genuine Biwa pearls. They start at 14 by 5 mil and they go all the way up to 15 by 8 mil. Um, for me, start calling straight away because I've only got, or my opinion would be to call them straight away because I've only got 44 or had 44. Already quite a few have already got them in baskets, which is great to see. Many of you will know why they're called Biwa pearls. Many of you also won't. It's the shape of them because this shape originated um, from mollusks in which was in the Biwa Lake, which is in Japan near the sort of city of Kyoto. I don't know if you've ever been there. I know we've been talking about it earlier. I'd love to sit in Sami there. We'd all love to go, I think, to Japan. We were talking about this earlier. Um, but these originate, the, the Biwa pearl originates from the Biwa Lake. Now, it's the style and the shape of the pearl that used to come from there in 1914. Um, lots of sort of pearl farmers then started to do your um, freshwater culture pearls and started growing them using the pearl mollusks that were native to the Biwa Lake. So that's why you're getting these amazing large gemstones or large pearls. And it's all to do with that quality that it was massively, massively popular. And they are quite considered when it comes to pearls. Biwa pearls are, are quite a high calibre. There's not too many different shapes of pearls, if that makes sense. You've got your sort of round, your oval shapes. You've got your rice shapes. You've got your 
button shapes. Um, you've got your baroque shapes, which means flat and then shaped. You've got keshi pearls and you've got your biwa pearls. Um, other than that, it, that's the sort of main selection you get and the main selection people look for. These are already getting our phone lines super busy. It's not too busy that we're full. We never get full. We just get busy. So 0800 644 655 is a free local rate number if you're calling us from a landline. If you're joining us from a mobile phone, many mobile phone providers are free to 0800 numbers. Do check yours if you're not sure. Or julianmaker.com on the app. You can download it for free, but now is the time to call us if you haven't already got the app downloaded. We can tell you how to do that. It's not a problem. There are half the stock already allocated, half the stock hasn't, hasn't gone yet, but I haven't even got the price in. So I'm going to get the price in. Everybody pays the same final low. It's only $15.95 on a first come, first serve basis. Congratulations. Lots of multi purchases. You're getting an exceptionally long strand. They graduate as well 15 by 5 mil up to 25 by 8 millimeter. In Sussex, Tiny Weir, Greater London, Tiny Weir again. I've got Essex, I've got West Midlands, I've got Suffolk with multi purchases. Lincolnshire, Bedfordshire, Suffolk again. Ha uh, Hampshire's in there as well. Nottinghamshire's there too. Lots of you coming through. I cannot congratulate you enough. Now we have space. They've not sold out. We've got a good quantity. Um, we had, as I said, 44 and they're being allocated quite quickly um, so if you come in now you can get a hold of them of course you can it's not a problem I don't want that to, to worry you and think you don't have time if I've got time to read the number I always think you've got time to dial it so 0800 644 644 sorry 655 and I went back on that because I did it wrong. So you've definitely got time to dial. Um, £15.95. Margaret is in and Brenda's in as well. Another Margaret in there. Great to see you. Jean in. Sheila's there as well. Lots and baskets in Yorkshire and Glamorgan and Somerset and in Devon. Quality of these pearls. Can you see the pinks and the greens and the purples coming through? It's almost like peacock pearl colour, isn't it? All the, the colours you expect in a peacock pearl. And then that lovely silver, which is allowing it. I don't think that ages it in any way. I think you can wear that any generation, generation Y, any previous generation or generations going forward. I think these are something that you could really, really enjoy. Even just a couple of them. You don't have to have the whole strand of it in a piece, do you? No, but I would. Yeah, I would too. I would have I them would in tiara on the top of my head. Yeah. I would. But I'd totally just knot them and have them as a necklace just like that. Would you? Yeah, and you'd probably, that's, I'd have a, quite a short necklace as well, so you'd have some left. But yeah, they'd look amazing onto tiara, wouldn't they? Could you imagine, tiara? Mm. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> Please excuse all my roots. But it's meant to be like that. The sun made it blonde and then it grows. Yeah, but when you put a camera on it and uh, you're here, then it's not the best. I want to put these neon with it. That's, that is kind of frozen, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 10 to 8, I'll bring you those. And then if we get time to do them, we'll squeeze them in. If you want them, that's a silly question, isn't it? When you want them, drop me a message. And if we can fit in these zircons, we'll, we'll bring them on. They will be more considered. Um, but do let us know if you're, you're after those. <laughs> Ooh, so many treats. And did I do it? You've not even seen these yet. Now, these will be more considered um, because these are some of the highest quality Ethiopian opals we've got. Oh. They are coming up at 10 to 9, my last star buy of the night. They're ethereal. Yes, they are. Oh, there they are, spinning around. Hotter than Kylie Minogue in her little gold hot pants, and that's hot. So, <laughs> credit where it's due, right? These are fabulous, and if you've just managed to get them, I cannot congratulate you enough. Well done! Oh, the colour doesn't even slightly come across on the TV, but it, it's it's slight. Well, I have to say it doesn't even slightly, but it slightly comes across. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get them home and enjoy them. You've got thirty days to make your mind up. What a price! What a treat! What a mighty fine price! I don't tend to comment on price, but I think that's pretty that's spectacular. Amazing price! Yeah. Mm. Mm. So many treats. So, black spinel coming still to come. Ethiopian opals coming up, as I said just before, nine, half past eight for your black spinel. You did manage to get me to say they would go under ten pounds of black spinel. Don't know how you managed that. <sighs> Cheeky. Oh, I've just seen my producer look down. <laughs> He's just checking. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> What's the voice saying? We've got our second get. Oh, sorry, move that way, but. Quick, sorry. Uh, we've got our second kit coming up with the gorgeous Sammy. Cannot wait to do that. Beginning, uh, beginning jewelry maker. This is going to be perfect for you. For regular jewelry makers, you're going to love it too. And many, many more treats. So don't go anywhere. Sammy, myself, and the team will join you in just a wee sec. 
Get interactive with Jewelry Maker by liking our Facebook page and join over 55,000 like-minded people. Join Mark Smith as he introduces you to the incredible world of macrame. In this DVD, Mark guides you along step by step into all the techniques you will need to get started for some fabulous new designs. This includes the tools of the trade, getting started, incorporating beads, finishing touches, and finally learn how to create the beautiful goddess bracelet. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Join guest designer Gemma Crow as she brings you a fascinating DVD that teaches you how to create all of your important findings that are essential to everybody's collection. Gemma will take you through step by step to create all of your finishing touches that bring your pieces to life, essential for all jewellery makers. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewelry blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewelry underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Moonstone is beautiful. It looks so stunning in bridal jewellery. Its iridescence just makes it such a different gemstone against anything else. When you're putting it into your own jewellery, you can put it in tiaras, you can put it in drop earrings, and it makes those pieces special. One of the most fascinating things about Moonstone is, I think, it's myth and legend. And whether it's a gemstone which is used for fertility or a gemstone which you give to loved ones, it's a fantastic gemstone to own, especially from JM, because of the natural qualities, the rainbow shiller which you get from this amazing gem. And whether it's in nuggets or whether it's really, really highly faceted, whether it's a smaller carat weight or a larger carat weight, you're always guaranteed a superb example of the gem. Why, hello there. How are you? I'm Ali DeFoy, if you just tuned in. We've got so much coming up. I've got two hours. I can't believe half of the show's already gone, though. It's flying. Two hours have already passed. It's flying. That's when you're having fun, though, doesn't it? Well, this is true, Sammy. That's what they say. <laughs> right, I'm Ali DeFoy. Sammy Fletcher is my guest designer. She's just awesome. <laughs> super Thank duper you. superstar. You can come again. Oh, right. I will. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the diary. Right, we've got for you now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, Sammy's second kit in this, sir. Now, sh should I show you quickly your star buys first? Appetite is coming up within this hour. We're going to do this for you um, around 7.50 p.m. And then the next hour, half past eight, I'll be bringing you some black spinel. They look great together, but for this hour, it's all about the neon appetite. The Ethiopian opals will be coming up at the end of the show, too. It's something I need to show you because I didn't see it because it was hiding behind my tea bar. A gorgeous pair of earrings showing off those agates that we had earlier, the banded agates. And I hadn't seen, I've seen the beautiful necklace and the, the bracelet and hadn't seen the earrings and I've only just spied them. They are magnificent. So if you missed the earrings and the necklace, uh, sorry, the necklace earlier, the, the earrings matched perfectly. Wonderful, made by our Sander, part of our Beading Buddy team. How lovely are they? Fabulous. Giving you some inspiration, maybe. Brilliant. Right. Um, should we start off with this kit then? Or should we fa start off with some treats? What do you fancy, Toby? Oh, one treat, the one we were looking at a moment ago, the amethysts. Oh, yes. Oh! <laughs> you know on the end of the strand sometimes they fold over the bearing thread and if you put your finger right on it, it can be a wee bit, um, a wee bit spiky. 
<laughs> gives you a wee fright. Thought I'd had a wee electric shock there. I was like, oh. <laughs> right, Amethyst. Oh, wow. They're incredible. These are a dream. Remember the, the, um, the individual boxes we used to do where you would have sort of three gemstones? It would be like £100. It would be £33 a stone. These remind me of that calibre of what we used to look for there. 10 by 7 mil to 15 by 8 millimetre. It's a, a 14 centimetre strand. Fact, can you see how they're glowing on my skin? Can you see the quality of the stones glowing? Clarity is there, brilliance is there, luster is definitely there. What a beaut of a cut. So they're brilliant facets known as diamond shape or triangular shape facets. It's called a brilliant cut. And many people know this as a briolette drop facet. The size is magnificent. They're, they are graduating in size, but they're not too big and they're also not starting too small. They're, they're just right. I'm over the moon with the quality. See that glow against my hand? That's testament to the clarity of the stone. These are probably the closest we've got and have had to Rose de France amethyst. That totally natural amethyst is between three and four in the most, uh, on the tone scale. We haven't ever had that on Jewelry Maker um, that I've been aware of. And I'm, I, well, I launched the channel six years ago, so I'm pretty on it when it comes to gemstones because I get pretty envious when other people have treats like Sveen. <laughs> I'll get over that one day, but not anytime soon. Um, but, but for these gemstones, we haven't had totally natural rose de France because that's very, very rare uh, and a very small amount of, of the world's amethyst is classed as a rose de France and it's because of this lovely light pink so it goes from 3 to 4 in the, in the tone scale. It has to be natural, it has to be from, from a particular location to be called that. Um, but these are the closest we've ever had to that. Very, very pastel in their colour. Um, but these have been heated so um, you're getting that wonderful quality of colour all the way from Brazil, 62 carats across these stones and you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 on a strand approximately and that's a 14 centimetre strand. VC ZC74, oh I've got that code all right. Sh oh, should be. For £40 and 9 stones. That's I've already amazing. got confirmations. What are you thinking, Sammy? I think that's an amazing price. Yeah? It's an amazing price because alongside my kit, I was sent this strand. Yes. And um, they're just absolutely breathtaking. Each one is so clear. So you, they're just to die for. They, they, they are, are divine, just to die they? for. So Sammy, is, as she said, has these as part of her kit. So um, you can get them separately. We've separated them simply so we can get prices for everybody, so we can cover everybody. We appreciate it's January. Many of us are waiting for that all-important payday. Um, just bear in mind, many of your, your cards won't be charged until it's due to be shipped anyway. That's the, the, the usual, so do always check with that as well. But at £31.95, you've got 30 days to make your mind up, which is two two-week holidays. So you've got quite a lot of time to, to think about it. They're down to 31.95. We're pushing every penny back that we can this week uh, and this month. We know, we know it's for many, um, well, if it's not for you, then I'm over the moon for you. But many of us have a budget this month and many of us might have spent it. But if you have budgeted for, for amethyst of this quality, you would have set aside at least 50, 60 pounds, I would imagine, for you to get those at 31.95. It's a really special treat. Sammy's incorporated them into her kit. She was given them to put with the kit. So you can see them in the, the kit we're about to do, but you can also see um, how to get them on their own. So we're giving you the option to get them singly um, and then get the rest of the kit to go together or whichever you prefer. You might just want these, you might just want the kit. So you've got the option. Carol is in as well in Oxfordshire, Essex there, Kent, Gloucestershire, Yorkshire. Um, there's so many treats. They're so amazing. They are, aren't they? I mean, they, they just, you don't, I didn't want to do anything to it. So, no. you know, I just did just literally put one on its own, which you'll see in a minute. I think even if you sold just one on a chain for £20. Easily. And that they you know, you could go way above that because of the size and the clarity. It's just amazing. You've got it all. We're coming to you, Sammy. Did you Ooh, notice? We're yeah. coming, we're coming. Do you want me to... You're working... Oh, gosh. Just throw my jewelry over there. <laughs> 
money than you made earlier. Um, I love them. Uh, and if you've just tuned in, this is Sammy Fletcher. Many of you have tuned in just for Sammy. That's probably why you're here. But many of you might be watching for the first time. So this is Sammy Fletcher, our guest designer. She's going to be in Prima magazine in March. So keep your eyes peeled. Yes, she's got a very special um, section just about you. Had your picture taken and everything, I didn't did you? I did. It was two hours. A photo shoot in my house. A photo shoot? A photo shoot. Like I sent a photographer to my house. How and I said, amazing. can you not send it to the stall? And they were like, no, we want to do it in your house. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so you've got a little bit of a heads up for March's edition, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, Sammy, this kit must have been something special. After the first kit that you got, yes. you, I mean, you got the ultimate Sammy kit, really, didn't I you? I did, yes. So then to get all these treats, clarity wise, I can't get over the clarity on these. I don't know they, what you thought about them, but for there's me. There's so many. There's so many on the strand. And they are just so sparkly. Mm -hmm. And my friend Sally Stillwell was round. I was working with the kit. And oh, really? She, yeah, you, she texted in a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, and I just made a necklace. I was just finished necklace. I, and I was just lifting it up to put it in the portfolio bag. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh. Because the whole room, just because obviously I've got a south-facing room, like I said, she said the whole room just covered in sparkles. <gasps> because, you know, with this strand as well, you know, it was just sparkle, sparkle, sparkle everywhere. Should we add in? I know. Look at the strands that you... Wow. Oh. A, makes me think of a boutique-style kit. ones it that really um, is. Sort of Linda puts together yes. and the Sheila, the ones that they get the, the cheeky option to choose. Yes, um, yes, definitely. I would, I mean, Linda would do amazing things with it as well, wouldn't she? Yeah. Yes, yeah, she would. And, That's a and view. would Sheila. But it's lovely to see that we're getting these sort of high-end boutique strands um, and putting them together like this. It's a wonderful, wonderful team that we've got behind the scenes to put these together for you and really wonderful. And the fact that you've got everything you need now to make your jewellery, I mean, that must be wonderful as well. You don't need to find anything in your own stash. You've got it no, all there. No, you don't. I mean, that was the idea of this kit because yep. when they sent it out, we got an email to say you're not to add anything into this kit because yeah. this is all about everything you can make with so just, just the kit. Yeah. So for people who are just starting out, they don't have to feel <laughs> that they... Oh, if you've got this in your stash or that in your stash, it's no, like, no, I've not you've got, got a stash. <laughs> yeah, no. Or you just want to give something a go so you can make some really kind of very simply elegant, classically beautiful yes. pieces very easily with these. What a treat. And that's exactly what you've done. What Sammy has made is a lovely selection of not only necklaces, but earrings, bracelets to match as well. Um, you get chain within this as well. You get a findings pack. I'll explain that in a second. But what you're seeing here is a mixture of the wonderful clear quartz we're having a look at there. They are really pretty spectacular in their clarity. I'm um, just going to try and see if I can grab your carrot weight on those. It's the 40 carats in the black spinel. They're rondelles from 2x1 to 4x2 mil, 30 centimetres, and faceted in those rondelles. And you've also got was that 150 carats of clear quartz that are pairs of 10x6 to 15x8 millimetre on 16 centimetres for that. And the carat weight, if I add in the citrine, now these are top drilled drops. These are wonderful. 49 carats on there, 7x3 to 9x5 mil and a 29 centimetre strand for the citrine. Really pastel in the citrine, not too ostentatious, not too overpowering, no. just very delicate, beautiful, lovely. delicate. They're not, sometimes you get citrine that's been, it's kind of almost baked to an orange colour. Yeah, it can be really that, dark. Yes, rather than that absolutely gorgeous, delicate. Hue. It's with all that clarity in it as well. It's just I lovely. Yeah. I think Sammy might like this. Um, you've then got these, which are something a little bit uh, fancy. These are some chandelier loop earrings. They are 34 by 25 mil, and you get five pairs, or they're silver plated on top of copper, so sterling silver. You might want to look on them as 10 individual pieces, as pendants, charms, yeah. or connectors, or whatever you want. But they, you know, originally we started doing them as earrings, but as, as many of our guest designers have started working with and yourselves at home, there's many other uses for what you can do rather than just earrings. So you could look yeah. at, would you look at them as 10, or would you look at them as five pairs? What would you do? Well, um, 10 individual things, because yeah. again, like you can pendants, I didn't use any as pendants or anything, um, but you can use connectors with multi-chain yes. coming down as there's well. Because there's three loops on them. Because my brief was very much beginner level, yes. I thought we're just going to do really, really, really simple today. Yes. back to basics. But rather than what I really want, you know, loads <laughs> yeah. of chain and all the rest of it that's going to come off, we're going to do this. But yeah. I, it's just, but then the stones 
lend mm. themselves to just classically beautiful, make it all about the stones. But also, I mean, Fee does amazing red. I'm going to keep banging on about Fiona Potter and her resin. Yeah. But she, she, with those, she would like resin in between the yes, gap. Yes, fill the gap. Um, and you could do some fabulous pieces doing that as well. So there's so many different options. Once you get into jewellery making, are the things that you can do with something like that. But yeah, multi-strand connectors is my favourite. Put I think. a picture in there as well. You could. You could. Suspend it. You could. And um, like wall hangings and window, you know, things like that too. Especially the way you said they caught the light. That mm. would be quite cool to have something hanging from the door. Oh, so many options. You get beading thread, monofilament, elastic. Regular viewers will know what this is, so please excuse me. But if you're a newbie, um, it's lovely to meet you. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. You get yourself a selection of beading thread. Beading thread, this one, is a silver colour. You're getting 50 metres of it, and you're getting 0.38 millimetre in the gauge, which is great to go through a variety of different gemstones. It's quite slim, smaller than what we used to do. We used to do 0.45 millimetre, which didn't always fit through all the gems. No. So we've gone to a 0.38, which is our smallest gauge on our beading thread. You've also got yourself elastic and monofilament. Elastic, you're getting 6 metres of, and it's point eight millimeter in its gauge that's that one there so I had one finger pointing at it and the other one was still in silver there you go and then your monofilament at the top it's 18 meters of monofilament and 0.25 millimeter gauge which is the slimmest we've got within our, our threading material so you get all four of those they're normally 475 on their own four pounds and 75 pence and then you've got this findings pack which is full oh it's <laughs> massively full of all of your findings. Now, there's an example of everything we've got. There's 90 pieces in this findings pack for you. Everything from head pins, featherweight head pins. Oh, they're extra long head pins. Look at those. Yeah. Oh, what's the length on those head pins? You get 10 of them. 54 millimetre. They're not the featherweight ones that are 54. They're the normal ones. Yeah. With a 1 mil ball. Usually it's 40 mil with a 2 mil ball. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. I love the fact that every time we have a, a, a findings pack, yes. they're always different. Yes. Do you know, I do love the little variety and things. It's really cool. Isn't it? Because then, of course, normally you're thinking, oh, I normally get that and I normally get that. But you'll be looking at it thinking, oh, I've not had this before. And yeah, it's not just this pretty. This your average good. findings good. pack. But it challenges oh, you've you got beads. Well. Yes, you have little spacer beads in there too, uh, which I absolutely loved. I used Ooh. them on the little bracelet. Look. Yes, you did, didn't you? Um, but the other, but the rest of them, I didn't use any at all because the the clear quartz is just so divine. <laughs> <Isn't> <laughs> it <laughs> really is. It's Stunning, and all the chain that you're seeing there is all from this kit as well, yes. from the findings pack. It's ninety pieces. Everything. And then you've got the crimp. Um, sorry, the cord endings as well. You get S clasps there too. You get shepherd hoods. You get it all. Yeah. And you haven't got any wire, which is um, not a problem because you've been able to use the featherweight head pins to create your real wraps, haven't you? I have, yes. She's a superstar. Um, you get some cord endings as well. So if you do wish to do some style of uh, macrame or different techniques or kumihimo or something, you could use these. Yeah. No, traditionally you might use something else for kumihimo, but the flat braid in kumihimo, you could use these depending on what size you're using. So many options. I love it. Sammy, I'm going to let you take it away because I want to see... Uh, oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get a price in first. Oh, that would be good. Do you know, so many people have got them. I just presumed you'd already seen a price. There, there's so many people getting a hold of this. I thought you thought, oh, yeah. Um, the most affordable kit of the night. And it's £45.20 going down. Oh, yes. You do get the gift bag as well. The organza one. It says handmade genuine gemstone. Oh, sorry. Handmade gemstone jewellery on there. So it doesn't say our brand on it. You can use it to give people. Or you can use it just to say it's genuine gemstone jewellery. on my stall. <laughs> you want what? I take them on my stall. I quite often. <laughs> Why not? If I've got them left, you know, I'll, I'll take them along and use it as packaging. I don't mind. Why not? I would. £29.95. Not just mm -hmm. for the bag. You get all of it. <laughs> I know. Just the clear quartz alone, many of them would be that price point, wouldn't it? Yeah. And if you are into your wire work and you do follow me, then those clear quartz are perfect for snake rings. Mm. <laughs> Sammy <laughs> makes that, I, I a wonderful snake ring each. Yeah. at £20 each. Mm. And you've got enough to make well, a fair amount. Two, mm -hmm. four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's twenty-two, four, six, eight, ten. That's thirty-two, four, six, seven. 37 if you've just tuned in it's, it's not just showing you that i can count mm -hmm. there are 37 on here it's really really jam-packed that strand I and mean, if you think about the amount of jewelry i've made yes out of all of it mm -hmm. um yeah i've got some earring findings left 
um, and a few of the, this is, this is what I have left of the citrine and I've used everything, all the rest of it. That's incredible, um, isn't it? But you can, so, you, you can make so much out of that kit. And they're quite gem heavy, aren't they? they the are two, I mean, the two necklaces are really gem heavy, but I just, I fell in love with them so much that mm. the clear, I just wanted to make a big deal out of them. And so you think should. It's so underrated, clear quartz. It is. Because it is just a breathtaking stone. I think a lot of people get confused elsewhere um, and call white quartz clear quartz, and it's included, but it has to be eye clean to call it clear quartz. So I think might, maybe you've seen it elsewhere and it's had a bit of sort of cloudiness to it and a bit of included, which would be a white quartz, incorrectly possibly named. So therefore, it might make you think, mm -hmm. oh, right. They're eye clean, you want that clarity, you don't want any inclusions in clear quartz, that's the whole point of the name of it. So when you get of that standard, I would happily pay twenty nine ninety five for it and, and to get all of that for twenty nine ninety five, I think you've done really well. In fact, you could do another colour var variation of this necklace. Yes. You could have clear quartz and um, spinel mm. and just do this necklace. Fancy out that. of it, couldn't you? Mm. Because it would be absolutely beautiful just suspending a clear quartz in between each one. And you'd have oh, that real we glitter. we all want that necklace now. <laughs> Isn't that stunning? Someone's just asked about it as well. What was that? Just wanted to see it. Well, there we go. That yeah. was without even intention. We showed it off. Um, thank you for getting in touch. Sammy, what, how, what do we do? How do we well, get we're started? We're going to stop because obviously this is um, for people that are perhaps Beginning. a little bit, they want, they want to refreshing. do something. Because when we're starting out, we tend to start out with rounds or yes. nuggets and... A pair can be quite intimidating. Yep. And I think it can. so if you can just simply thread it with a small bead in between, mm -hmm. it fans it out and it works really well. But if you want to make the most of something really beautiful and make your money go a lot further, mm -hmm. then stick one on a head pin. <laughs> yeah. And then have it on a chain. And it looks it looks you can see standalone. I've done that with both of the um, amethyst and yep. with the clear so quartz. The two necklaces on either end. And they do at Absolutely warrant it to be fair. Yes. They're really, really, really beautiful. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing a briolette um, drop. Should I do the amethyst one first? Go for that. Because I'll do this way first, which is basically just taking your head pin. Mm -hmm. And you'll see I tend to just try and make it fairly straight with my fingers, but that's just because I like to faff, to be honest. Okay. Um, and you do get, is it 15 of the featherweight head pins? Yes, I think it is. I do. So I'm going to thread it all the way to the end so you have the little um, ball, ball at the end and then I'm just going to bend it up and because the amethyst is this is really good quality amethyst as well it's quite sturdy yes it is I know some people are worried about breaking the ends um, so if you are worried then what you do is you pinch I don't know if you can see this I'm pinching with my finger um, right where I'm bending it and if you pinch while you're bending it, then you're taking a little bit and holding the stone in between my thumb and my forefinger. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing that, you're taking a lot of the pressure off the stone. Although these are pretty sturdy, so you shouldn't have to worry too much. Okay. But do be careful. Yeah. That's the only thing. So Which remember you have the genuine like, gems. Yeah. So you have, it's, it's bent over at almost like a 45 degree angle mm -hmm. there, but all the way over. So I, what I'm going to do now is to get my round nose pliers and I'm just going to kind of over the apex of the stone just going to pinch like so and I'm like going to go the apex. I'm just going to go all the way around to make a tiny little loop now you've got to make sure that you're going to be able to get a um, what am I talking about a jump ring through mm -hmm. that that's a useful thing so <laughs> if you just trying to trying to think what am I talking about a jump ring so what I'm also going to do is I'm actually because I want to hold it steady and show you what I'm doing, Sorry, I'm going to wear that little your thing is, there. My unicorns. Sorry. I'm going to hold that, <laughs> hold that within my um, flat nose pliers, chain nose pliers, whatever you want to use. Just what holding it steady, hand? and that's just so that I can then wrap it around a couple of times around the top, like so. And I'm just going to pull it quite tight, and then I'm just going to go around this bit here. The ah, loop that you have, the incorporate that, and then put that down. And then I'm just going to kind of fill in the gaps, just pulling it round and round and round. And that's really all you have to do. Do you see? There's oh, no yeah. no massively no massive skin involved, and you're just going to just kind of fill in the fill in the gap. 
and I'll show you when I've finished in a minute. It's a little bit, I've got long nails, it's fiddly. I've got long nails with ridges in, and the reason I've got long nails with ridges in is because I do an awful lot of wire work. Yeah, and, and I get them. grooves in my nails, and I don't file them because they are an extra tool. So before anybody complains about my nails. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> But that, there is a reason for it. It's not me being lazy, because I file all my other ones. It's just those two fingers. So you can <laughs> see, it's uh, that. <laughs> you probably do. I, I love you, Sammy. So there you go. So you can see you've got a little loop, and you can just put a head pin through that and put it over a chain. And, and you just use the head pin, and you haven't you done anything else. You just put a little jump ring through that. And so attach. that's quite easy to do. So have a play. Simple. You've got 15 of them. So yes, you, know, you just have a play. The other thing you do if you don't, obviously, if you just have the kit and you don't have any wire, um, is... I'm trying to think how I did it now, because I've just gone completely blank. Do you want me to bring it over? Yeah, just let me have a look. It's... Uh, did I do it with a no I used a ball on that one it'll be on the earrings with the spinel the and first ones, third the ones those ones? no end ones that's it your baby she your baby. got it it's okay it's all right right yes so I've just done a double ended loop that's fine Super. that's all right the Princess. feeling in mind it's not as if you made those today you made no, them I in made preparation them. for today but <laughs> But I can't remember my own name someday, so it's all fair. We're all a bit like that, aren't we? Well, so yeah. I'm going to slide that on, and you've got about a centimetre on the one side. And I'm just going to bend that up 45 degrees. And then I'm going to bend, so if I hold it like that, you can see. Mm -hmm. And, it's, and you, you can, when you're doing it with a pair, you've all, you can almost follow the curve, really. Ah, yes, yes. You want a little bit of a gap, tiny bit of a gap, so you have a little bit of movement. If you do it too tight, it won't move. Ah, so you want you do the same on the other side, and they're crossing over. So what you now want to like do... It's a triangle at the top you're yeah. creating, isn't it? So what you want to do now, on this longer side, you want to bend that so it's straight, when it's just over the middle bit. Mm hmm and then the shorter side, you're going to take around that longer side, like so. And that's called a wrapped loop. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the easiest ways to do a pair or a briolette, just doing a little wrap loop. And I'll bend it around twice, and then what I'm going to do, as you'll hear this said quite a lot, is cut it and squidge it. Okay. So what you do is you take your, your cutters, and you cut, she says, <laughs> take your cutters and actually cut would help. And squidging just means making sure the end is pushed down so that when you run your finger over it, there are no sharp bits. Because we don't want killy jewellery, it's not very good to it. No. And then I won't need a little black spinel, so I don't, I'm going to have to cut the strand on. Oh, what a hard life. I know. Well, I try not, because what I try and do is always use just one kit and, and save, save some pennies. But I, I want to. But I anyone. used them all because they were so nice. Oh, it's such a long strand as such, well. I mean, look at the massive strand. It's amazing. So I'm going to use one of these little end ones. And get it graduated for you. So my tip would be not to take the ball off and then re-graduate them. Right. I've done that. It's not fun. So, um, it's quite time yeah. consuming. It is. Oh, really? Just like so that? So then just thread your little spinel and it'll sit just above where you've wrapped that. Now you want to make another wrap loop at the top. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and I'm just going to hold them. These have got a bit sticky. That's what happens when you have children. These particular pliers I bought, then my son broke his uh, bicycle chain and the next time I found them they were covered in oil and they've never been quite the same. They work, but not but the way they did. They were brand did. new. No, they work. They've just got like oil stains oh. on the handle. I love you, Mikey, but really... My Zuron pliers. Really? Of, of all, all the of things the, you could have used. Things, all the things. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to do exactly what I did. Now you can see that what I've actually done, by holding the pliers there, I've automatically made like a three millimetre yes. gap. And then I've bent it at 45 degrees. Now the reason to bend that at 45 degrees and then put your round nose pliers on like so, mm -hmm. is that when you go all the way around like this, oh, I pull that quite firmly, and you pull it out, that that loop should sit straight. Above. Do you see what I mean? The, so the, the round bit isn't off to one side. Yeah. So you have a decent round thing there. And then you're going to come around and you're just going to finish off 
the loop on that side. And you so just wrap it like you, you just did. wrap it like you're just wrapping it around. I'm doing it all with my fingers. If you feel you find it easier to do it with your pliers, just wrap it around two or three times, and then you have a little bit. You could put any gemstone in the middle there, but that's very simple and very delicate way of using it. And, and monochrome is so on trend, isn't it, at the moment? Oh, it always it on never trend. Never goes out, does it? Never goes out. Not for me, no. So that's the other thing you can do. So if you have a short wire as well, and you've mm -hmm. got feather feather head pins, just quickly snip the ball off the end and then treat it yourself. as if it's wire. Yeah, just do little bits like that. Because sometimes we get stuck, that's don't gorgeous. we? We might be making something, and we might not have yeah. a two-five wire in the right. So just go and find a he feather head pin and do it with that. So go for it. There oh. you go. Sammy, I can't believe you managed to create so much with this kit. There's so many because they're all gem heavy. I mean, even the earrings are gem heavy because yeah. you've got three on each, you know, three on each ear. So that's six. Stunning. Yeah, Sammy Fletcher, thank you so much. Thank you. You're just <laughs> amazing. Isn't she amazing? If you have any questions, do drop them to yeah. either jewelrymaker.com or what you can do is text us 60777 is the normal network charges. And if you put James Studio at the start of the text, we'll get that through. So do get in contact with us if you want to, to let Sammy know what you think. Also, just to, to send her your wishes. Um, or if you have any questions, if you need any help with anything, please do just let us know. Sammy Fletcher, you're amazing. Thank you. You're so amazing. Um, do, you want, do you want your... Treats back. Yeah, please. You can yeah. play with that. I carry on, yeah. Having a wee, a wee bit of fun with some quartz. I am, yeah. It's oh, good. yeah. I get to play with all the best stuff. It's yeah, you good. do. Um, Neil and Appetite, about 20 minutes time. I'm just going to bring my chair. Excuse me for pulling it along the floor. Oh. <laughs> Apparently I'm the same height sitting as standing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Either way, um, I'm going to bring you some sterling silver gold-plated findings in a second but I'm just going to show you these because these are not too far away at all. Your star buying this are before the end of the hour. Whew, exceptional price. I'm going to call this what I would call a show stopper. Something that stops the show because it's just so low. Mm. Do you like that? Mm, me too. Should we do some gold findings? Yeah? Who would say no to gold findings? <gasps> Handmade gemstone jewellery. Get the same gift bag as well. Not the exact same, obviously we have more than one, but it says the same thing on it. Um, I think they love it, I give gifts in them, that's how I give my gifts. <gasps> love, love, love. So what have we got in here? Crimps, 925 stainless silver, gold plated. Forgive me for showing them to you in the bag, but it'll be much quicker so I can show you everything. Now crimp wise you get 10 of them. You've got this gorgeous, ch this chain is divine. <sighs> My word. Nine carat gold, you would think. I think it's more of a 24 carat gold plating we've got. Because if we put it next to my ring, um, I know it's sterling silver underneath. Now my ring is 18 carat gold. So that next to it, can you see how bright that is? So it's probably like a, a stronger gold coating, maybe a nearer 24 carat gold coating on top of your sterling silver. They are gorgeous. Two lobster claw clasps let me get these out for you they want to come out um, a mummy bear and a baby bear two different sizes in your lobster claw clasp one is a 5 by 9 mil which is this one and the other is a 6 by 11 mil so if I can get my tweezers and just lift that up for you quickly please excuse me I'm left handed trying to use my right hand with tweezers which I've probably not done before in my life but oh uh, yeah it's not going to happen really is it oh come on there we go so there's the 5 by 9 mil. Sorry, I had to twist my whole body just to hold that there. And there is. <laughs> and there is your other, which is a 6 by 11 mil. So two lobster claw clasps, a gorgeous length of chain. The chain, lengthwise, is coming in. Cable chain, 3 mil, 8 inches in length, which you get one of, plus the two lobster claw clasps in varying sizes. Then you've got your shepherd hooks, which you have here. Two different ones. What they've got is a lovely ball end and the coil of twisted wire there too. I don't know if you can see those. You get two pairs of those. And that's the detailed shepherd hooks. Crimp covers, which you get 10 of. Head pins, which you get 10 of. Crimp covers are 3 by 2 mil. The crimps are 2 by 2 mil, but you get 10 of. And then there are 15 head pins, forgive me, 0.5 millimeter in the wire gauge. There are 2 mil ball in the end, and they're 40 millimeters length. And then finished off with three jump rings that you get, which are 0.8 millimeter in their gauge uh, of wire used, and they are five millimeter for you in your size. 
What do you reckon? Treating yourself to sterling silver with gold plating? Wow, is it? Oh, this is a this is a treat. So fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. I do apologise on the picture. There's just one shepherd hook missing. You do get two pairs, so it's not one and a half pairs. You do get two. I apologise. We just missed a wee shepherd hook in there. From what I could see, but maybe I'm maybe I looked at it quite quickly. Yeah, there's three shepherd hooks, so you will get four shepherd hooks, which is, constitutes adds two pairs for you. What a treat! Forty-five pieces of sterling silver, gold-plated, perfect for the the rubies and sapphires and emeralds we've had tonight. For the Ethiopian opals that are coming up with the chrome dial. Oh my gosh! Imagine this with outside us. It's perfect for that. Absolutely, you would. Wouldn't I you? wouldn't. I wouldn't put crown dial outside with anything under sterling silver, and definitely looks amazing with gold. Just because it's so rare and so beautiful. I'm completely in agreement with you. Even though, you know, it was only 9 95 which is naughty. It's really naughty. <laughs> I'm glad you remember that price. I was trying to block it out of my mind. <laughs> Pretend it didn't happen. Lots of treats coming your way, not long till the appetite, and this will look stunning with the appetite too. Mm, yeah. But before that, we've got another couple of treats. I'm going to bring you... Whoa, is it really? Borderline ruby, these. Pink sapphires, wait to see these. Totally natural nuggets. These remind me very much of borderline ruby, these do. 3 by 2 millimetre to 12 by 6 millimetre on your nuggets. There's a 16 centimetre strand here. What can we do? Woo! All right then. September's birthstone. Known as, uh, known as the gift of sincerity and faithfulness. Although, as I say, I can never guarantee someone will be sincere or faithful if they give you a sapphire. But there's always the hope there, isn't there? <laughs> um, <laughs> 5th, 45th and 70th anniversary gemstone too. Should be. Oh, oh, should be. Wow. Well, I like all these should be. I don't think I've ever said should be so many times in one night. Oh, I like this. Mm. Totally natural nuggets. Imagine those interspersed between some pearls. Definitely. That's exactly what I do Was with it? them. Yeah, exactly what I would do with them. I don't have any other idea than that. <laughs> or Keshi, Keshi pearls especially. Oh, yeah. So I love the whole... Just the whole organic look to the lot of it, really. It's awesome that we can do that, isn't it? I'm just going to wear my pearls and uh, sapphires as you do. And many people wouldn't realise, and I didn't before I joined a, a genuine gemstone company, realise that rubies and pink sapphires are one colour apart um, on the corundum colour scale. They're right next to each other. But also, sapphires are really dark. Before they're faceted, they can be really, really deep, dark, rich, almost borderline sort of burgundy per um, burgundy reds really really awesome and it's down to personal preference really as to whether you call it a pink sapphire or a ruby and i think you've got a bit of both in there i don't think it's just pink sapphire i think it's some, the odd ruby in there too which i'm not complaining about i'm gonna be happy if i get rubies and sapphires for six pounds and 95 pence or sapphires and the odd ruby i mean that's not gonna be i wouldn't send that back if i got some rubies but hey you've got 30 days to make your mind up so enjoy those. Authenticity certificate, totally natural. Enjoy those, because that is a price point you don't want to miss out on, is it? No, well no. done there. Oh my gosh, Lovely. six oh my gosh. What are you saying, sorry? I was just like, oh my gosh, six nine. I hadn't even noticed yeah. it was six ninety five. sorry. We I just was enjoy just like, Because I, I thought it was nine ninety five. So when I looked away, it was nine ninety five. And I thought that that was a really good price, so I didn't bother looking after that. And it's six ninety five, which is just nuts. It's terrible, it's, isn't it? It is, because it kind of... It always makes a mockery of the fact it's a sapphire. I don't mean that in a horrible no, way. No, I know exactly what you mean. If, well, if I tuned in for the first time, I think, oh, that's not real, is it? It's that not going to be a be real a sapphire. sapphire. Six ninety-five. You'd be thinking it was a bit of glass or a bit of plastic or something. Or sapphire coloured something. Yes, like yes, the colour. You get a lot of sapphire, sapphire stone. Yeah. Which can be anything as long as it's coloured. The kind of sapphire, anything that a sapphire is coloured. Yeah, which is but all the colours of the a rainbow. real natural untreated sapphire for six ninety-five. It's amazing. What? Just what? Okay. <laughs> Do you fancy a black pouché strand? Do you even know what a black pouché strand is? Gems of distinction. Uh, I don't think we can do this one though. It's too special. <laughs> you can't just pop this in on a Monday night without any red carpet or headlining act, can we? That's like Beyonce coming to town and just turning up in your local shopping centre, it just wouldn't happen, would it? Hello there, 
beaut of an emerald, all the color of a Colombian emerald, and whoop, there it is, totally natural Colombian emerald. I've only got this, thanks to one of our guest designers, a gentleman um, who's working on his own um, jewelry at the moment, a gentleman called Alan, who used to work with us, um, and he got me a Colombian emerald, and if he wasn't with, watching that night, I would not have one. It's the only reason I have a Colombian emerald from this channel. Get your Colombian emeralds, honestly. I don't even want to begin to tell you where these have been valued at, um, or where our Colombian emeralds are in finished pieces of jewellery. So I'm not doing a direct comparison in any way. I can't because it's a finished ring. But one of the ladies I, I know got engaged uh, with a Colombian emerald and the price point she had it valued for well, you would buy them all if you realise what she had a value for. I'm not saying to get it because of what it might be valued for, but I bought mine. I've not done anything with it other than look at it each day. It's in my safe. And I only bought a safe because of genuine gemstones. That's the only reason. Not for my passport or anything. <laughs> not bothered by that. But genuinely, for the few... I've only got a few. I've got a Kunzite. I've got... Um, please start... Don't try and read my safe. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, we, can, we can look at it all together. Um, I've got a colour change tan... Uh, not colour change. Imagine you've got a colour change tan tonight. Um, a bicolour tan tonight and an Ethiopian um, opal and a Colombian emerald. And that's what's in my safe. Yeah. Because it's so rare. It's so... Col Colombian. You can't just get an emerald every day, can you? Well, actually, in Julie Maker, you can, but not Colombian ones. No, Colombian ones I absolutely don't Colombian. because you have that, yeah, you have that almost, um, it always has that bluish tinge to it, doesn't it? Mm. Just really glows through it, much more so than the other emeralds. Oh, so, yeah. Alison, can you grab me a strand of this, please? Sammy, I do. I love Are you Colombian. getting your personal shopper to jo yeah. join us right now? Yeah, for these because I love Colombian emeralds. Colombian. And I do because I, I do a lot of this kind of work, mm -hmm. and for that I use a lot of the small stones, and I want really good quality, really good coloured stones, especially ones that are colour matched to that degree. They are. That is Alison Taddy's on the line. Thank you, Alison. Love She's you. She's hanging out. Oh, I love you, Alyssa. Thank you. <laughs> she hasn't got them yet. She's just there. She's, she's just like, there. Oh. She's um, it's the, the, as you said, the uniformity of colour, mm -hmm. the quality that you get from a Colum Colombian. It's a glow. You can't yeah. just say it normally, can you? It's like having a Ceylon sapphire or a Paparadasha mm. sapphire. Mm. It's amazing. Join me as soon as you can. Colombian. Authenticity <laughs> certificate is totally natural. You have to do that when you get You don't actually have to do that, but I'd like, it'd make my day if you did that. Colombian. <laughs> You can't drop it just because Sammy wants it. Yeah, he was doing yeah, it anyway. Yeah, he, he, was doing <laughs> he was doing drop it anyway. It. <laughs> he was doing it and especially because Sammy wants it. Oh, this hurts. It's going to be silly. I know it is. I have faith. Yes. Yes. I'm only pleased because I'm getting it. It's like, yes. <laughs> she, Alison has checked out. Snap, Alison Tyra, thank you very much. I hope you're well, Alison. I hope you had some lovely. Alison had some workshops over the weekend, didn't she? Yeah, she did. She's like, I'm going to see it. I'm staying with her next weekend. Oh, I are you? I can't wait. Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> Sounds like an awesome girl tonight, Erin, doesn't it? Um, don't tell me if you want a potter's on and you're both going to be buying for her. Oh, we're pretty, yeah, she probably is, actually. <laughs> we're both <gonna> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to read you three like a book. Yorkshire Cornwall Angus, can you, I cannot, congratulations! You are the owner of a Colombian emerald. Have you ever had one before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've had one strand and it one. was a strand like that and it is currently on a gallery piece Ooh. not all of it but some of it beautiful big citrine centerpiece Ooh. of an orchid Ooh. and then um, it's all done in bare copper with loads of sort of graduated leaves getting bigger and bigger and bigger all the way down here with Colombian emeralds <gasps> down the center of each leaf oh my god so it's 400 pounds in the middle of the gallery but that, you know, it's what it is, isn't it? It's a beautiful piece. Oh my gosh, I want to see it. It is lovely. Colombia. In fact, it might actually, if I haven't seen the pictures that they took in Puma, but I did take it out with the gallery for them to photograph. So I hopefully it will make it into the magazine and you might <gasps> see it in there. But we, I don't know what they're going to do. Oh so we shall see. <laughs> oh, and so many of you already got this in Cornwall. Lots of collectors out in Angus. Two Alisons in ha Oxfordshire and Yorkshire. And you're not getting two, Sammy. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Alison Harry's only in ones. Um, Alison Staff, there we are. Look out, Fletcher. Sammy Fletcher is coming <laughs> to get her <laughs> Colombian <laughs> emerald. <laughs> It's, you've got to I say love it like when that. she says it like that in text form. Yeah. It's like, high five, well done, that's good work. <laughs> love that. 
high five. High five, but it's half a high five, isn't it? High five. It doesn't work on camera, does it? <laughs> Gotta try though. <laughs> I love it. Colombian. <laughs> Alton and Angus has got two. Yes, good work. Oh my word! I can't believe you're getting a Colombian emerald for under hundred pounds. I know it's insane because, the, the, like I said, the quality, the colour of them, the clarity. Yes. They're just amazing. I cannot believe. I was quite happy to pay the forty-seven pounds because I thought that was cheap. Forty-eight pounds because I thought that was cheap. Can I just confirm? These are totally natural. I love that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so no, they're, not, they're not heated to make them all the same colour. No, that's the beauty of that. They're just completely and utterly cherry picked as, as they found in the ground, and yeah. that's just something amazing. That's, I prefer that over anything else. Yeah, me too. If you can, if you can they get can, it. Come yeah. on, can I tell you a sneaky cheeky treat? Don't do this on any other gemstones, but not that these are going to lack luster anytime soon. But do you know how to do? Do you know how to oil your own emeralds? Yes. Oh my gosh! Right. If you don't, just so you're up uh, to, um, uh, to to Sammy's level, <laughs> um, or on your gemstones, you can't do it with any other gem because emeralds are the only gemstone that have this refractive index. Well, the same refractive index as baby oil. I know, right? So if ever you lose any luster in your emeralds, now it will only be due to being worn lots and lots of times, or that this is totally natural, it's not been oiled. But if any late, years and years and years down the line, if you think, actually, I want to give these a wee bit oil, they've not got the same luster as they had when I first got them, then all you need to do is get a little bit of baby oil and just warm it, just the same temperature as you warm a baby's bottle, don't boil it. Just warm it in the microwave for a couple of seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, depending on how strong your microwave is and just rub it over your emeralds. Now you don't need to do that when you get home because they are totally natural and they are full of luster anyway. But if over years they then stop to, they, they need a wee bit of an oil, you can do it yourself. But don't try it in anything else because it's only a uh, refractive index with uh, emeralds and baby oil that work the same. Enjoy that. And you get a black pushy. You've just got gems of distinction for under 50 pounds. That's not even right. Lavender amethyst cabochons. Stop the show. These are awesome. Oh, oh, can we do those gold beads as well? Yes. Yes. I love that. Yes, yes. Fit those in. That's a br Usually I get no. <laughs> Wowza. These are stunning. Well, how are you doing? These are pretty, aren't they? Let me just try and hold one on its own. A lavender amethyst. For three. Gosh, now they've got inclusions in them and they just look magnificent. It's like almost like the inclusions you expect in an emerald, just the odd one. Totally natural from Brazil. It's not the same as Colombian, is it? <laughs> 22 by 16 millimeter. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, I like these. These are very size, and they're all the same size. Does that help when you're doing jewellery making um, for you, Sammy, or would you rather have different sizes, or does that mean you can do some For something like that, it would be nice, because you can make a little, beautiful little pendant and match a pair of earrings, yeah. because they're both, they're within the earring size. They're not going to oh. kind of start dragging or be too much. Um, so it's perfect for that. Well, like or that. if you want to maximise your money, three rings. But you know, it all depends on what you want to do. You maximise your money, oh, yeah. Sammy. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but I'd love a little heart with one of those in the middle and then a pair of earrings. Fabi's breaststone. We've been talking about it earlier. Oh, yeah. That, that just, day. And they're supposed to be. I mean, I I don't know. A lot of people believe in the the healing prospect. You know, of properties. Of properties. Yeah. Um, and it's supposed to be very, very relaxing and calming stone. So I do tend to have it around quite a bit because yeah. I can get quite anxious for that reason. So. Do you know what? <laughs> he used to say it stops you from getting drunk. Now, I cannot confirm nor deny this. <laughs> but, um, but what happened was they used to... Oh, this is a very, very quick version of the story. But what they used to do was they used to drink wine. And then instead, they made the glasses out of amethyst and filled them with water. So people were thinking they were still drinking wine, but in actual fact, they were just drinking water. And they were thinking, oh, this is amazing. We're not intoxicated. This is amazing. Um, the amethyst prevents it from, well, this is years and years and years ago. And this is a, maybe a myth or it's sort of 
It's, so you could think you could drink without getting drunk, and it's a bit of fun. Um, but it's a gemstone that is said, as you've said, it's said to change anger urgh, into tranquility. Hmm. Whether it does or not, you'll have to let me know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know, but yes. Um, but its name is Methustos, meaning not to intoxicate. That's why it's called Amethyst. Ah, that's really cool. Yeah, but as I say, I cannot guarantee that it will prevent you from being drunk. It certainly wouldn't prevent me from being drunk. <laughs> Let's get our phrase on. Um, 1495, but how about we do under five pounds a cabochon? Because we can. Oh, well, nice. if you insist, I only have to be ten pounds instead of fifteen. If you really insist, I'll 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 take that. Mm -hmm. Tiny Weir and Angus are in. Oh, lots and lots of you in. Oh, multi purchases on the wibbly wobbly Webster. Uh huh. You can add your order. You can start an order, but to start off with amethyst cabochons, I mean, what a treat! Many people start off with a cabochon that maybe necessarily not a gem they would go for, but because the price is so affordable, you can actually do it with a natural amethyst. Isn't that awesome? I know. I know. Amethyst is, again, something everybody's heard of. And yes. it's featured in jewellers all over the world. Exactly. So, you know, it's just beautiful. I agree. It would match your unicorn dress. It really would. <laughs> I saw something I should have got for you. It says, ride with unicorns and swim with um, mermaids. Oh, I'd love that. I'll see if it's still available. I'll go and find it. I'll get it for you because I loved it. And my little boy loves it when I wear The little boy is 15 <laughs> when I wear this. Because if I'm in a mood, he's like, oh, you're all rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> He'll come. He doesn't help. You know, if I'm a little bit grumpy and he's all happy, 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 unicorns. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, Mikey. That's really helping the situation to calm down. <laughs> And Bless on him. that note, I'm yeah. going to bring you some gold beads. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> four millimetre in size. Sorry, I keep moving them. I um, don't know how you're supposed to get your focus on that when I keep shaking. Um, 600 pieces. 600, four millimetre. There they all are. Wow, I wonder who took the time to set all of those out. That's oh. a mission. Um, ECPO13. We love, 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 love these. These always fly out the door. Price point wise, what do you reckon? Boom! Shake, shake the room. £11.95 for 600 That's amazing. It's pennies each then, isn't it? That's amazing because, I mean, a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people have got them from, like, internet auction sites and stuff like that <laughs> and then found that they've got nickel and ah. all sorts in them so you come up with rash. You can't possibly put that in your jewellery. Do my fingers go green when it's got nickel in it? Does it? I get bumps. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, a lot of people are allergic to yes. it. So when you're buying them from here, you know exactly what you're getting. Yes, you get brass with gold plating. Yeah. But bearing in mind, just so you're aware, I don't know if you are aware, let me take this off. Um, if you have... Oh, and they have the chink to them. Chink, chink. Chink, chink. Mm. Um, what you also have is sterling silver. So it's brass, Sterling silver plating first because sterling silver really does take very well to other metals and to other colours. Then you've got the gold on top of that. So sterling silver plating and gold plating on top of brass. You get 600 in a tube approximately and they're all 4 mil and they're very, very big size drill hole wise which allows you therefore to pass lots of different materials through them and beading threads more than once it allows you to create a huge array of, of different designs to what you could if it was a smaller drill hole, for example a gem hole. I have got £11.95, plenty of space, join them, add them to your order, it's time for a star buy. This is a, show, a showstopper of a very so one. Now, I know many of you might not be able to treat yourselves tonight, or many of you already have. So you'd be thinking, Ali, I'm spent out. This is just one I just want you to have a look at, 
All right, I'm not asking you to join me, just have a look. This is my showstopper, and what we do with the showstopper is completely sh stop the show. That's the point of it. I want to show you something if you're a new viewer that, well, you probably never have seen before, but if you're a regular viewer at a price you've probably never seen before, as a thank you, thank you for joining us, thank you for trying us out, thank you for, for regularly making us part of your day. We, we wouldn't be here without you, and we cannot thank you enough. Sammy, myself, and all of the team, every day we're grateful for the fact that we get to bring you these treats, and of course, for Sammy, you get to work with them, <laughs> which is just amazing. It's the best job ever. It is. Best job ever. It's amazing, right? <laughs> Doing your hobby and getting paid for it. How amazing that? Well, obviously, it's your business now, yeah, but yeah, for, yeah. for others like me, it's a hobby. Um, this, you will love. It's going to be the most hand on heart for me, the most affordable Neon Appetite I've ever offered, I believe. I genuinely do believe that. But it, whether it is or not, it's the biggest quantity I've ever had of Neon Appetite. It is immense. And I don't do a showstopper with 10 or 20 or 15 stops. I do it with a big quantity because I want to say thank you. And there's no point in saying thank you, but I've only got 10. Or thank you, I've only got 50. We've got thousands and thousands and thousands of people who watch us day in, day out. For example, for one of our shows, we had uh, over sort of 33 subscribers to a particular wedding magazine that our company's part of at Media Media. Uh, and within that, we had everybody tuning in just to see our wedding special a couple of weekends ago. So we've got a lot of viewers, um, not to mention those of you who might have watched us before, of course, for the past six years. Many of you who might have just happened on the channel tonight for whatever reason. Thank you. And thank you for staying, even though you might have not been intending on joining us. We're here to help you make your own genuine gemstone jewellery and say, you know what, you know you've seen something in the shop and you think you could make that and you think I probably can. We're here to say, yes, you can. This is everything you need to make it and this is how to do it. Enjoy it. Treat yourself. I've already got June with hers. Andrea, you've already got yours. Not to mention those of you on the web already. This is going to be a showstopper. Are you ready? Oh, I tell a massive fib. I'm looking at my information on the gold-plated brass beads because I've not got my own information on this one because we've not got the graphics in because that's why I asked if we could see it first. Right, graphic point-wise, now you can see, now you can join me. Call, 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 0800 644 605 and on the web. I was thinking, how have so many people got it already? Um, we haven't even got the graphics in. That was the brass beads you're grabbing hold of. Well done there. So sorry, you don't have to call back and think, oh, have I just got the Neon Appetite strand already? No, you need to get. You need to still get it. Why are you 85? I love it. The quality and color hold on a minute is it natural yes has it got the most na intense blue saturation try us out if there's only one thing you get all night make it this i know we've had so many treats but it's going to be the most affordable treat for this quality of color for it being totally natural you're ever going to see with me tonight it really really is I've already got a big, big quantity in baskets with 40 of you there. I've got a huge quantity though, don't let that panic you. I've got 243. I've never had 243 neon appetites, ever. Mm. I've very rarely had 243 of anything. Anything. This is amazing. And I cannot thank you enough. I just slapped my own thigh. I was like sitting there and just did it again. <laughs> um, lots of multi-purchases. What does that mean? It's a price point where you think, I could actually maybe get two of these. They are so into it's normally treated to get that intensity of neon blue. You don't normally get that clarity in colour naturally. Um, and when you do, it's very special. When you do, the price point usually relates to that. Whatever you do, just please do not think I'm implying a value or worth, because that's, that's the last thing I want you to think, because it's the last thing I would ever do. I'm not here to imply a value worth. I'm an accredited jewellery professional. I'm, I'm joined with the GIA, trained with the Gemological Institute of America. I've still got my card. I'm continue with that, with that studying uh, as well as studying other things as well. This is my main focus for you. I'm here to help you, and if you've got any questions, ask them. Please ask them. That's why I'm here. I'm here as a credit. I don't make the jewellery on the show. That's what our guest designer is for. Tips, techniques, how to. I mean, I can get by, but I'm nothing like the standard of Sammy or any our guest designers. So for that, for techniques and inspiration, please, please, please ask questions for our Sammy. If you want to know anything about gemstones, if you want to know anything about um, the natural beauty of it or where we've got it from, if there's anything I've not said that would help you make your decision, and I always think. The more information you know, the more knowledge you have, the more power you have in making that decision. All right, for me, knowledge is power. If you know what you can get and you know what to look for, then you can make a more informed decision. And for me, it's about making that decision for you. I'm here to help you make your decision. But when you see the price, it's probably going to be a no-brainer. Do you want to try it? Do you want to see it? Six ninety-five. No. No. Right? Alison. <laughs> <laughs> no. I love them because they're so vibrant and beautiful and yes. But we, yeah. when I first saw them, I thought 1995. What did you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah? Definitely. 
Because that's what you, we normally pay yeah. for it, yeah. We're usually around that price. You'd be very fortunate, very fortunate, if you got them around 70. 15 would be a really, really, it would have to be something exceptionally naughty to get them at 15. But you can have a look on our website. You can have a look. You speak to other um, viewers. I mean, we've got, can we see some of the people on the screen? I love seeing names on the screen. I do. You won't get to see the threes and the fours and the twos and the threes and the twos and the threes and the threes and the fours of everybody who's checking them out. But Elaine's in, Ayrshire's in, Wiltshire's in, lots and lots of you have it. You wear baskets, Tiny Weir, Yorkshire, Leicestershire, Nottinghamshire, Angus, Cardiff, Greater Manchester. 90! Oh my word, well maybe I won't have enough. I had 250. Um, enjoy them. They're here to be treated. They're treats. I feel like I'm at a pantomime. You know when you the pantomime and they throw out the sweets and you want to yeah. be in the front row so you can grab them because never, their throw is never that good and they never get to the back row and you know, your sweets never get to the middle and you're always like, oh, I should have sat in the front to get some sweets. And half the time, probably the sweets, no disrespect, but they probably aren't that good. But they <laughs> look good because they're free and they're throwing them at you. This is like, I'm sitting in the front row no, at the back row, and there's just constant sweets throwing <laughs> everywhere, so everybody can get multiple sweets. <laughs> as if that would happen. As if that would happen, a pantomime. I'd love to be in a pantomime just to throw out as many sweets as far as I could up the back. <laughs> That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. Giving as many treats. I appreciate it's not free. It's £6.95 pence with a £2.95 pence post and packaging. It's a free phone number from a UK landline and many mobile providers too. It is a current 60 seconds delay. By the time it's taken me to say that, you've probably been answered. But I do apologise if you've experienced any delay. But the good news is, there's still space. Yay! It's probably the only time I'm ever going to say I've got space on the neon appetite at £6.95, no. isn't it? But it's there. Enjoy. Um, with 19 baskets, over 120 gone, these will sell out because they're awesome. Really? They they're, are. They're, they're, and oh, 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 it's 25 pence for your authenticity certificate. 25 pence. What can you buy for 25 pence these days? Oh, I can't even get a crisp packet of their thinking. <laughs> so can't even I'm get thinking packet, too. Can you? you can't even get that. I don't know. I remember at school you used to be able to get milk for like 10p, 7p, 15p if it was flavoured. Oh, it was 14p if it was flavoured, wasn't it? If you got the strawberry one and the chocolate one. Yeah, flavoured milk. We didn't get flavoured milk. Did you not? We got no. normal milk and then strawberry and chocolate. We just got warm milk with a straw in it. Are you sure it was warm? I was warm. No, it wasn't supposed to be warm. Oh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so 25 pence. We're struggling to think of anything you can get 25 pence for other than a totally authentic, uh, authentic Authentic, authenticity card. Wow. Um, check those out as soon as you can. Um, sorry, I didn't hear you there. I was really excited. Woo! Right, lots and lots in baskets. Check it out as and when you can. If everybody multi-purchases, then I, I won't have enough. And if everybody checks out, I probably won't have enough. So take your time, but don't take too long because they will be selling out and hopefully to you. Don't forget the Black Spinel's coming up, Ethiopian Opals, plus more of Sammy and her treats. I'll join the other side of a very, very short break. Don't go anywhere. Did you know when you book on the Jewelry Maker Workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker Shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, V807DU. Get making and good luck.
Peridot is a member of the olivine family. This spring green gemstone is also the birthstone for August. It's a really interesting gemstone in the fact that when the light rays are split between this gemstone, you can see the resulting effect by eye. You often see doubling of back facets within this gemstone due to the high birefringence. One identifying feature of this gemstone is it often contains chromite inclusions. These chromite inclusions interfere with the structure of the gemstone and create wonderful lily pad inclusions within the stone itself. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker by liking our Facebook page and join over 55,000 like-minded people. Pearls are classic. I mean, who doesn't love pearls? You look at them, they look elegant, they look classy, and they make elegant, classy jewellery when you're creating with them. I think right from the whitest of white pearl to the peach pearl, they're always, always stunning, and anybody can wear them. They're one of my favourites. You see them, don't you, in expensive jewellers, covered in diamonds. Diamond and pearls are the classic duo, and that's why I love pearls. Pearls are always a huge, huge seller on Jewelry Maker, and I think it's because there's a huge amount of emotional attachment to them. I think whatever walk of life you come from, whatever your age, you always associate pearls with maybe someone who's worn pearls before you, maybe your grandma, maybe your maybe your mum. So there's always that emotional attachment to pearls. And they can be classic, they can be contemporary, they can really be whatever you want them to be. And definitely one of my favourite gemstones. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. Send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. I were just thinking how that music reminds us of a particular children's game. Was it Mario Kart? Yeah. Dun, 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 or Sonic? <laughs> Definitely doesn't sound like Lemmings. That's what I was allowed to play when I was a child on a Sunday night. My brother and I would get five minutes of Lemmings. I loved it. Um, <laughs> it's when they start falling off, you're like, no! If you've never watched Lemmings, she didn't miss much, to be fair, and I yeah, probably no point in explaining it to you. My name is Ali Defoe. If you've just tuned in, it's great to see you. I've got the gorgeous Sammy Fletcher with me. Goodness me, she's busy over there. What are you up to? I'm just trying to find a chain, actually. A chain? <laughs> a chain. A chain. Trying to find a chain. <laughs> well, if you don't find one, I'm, I'm sure we'll, there might be some of those boxes in there. Have you ventured in here recently? No. Oh, there's some findings Ooh. in there. Ooh. Mm. <clears throat> Have a wee look in there. Um, right, I've got lots and lots coming up for you. I'm very excited. I could almost burst right now. Um, did you find any? There's some traces um, well, and stuff. There's some spaces. Right, I need to show you something that if you're a regular viewer, you'll be hoping for probably every day. Remember what I just said about the appetite? If you're only going to treat yourself to one thing all day, well... Mm, yes, but I have got another treat. If you didn't go for the appetite, you're thinking, I want something blue alley, but I really want tanzanite, and I really want tanzanite for £10. It's not going to happen, is it? Or is it? Don't tell everybody, because I've only got about 100. But, I like big butts, cannot lie. This is coming your way right now. Not £14.95. Compared to all the tanzanite we've had on the web, of our nuggets, possibly one of, if not the most affordable tanzanite. But this isn't just tanzanite. What you're getting here, it's my version. What I would say is borderline shaded tanzanite. You're getting hints of pinks and hints of purples in there as well as the blues. Now, obviously, tanzanite, for anyone who's a regular viewer, you'll know it's trichroic. If you're a new viewer, you'll think, well, it's not obvious to me. What does that mean? Trichroism is, well, it's based on pleochroism. Pleochroism is when you see more than one colour at a different angle. So either your head moves, the camera moves, the angle you, you look at it changes. That's called pleochroism, more than one colour when you look at it. Trichroism, try for three. Three definite different colours. And tanzanite is renowned for trichroism. 
and it has it and it has it in abundance but it also has some gemstones that actually look more pink than blue and more purple than blue so you're getting a hint of shaded tanzanite in there shaded pink and shaded purple tanzanite as well as a trichrosum are you ready to own tanzanite who's ready to own tanzanite i am me on my own then just me? No, me too. You, you too? All right. <laughs> I love that. Like, oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Sure. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, are you ready to own tan tonight? Are you ready? 85 centimetres. Like gladiators, are you, are you ready? <laughs> you will go on my first whistle. No whistles, don't worry. You can join me whenever you want. 0800 644 655. I'm talking fast because I'm excited. Or jewelrymaker.com. What do you prefer? Either enjoy, I like talking to people as you probably gathered, but you can join me on the web. It's just as easy peasy as pie. Don't have to talk to anybody, it depends what you want. Um, I've got 111 carats of tanzanite, 85 centimetres for how much? What do you reckon? Boom! Seven pounds and 90. <laughs> Will you stop? <laughs> no, Sammy, no! I'm going to keep on going. And do you know what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to then bring Kunzite straight after it, which will go perfectly, and I'm going to take it lower. No. Yes! No. Yes, I am! Kunzite's gorgeous. Isn't it? Together, Together, a perfect marriage of gemstones. They are, because it brings out the blues in the one and the pinks in the other. It's just gorgeous. Needs to be done. Mm. Needs must. Ooh! Reminds me of my friend Jenny Cleary. She always goes, I need this. I need Well, she says her daughter says this to her. I need it, mummy. I need it. As opposed to she would like it or she would want it. I need it. You need this. I need this. Who doesn't need tanzanite? One of the top five gemstones. It, sorry, pearls, but it bumped pearls out the way. It used to be pearls. And tanzanite shimmied on in there. And pearls are demoted, which is a shame. But we all still love pearls. For many, it's still in our top. Are you hanging out on tanzanite? Because if you are, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to move on. I can't hang out here. It's £7.95 pence thinking of anything but if I just think of the cost of air time at seven pounds and 95 pence I probably can't be here for very long that for tanzanite and if you don't know about tanzanite I wish I had more time to tell you about it but if you join me on Facebook my name's Ali Defoy join me on there um, and you can ask me any questions you want about tanzanite um, if I don't know the answer I'll find out but if in doubt check it out give it a try tanzanite and I'm going to put in kunzite and I'm going to take the price even lower Oh, I've just said that out loud. Can I? Can I take it lower? <laughs> I've already done it, it's too late. All right then. Oh, what a shame. Naughty me. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Should we just do it? Oh, ah! This is so wrong, isn't it? Oh. How long have you been working with us there, Ro uh, Toby? Two and a half months, ah! Right. <laughs> Wonderful. Three months for promotion information, is it then? Six. Oh, what? Oh, we're fine then. You've got loads of time. Oh, loving his work. Isn't that fantastic? That what a amazing. wonderful, wonderful treat. When did we laugh have come <laughs> I think the last ones I had were rounds and they were not at this price. They were near your, your three figures. Yeah. And deservedly so. Yes. But look at the size of that. Now, Kunzite is known for its phosphorescence, the way it glows. It's, it's, it's a gemstone. That, this sounds really ridiculous. When I first heard, heard it, I thought, yeah, right. And you all know my story of my Ed Sheeran concert. But if you don't, I'll still tell you again. Um, <laughs> do you know my story of my Ed Sheeran concert? The thing is, my memory is so bad. You've probably told me seven times I won't remember. Brilliant. So every day is an adventure. Let's go for it. Let's tell you again. <laughs> um, this gemstone is what's called phosphorescence. So in the light, natural daylight, it retains, this sounds crazy, right? It retains the light and it keeps it so that when it's in the dark, it glows. You okay. Th you think this is a joke, right? I got a kunzite ring. Wasn't it a considered ring? Well, for me it was considered. It was £40, but for a kunzite that's not really considered. Mm. I went out to an Ed Sheeran concert and in the middle of it, I know this is only 6 95 treat yourself. Um, in the middle of it, there was a point where, and he's phenomenal, don't get me wrong, just him himself on the stage, brilliant. Nobody else was there, he was, he was wonderful. And he, <laughs> he told everybody to put the little lights on their phones, and everybody was like, ooh, waving the lights on their phones. And my friend was with me. And I'm like, Ali, Ali, what are you doing? What are you doing? Join in. And I was like, this. Oh my 
gosh, this Kunzite's amazing. Mm -hmm. It was glowing, and I was like, wow, all these lights around it, and it was just glowing in the middle of this night. And I know your thing is that extreme. I didn't believe it until I saw it. Honestly, I've seen glows and hints of glows, but I hadn't seen it in the pitch black of a huge, the Armadillo studio, uh, Stadium in, no, it's not a stadium, like um, conference center in Glasgow. It's, it's not called the Armadillo, we just call it as a nickname because it looks like an armadillo. I don't know what it's called. SECC, the, ne the part next to that, I don't know, the Scottish Conference and Exhibition Centre, something like that. The Armadillo, if you've been there. Um, and it glows, it genuinely glows. And you can see the nuggets starting to glow and, and their bright studio lighting. Look at it, can you see the hints of the phosphorescence coming through? That's a huge nugget, 20 by 12 mil, and it's 6.95. If you treat yourselves to those, congratulations, and if you miss out, well, then I hope you get to see some another time. Mm -hmm. What a treat. That is the way to do it. Kunzite and Tanzanite nuggets for under £50 is a joke. But to get under 20 for both of them. Oh, yeah, it is under 20, isn't it? I feel naughty now. I should probably go home. Enjoy those. They were amazing. Do you fancy... Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, I would spend all day on this and forever and a day if I could. I don't have many and I don't have long. So if you forgive me, it's going to be the quickest presentation I've ever done on a Zircon, but I'd rather show it to you than not because I've had a couple of texts about it. So forgive me, I'm not going to give you, uh, I'm not able to give you as much um, description as, as I can, but if I break it down really, really quickly, they're doubly refractive, which is more than a diamond. A diamond is singly refractive. What does that mean when it's at home? Well, when the light comes into the gemstone, it breaks into two, as opposed to with a diamond. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it breaks into one with a diamond, and it comes back in what's known as fire, the result of dispersion. Dispersion is quite simply, as it says, as it sounds, the light is dispersed through the gemstone. It breaks into its different colour components, all the colours of a rainbow, and it comes out usually through the crown angle. But obviously, this hasn't got a crown angle because it's a, a drop facet. Crown angle is the, type, uh, the crown is the type of a gem shape or a round billion and other gems as well, but you can go into that another day. This is the oldest gemstone in the world, thought to be the oldest gemstone on the planet. How old was the planet? Anybody know how old the planet is? 4.2 billion years old. 4.2, but then hold on, someone found zircon. It was older than 4.2 billion years. They had to invent a brand new machine to work out how old Zircon was, to work out how old the Earth was. And then they realized the planet was actually 4.5 billion years old, 0.3 billion years older than they thought. All thanks to this gem. This gemstone changed history. This could be up to 4.5, what's in my hand could be 4.5 billion years old. That's not even a joke. I'm deadly serious. Isn't that unreal? Just wearing my 4.5 billion year old pendant. Mm. <laughs> could it be? It could be. What I love about it isn't just the fact that it's old and that it changed history and it's December's birthstone, shares his birthday with Tanzanite and, and um, turquoise. It's the fact that it's doubly refractive. It sparkles and has more fire than a diamond could possibly ever offer, just simply because of its crystal structure. It's amazing, but it is considered because it's super rare. Are you ready? Totally natural for this blue. I know. One price, one chance, $74.95. I took it to a superstar buy price or a presenter's pick, one of the two, and we went uber low. Lowest price it's ever been, if my memory serves me correctly, $69.95, and that was with myself. Took it to $69.95, probably shouldn't have done, but hey, I love it, I want everyone to try it. I appreciate it's not a gemstone we know every day, but if you were to try and get a blue diamond for $69.95, it was totally natural, we'd be struggling. But for this quality of zircon, the only reason it's not as highly priced as what you would expect for a diamond is because it's not been as commercially viable and it's not been commercially uh, aware. All of the world's zircon, it, if you were to put it all together, it would cover it on average what? One Olympic sized swimming pool. You'd cover the bottom of it, approximately. It's incredibly rare and warrants easily six to nine to five. I've paid that for a pair of stud earrings on this gem and they weren't natural blue. Enjoy those, treat yourself if you fancy, but at that price point, I appreciate it's considered and one you would normally take time over, but I don't think it's considered for what you're actually getting. So take your time, you've got 30 days to make your mind up, enjoy it, it's gorgeous. Right, coming up very shortly, 
can't believe it's this hour, right? About 30 minutes time even? 35 maybe? Lowest ever price on one of the most, in fact, if I shade it, you might see it a bit better. Spectacular Rondell Strand. Brand new low we're taking to. It's wow. never even been as low as we're gonna go. We're gonna go to town on it. And black spinel. Should we do it in about 10 minutes time? Probably shouldn't show it to you over a black board because you might not see it. Well, you probably still see the sparkle, to be fair. Black spinel, totally brand new. Can I take it under £10? I think that's not all right. Okay, I will. There's a challenge. You like to set a challenge? I, I rise to a challenge. I do. Mmm. We've got a few of these left, actually. We only had 44, but there, there are some in baskets that haven't yet been checked out. Limited, but available. And Black Spinel is not 69.95, although it could be, easily. It's coming up as a very cheeky superstar buy at 8.30. Fancy a treat before that though? Me too. Ro Whoa! Rhodolite garnet. Just those words make me excited. January's birthstone. Rose stone it comes from the Greek words rhodon and lithos for rose stone. And when you get it from this... Oh! Now imagine this is going to be considered because of the quality that you've got. Is that ow? Oh, is that a joke? Well, let me retract that statement then. <sighs> look for purples, look for reds. Enjoy the beauty of almondine and pyrope together. This reminds me of one of my best friend's engagement rings. She has a garnet engagement ring. And oh my, I talk about it all the time. And it's so gorgeous. It's simply stunning. And I... I don't know why, but I think it's maybe because we can make garnets relatively affordable. And I think that's why we maybe don't value it as high as I think we should. I think we get a little bit blasé with garnets, which makes me a bit sad, because I do it too. I don't, I don't, I'm not accusing other people. I mean, personally, myself, I know that I'll look at it and think, oh, that's stunning, it's a garnet. And then I forget just how special these garnets are, the clarity that you're getting. Garnets aren't really renowned for their clarity with their crystal structure, the type of gemstone they are. It's not really n renowned for clarity, but yet because we have so, so many genuine, gorgeous, natural garnets with such great clarity, we just assume that they come with good clarity. They don't. They really don't. Look at that luster. Look at the way they catch the light. That's not only testament to the quality of the lapidarists, but you wouldn't put that time uh, into fasting a gemstone if it didn't have the potential to look like this, would you? You wouldn't bother. Why would you do that? You wouldn't. We have some lovely plain gemstones. Without facets, it looks stunning as well. But when you have that quality, you give it that extra time, you give it that extra attention to detail. And then you've got that natural beauty, the gem often confused with ruby. But when you get more purple in it that you're getting here than you do of the red, you've got a higher value of this particular type of garnet. You're getting a rare garnet, you're getting a collectible garnet. Do you know there are over 30 different varieties of garnet to collect? And they're not all red. You can get Demantoy garnet, which has got like fire, like a green diamond. You can get colour change garnet, which actually naturally changes colour. Mm -hmm. You've got a great selection of garnet, imperial garnet. You've got great different colours. But to get that rich purple, and glowing red, almost like a burgundy to it as well. You need to go for a road light. We get it from um, Rajasthan in, uh, in India, it's some of the finest we've ever found. If we've ever bought it anywhere else than that, it's because the quality has been of that high calibre that we get in Rajasthan. Our buying office is in India, which is in Jaipur, which is in the same state, so that's quite handy. You are getting exceptional garnets, and the price point doesn't really match it for me, but I'm not going to complain, I'm going to enjoy it. Why is it going lower? You don't have to. Do you really have to? Yeah, okay. All right then. <laughs> it's hard to twist my arm there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> if you insist, okay. Wow, wow, wow. It's making me think of Great Gatsby, like a Great Gatsby party. 
$21.95 for some of the highest calibre tassel strands that we've got. It's a shorter strand because they're, they're, they're quite difficult to get of this quality. Um, they are divine. Enjoy it, treat yourself as soon as you can, but for 47 carats of totally natural road delight garnets, you've not been able to take your eyes off these, Sammy, have you? No, they're lovely. And I was just thinking how much the, the Victorians used to value them. Oh, gosh. In yes. all the joy, and, and in all of the times before that, yeah. if you look at the really, really good quality vintage jewellery, like oh, we see it on the Antiques Roadshow, yes. you see it in museums, and they really rated the garnet and I remember what is it the what does the, the hoard the Sutton hoard of the Saxon jewelry okay have you ever seen that no I don't it's believe absolutely so absolutely incredible and they reckon there's only about three artisans in the entire world have the skill to make jewelry like wow. he, that they did yeah back in Saxon times and they used garnets absolutely it just faceted that color garnets in set in wow. gold and it's just phenomenal the jewelry is absolutely phenomenal Absolutely love it. I really adore garnets. Me too. And they look really good with um, peridot as yes. well. They fire off each other and they oh just yeah, look handsome. absolutely amazing. They look good with spinel as well, but with the yeah. peridot, they just, it's just wonderful. Match made in heaven, isn't it? Mm. You've just reminded me, when I was younger, I always thought you would have to be fortunate enough to get um, engaged or if you're fan uh, lucky enough to... I don't know, maybe one day retire as a retirement gift or as an anniversary gift or as an engagement gift. Mm -hmm. That's how I held garnets in my life. That's what they were for me. That was that calibre of gem. You wouldn't treat, <laughs> you wouldn't go to the shop and buy yourself a garnet. That's, it was always in the, the price points and the, the side of the jewellery um, counter that I would always, well, one, I would never go because it was never price points, so I would never think I'd be able to afford it. But mm -hmm. one of those where I always thought that's somebody else got you a really special gift and that would be garnet. a once in a lifetime was a garnet. That's what yeah. I always thought. Yeah, I do think they're really, really, really beautiful. Absolutely divine. I have to take them away. Mm -hmm. um, and now, what a treat. Apricot pearls. I love apricot pearls. I love peaches and pinks. You Thank don't get many God. peachy pink gems, do you? No. You get moonstone and peach. And you get peach and pink and morganite. Other than that, you're struggling to get your peaches naturally that is now these have been dyed slightly to get this lovely apricot pink but the shape of them is totally natural and they are genuine fresh water culture pearls they're quite fabulous i can imagine uh, fabulous imagine those as wedding jewelry with the, the lovely pastel shapes definitely little flower girls and bridesmaids yeah. even the bride um, mm. just beautiful maybe you could do some little flowers like Alison did mm -hmm. and just have like a flower set with pearls you know it would look absolutely absolutely beautiful it would be stunning you've just reminded me actually we we're talking about this the other day do you know how many wedding exhibitions there are in the UK there loads. this year 572 wow in the UK alone well you could come on my bridal my bridal workshop in March oh my gosh that interested. would be a plan it would yeah, make yeah. sense doesn't it yeah. I'm just thinking, if you're wanting to make jewellery and thinking, what would be a good market to get into? It Bridal jewellery. Yeah. And th with the price of our pearls, well, let's see the price of the pearls. What can we do for you? Oh, come on. I'm talking about weddings. Usually weddings do what sort of things to the price points? They really do. I, yes. like, I don't like to do that, though. No. I know you can. Yes. But I don't like to do that. No, that's because you're a good person. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yes. There was a television presenter in Scotland, and I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this story, but it's true. Um, there's a television presenter in Scotland who got married in a hotel in Scotland, and she hired the banquet for a party. She said, I'm having a celebration, I'd like to have a party. Hired the banquet, uh, the room in the, the hotel and hired the, the catering and everything, um, and then turned out it was actually her wedding. But she didn't tell anybody, she just had it as a, as a party, a celebration. So the hotel apparently were quite upset about it and said, oh, well... Um, this wouldn't have been the price and she said well what were you going to change about the catering and what were you going to change about this it would have been still been the same staff the same food and the same what would have been different and they were like, yeah, but it's a wedding so it's funny that isn't it the prices can be very different so if you can get your wedding jewellery and I appreciate different things I mean that is a time where I don't know it's not my business I've never had a wedding so I don't know but for me, looking at it and knowing my friends have got married, they want to try and make as much of it they can themselves and to try and do as much of it as possible and save as much where you can. So at £6.95, I think you can have a pearl studded wedding dress and the pearls only cost you £7. How fabulous is that? Or bridesmaids or 
mother of the bride or just even go to the wedding and just be part of the, 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 the wedding party. Just I think it's a lovely thing to it, do. I mean, if, if you can teach yourself to not, which isn't too difficult. No. Um, if you use sterling silver clasps or mm -hmm. gold plated, like or the, the sterling silver ones we had earlier, there that's a go. really good shape for those because you've got that rice shape. Mm -hmm. um, you can give then put them in a really nice box each bracelet and give them as a forever gift yes. to your bridesmaids so therefore you've got the bridesmaids present covered as well as her jewelry yeah. and i think that's a really lovely way of doing things completely agree mm -hmm. i made my mum pearls for a wedding it's a lovely thing to do yeah. it took me forever to knot them though so i gave Did up you? and didn't knot them <laughs> didn't you no. it did, once you get the hang of it i mean initially it's quite a, it is quite a slow process but once you get the hang of it, it's beautifully therapeutic just sitting there and knotting them. I love doing it. Oh, I should I really have called do. you. should have done. I'm always happy to do it. I love to do those. I actually got a commission to do some more um, today before I got here. So Brilliant. Well, you know who to call. <laughs> um, next treat we're going to do. Oh, these are whoppers. I think these are fantastic for key rings. Lobster. Lo oh. Lobsters, which well, are, are whoppers. They're, they're huge. Which I think is great because if you've got chunky nuggets, we've had some fabulous big gemstones recently um, in our nuggets of, or strands of gemstones to give you a selection. Now normally I would have thought you've got five, but I've got ten for you here. Um, and you're going to get ten. Twenty-five by fifteen by five millimetre. They're really big. I think if you make key rings, with your, this is going to sound terrible, but any of the gems left over in your stash, and you could do sort of mixed gems on lots of bits of chain or dropping off yeah. the sort of tassels and do charms. that a lot i mean i, I don't do bag it so much anymore but i used to handbag charms yeah. out of the odds and ends yeah. um and it, they just look really good because you have you know, all these like multi-textural multi-colored yeah. um handbag charms that you just clip on your bag they're really cool and they're quite tactile aren't they they, they are and people fun. like them because you pick them up and see all the sparkles going through and it's just a way of using up bits and pieces you have left i love really them. good so how much would you tend to sell a bag charm for? That it depends because that was, you know... Um, it was a long time ago when you yeah, did it. Yeah, probably about five pounds, not very much. Mm. But you can go up or, you, you know, you can pitch it wherever you want to. Depending where but they didn't really used to take me very long. So if they don't take me very long so and they don't, don't cost much me very work. much. So because I have like a big box that I put all the odds and ends in. Yeah. So if I wasn't going to do that with them, they'd just be sat there anyway. So, so if just these kind of are like less than a pound each, would mm -hmm. that warrant selling for five pounds? Yeah. You make a profit? Yeah, because you I mean, if you're thinking, if, if you're using a little bit of wire, you're probably going to use maybe 10 pence worth of wire max in a handbag charm. And then odds and ends of beads that were going in the bin or that just going to sit for there forever. Anyway. Um, yeah, then you're oh. just making, you're making a little bit of money out of what's left. And obviously, if you want to go more elaborate, you can. The more elaborate, if you want to hang some, we've got beautiful feathers and stuff, and you can Gosh, hang feathers and stuff off there, and you can go 10, 15. So you can have different ranges mm. um, of charms. So it's really cool. Should we drop the price then? Because at 9 95 we're not at a pound each. One is only 95p. But I don't like to split pennies. I like to make a. I want to have change, like Jesse J. Change. Wow, that's cool. Now you get 10, that's only showing 8. I do apologise. You will get 10. Um, we needed to do another copy and paste, I think, there. <laughs> so at six pounds and 95 pence, you will get 10. And 25 by 15 by 5 millimeter, that is a treat and a half. And they're stainless steel, they're not, what, Tibetan silver. <laughs> you, know, you know, you hear that a lot. <laughs> it's Tibetan silver, which well, means it's probably that? full of zinc and cal cadmium and all <gasps> sorts of things. But you know, it's full of all sorts of awful stuff. And you don't know what's in it when it's Tibetan silver, do you? Well, Stainless I don't know. Tibetan steel. didn't guess that. I don't know. So uh, I've yeah. never seen. Uh, I've never purchased any Tibetan silver. I won't so I because it, because it can have anything in it. Yeah. It just it's just a name for something that's silver colour and an alloy. Right. So it can have all sorts in it. Well, so I don't you, bother yeah. because for me, you're I'm, allergic I, to it. I've got to no. well, yeah. and also I've got to pass that along. So I've exactly. got to know what's in it. Yeah. So Most stainless definitely. steel. Everybody knows what that is. So. Yeah. They, they will ask you, is that nickel? And you're going to ask stainless steel. Ah, oh, so that's ah. also quality, you see. Yeah. 6.95. Loving it. Woohoo! Enjoy those. Is it? Are you ready? Oh, that kind of worked there, didn't it? <laughs> uh, it's star bar time. Woohoo! 
Last time I brought you back to Vanilla, it sold out. Time for that. Sold out. Time for that. Yeah, sells out. Black Spinel's amazing. Totally natural. We were talking about black diamonds earlier. No, we're, that's a fib. We were talking about blue diamonds earlier um, when we had the blue sp uh, zircon. These are totally natural. Black Spinel. Thought to have more luster than a diamond. Why is that important? Well, because diamonds are very sparkly. We like that. We like sparkle. Not everybody likes sparkle, but if we like diamonds, then we tend... It'd be difficult if we like diamonds and we didn't like sparkle. Put it that way. Um, so, totally natural. All the way from Thailand. There's 115 carats in this. It's thought to have more luster than a diamond. Why is it so special? But it's so affordable. Why is that? I love black spinel. I think part of it is to do with its name. It's not very attractive, is it? Spinel. Spinel. It doesn't really... It's not a diamond. Spinel. Just because it hasn't had a big marketing thing behind it. But, you know, there hasn't been somebody who owns a mine that's thrown a load of money at it to make it a really desirable... It is all about image and marketing. It really, really is. Completely agree. And, and I guess if we all know originally, or you may not know or be aware, but, I mean, really briefly, when it came to diamonds, sort of De Beers were originally the, kind of the, the ones who controlled the diamonds and who, who had the diamonds. And then, of course, now not many people can stock diamonds now. It's, it's changed, but... As you say, when you can control a market and you can decide what works, and if something's in abundance, then you can do that. But this isn't in abundance, and that's a problem. You can't market this massively because there isn't enough in the world to go around. And if you marketed this as much as you would market a diamond, then there, there won't be enough for everybody to constantly have a, an engagement ring every year. It, it, there, there's not enough in the world. But they're missing a trick because Tiffany's did it with tanzanite, mm. and tanzanite is rare. So yes. now Tanzanite has a, an appropriate price point. Mm -hmm. So if somebody had picked up Spinel in that fashion, even though it wasn't as, they would be marketing at the fact that it is rare and there isn't as much. Like yes. if they ever picked up Zircon and did it with that, <laughs> it'd be that like would there last a week. Well, exactly. There isn't, <laughs> there isn't much of it, so the price would be enormous. Yes. So there is a Crazy, thing there. there is, you can do it. Yes, you can. Um, but it's just not been done. No. The red spinel has a, a bit of a more awareness than the black. It's got more luster than I could offer in a black diamond, and it's got the exact same crystal structure as a black diamond. It's just not a black diamond. But it's bigger than what... And I'm not trying to say anything about... I love diamonds, don't get me wrong, and I don't want it to sound as if I don't think diamonds are amazing. I've got black diamond earrings, I love them. We only got them thanks to my mum and dad. It was an Easter gift. Can you imagine we can get Easter gifts of diamonds? But at the time it was possible, and jewellery maker, it makes it possible too. These have got the opportunity to put a lot of pressure on them. So when you cut a gemstone, a lot of it to do with the, the hardness of the gemstone, how much pressure you can put on it or not. So sometimes the luster can look a bit more, I call it a rolling luster, a bit more relaxed. The luster just kind of rolls off the top of it. Like if you had fluorites, for example, it's a softer material, so you would tend to put less of a sharper, harder facet on it, less pressure. Because diamonds are so hard that the hardest mineral there, pure carbon, what you're getting is that the opportunity to put a lot of pressure on it when you cut it. So the, the facet's quite sharp, so you get quite a, a vitreous luster. But you can do that with spinel. It's only surpassed by the corundum family in diamonds. So it's a really hard, durable, everyday gemstone. You can wear it every day. It's way over your average for your, your hardness and your gemstone. You can wear it every day. You can put a lot of pressure on it when you cut it, which is why the luster is a bit more like paparazzi flash than a sort of relaxed rolling river luster. It's amazing. And it's affordable for a big car weight, a great colour, and a gorgeous rarity. And it's natural. It's just fabulous. Lots and lots of you getting it already. Congratulations. I love spinel. It comes from the Greek word for thorn because of the way its crystal structure is. Spina or spina, however you wish to say it. Price point. One note. And it's not a big one. Ten pound note. Not a big one when it comes to jewellery. But gemstones, totally genuine gems. Authenticity certificate can come with this as well if you wish. How would that look with an Eon appetite, do you reckon? It goes with anything. It's like the ultimate stash builder. Is that, that that and clear quartz are the two things that I always have quite a bit of because they will go with anything. Yes, and they you will. can just do and they, they're kind of like your go to. If I don't know what I'm gonna put with something, put a spinel or a clear quartz with it and yeah. then I like yeah, okay. You know, you can just go on mm. from there. It looks amazing with the appetite there, doesn't, doesn't it? it? 
Oh, and if you're fortunate enough to get the zircon. I love that zircon. <laughs> totally with you there. And the opals. Wow. And so many on the clear quartz you had earlier with the black spinel fasted um, mm -hmm. rondelles that you had in your kit. So many options at £9.95. Treat yourself as soon as you can. Free phone number 0800 644 655 or jewelrymaker.com, whichever is most convenient for you. Enjoy those. They're amazing, aren't they? Oh, yes. Check it out as soon as you can. Lots in baskets, but we don't have a whopping quantity. We do have a good quantity, um, but for a brand new treat like that, it won't be around for too long. So enjoy those. Stunning, stunning. Did I mention stunning? They are stunning. Super excited. And the opal that's coming up as well, which is going to be 10 minutes time, maybe just over 10 minutes time. Not long at all. So I'm thinking straight away, stretchy bracelet. Yeah. Most places for the stretchy bracelets that are onyx, which I love, don't get me wrong, they're about £99 for the stretchy ones with the silver charm in it from the particular stores. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. I know. <laughs> it just makes me, oh, wow. Yeah. I, I need to go around, because I do it every so often, I need to go around and just look at yeah, prices. We should do again. it one day, just go a wee, wee yeah. wander. Just shock myself yeah. again. Back into reality. We, yes. Well, I know, because some of my price points are too low. I know I need to up them. But yeah. yeah. Mm. Fancy another treat? What should we do? Mm. Buy cup. Oh. Oh, those are pretty. I know, look at those. They're amazing. They're wow. like fantasy, aren't they? They're just so fabulous. These are magical. I completely agree. Move my head out of the way. Oh, oh if you wonder why I look over there, it's because there's a big plasma TV. Get to see what you... Wow, these are amazing. Each one completely individual with their own characteristics. These are stunning. Oh, I've got a lot of love for these. What do you think? Something different. It's not every day I see these. Gosh, I very rarely see any bicolor amethyst. Bicolor meaning two colors. Mm. <coughs> wow. It's just like a geological story in a stone. Each one. Just this is how I was formed and here I am. Completely natural. To and they are totally natural as well. I checked that out first. Did <laughs> you? Did. I thought they were really lovely, so I thought I'm going to check that out because I want to know. And they think, you know, because it always sells you. Yeah. So, oh, and just, they're amazing, aren't they? You could look at each one and see something different every time. They could all be individual gifts, couldn't they? Yes, individual. I'd probably do individual pe uh, pendants, maybe earrings with the end ones. And um, yeah, just gorgeous. 17 approximately on there. They're very, do you know, the funny thing is with these, they look, because they've got all the marking in them, they look very natural, but then with the fasting in them, they look a high-end gloss, yes. so you've almost got the, the best of both worlds with you this do. one. I do, you? you do. I love a faceted gem for that particular reason, because they do sparkle, and then the eye goes there, and then they can see the, the piece, so it's, I have a lot of kind of faceted stones, big faceted stones on my store for that reason, because you've got to get people over to look. Yes. Do. Interest. Yeah. Whether this is the piece they go for or not, they'll know what it is. And you always, I don't know about you, but I always feel better if I know about something. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if I know about a gemstone, if it's something I can relate to and think, oh, I know about that one, then it, you make, it makes you feel a bit more confident in your purchases because yes. you think, oh, I know that one, I know what that is. Even if you don't know what the other things are, at least you know something on the stand. And one of the ladies um, I, I see now and again on a, a Monday because she, um, she uh, works at the hotel where my rotary is, and when she's there, she's just been allowed by her, um, her I, I presume the hotel, her manager, I don't know, she, I know she is one of the managers there, she's allowed to have her own stall or stand with her jewellery that she makes from Jewellery Maker. And she said the amethysts are the always, one, always the ones that sell, because she's mm -hmm. not with it when, it when it's there, they're just the price points are there, and I think you, you would purchase it at reception. But it's amazing to think that Amethyst, she said, that's my top selling piece, Amethyst. Everybody knows what it is. Everybody goes for that. And when you can see a good quality one, they'll, they'll purchase it without having to ask or know anything about it. Isn't yeah. that amazing? I was going to say, Amethyst is probably be. one of my biggest sellers as well. 
Mm. Amethyst and Moonstone. Oh, those two, not necessarily yeah. together, but they do look really good together. That's but true. Amethyst, oh, yeah. did, those are the two sellers that <gasps> you know attract people. Should we do a should be price? It's going to be horrible. I don't want to see it. Twenty four, <laughs> twenty four ninety five. Gosh, that is mad because you'd spend more than that on a pendant made from one of them. Well, we're not staying there. No, he's going to do something horrible. I'm not I'm looking. I'm not even going to look either now. It's look easier for me not to look because it's there. I know. <laughs> Oh, oh well, that's, it's not what you would think, is it? Not really, not for a strand like that. I'd be thinking, you know, at, at the very least, thirty four ninety five. You think you would pay that for just one of them? I'd be charging at least that for just one would of you? them. Would you? Yeah. Mm, quite rightly so. I would pay it. Well, people would pay it, and quite happily, because it is a good quality stone, um, you know, with a little silver chain. It's a good quality stone. Isn't it just? And it's a very well known stone. But it's a rare variety of stones. You say there's 17 stones, on it? there. Yeah, approximately, yeah. So if you do 20 at each, that's rather a lot of money, isn't it? 340? What a treat. I've already collectors in Cornwall coming in. If I just try and move my screen to the side a little <laughs> bit, my pinky. Um, Dublin's in there, Perth and Ross, Hertfordshire, Hampshire, Angus, Middlesex. Check them out while you can. They are mm. fabulous. It's because they're unusual. Yes. And because they're beautiful. And we need things that are unusual and beautiful in a business sense, really, for me. Because you've no, got to have that. You've got to have, you've got to catch people. Yeah, you've well, captured me. Mm. I'm captured. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do next? Oh, rose gold shepherd hook earrings. Why not send those in eight, Jess? Rose gold plated or rose gold plated on top of copper, which means it's been silver plated first, then rose gold plated on top of that. Love them. 50 of them. 50 pairs. This is amazing. 50 pairs, so technically 100 of these. Or if you pair them up, you've got 50 pairs, however you wish to look on it. 23 by 10 mil. Oh, I've not seen these forever, if even at all. Sterling silver plated on top of copper and then rose gold plating on top of that. I love them. And they're the fancy ones that have the balls on there and the twisted wire. Do you, sorry? It's not, is it? Sorry, that's really high pitched. <laughs> if your do dogs have started waking up, I do apologize. No way. You feeling all right in there? Feeling all right, it's feeling fine. <laughs> Price doesn't want to come in, Toby. It's not happy. It's not happening. Is it me or is that really, really wrong? <laughs> it's very, very low, isn't it? It feels exceptionally low. For 100 shepherd hooks, 50 pairs. That's, that's a very good price, isn't it? You can't argue with it. Is this really happening? <laughs> oh wow, it does hurt. I pinched myself and it didn't hurt and I was like, this isn't real. Well that's it, you're Not just dreaming. You're yeah, just... I had to double pinch myself there. Second time I felt it, that hurt. <laughs> Lots of you getting about happy days. If you've got an order open, add it to your order. Rose gold, I don't know about you, but I think it goes with every skin tone. For me, it's my ultimate mm -hmm. and I've got lots of my friends we're all different skin tones I'm from Scotland some of them from Australia some of them from London some of them from Zimbabwe they're all over the place we've all got different coloured skin tones and I think rose gold goes with all of us I, th I really genuinely think it does I think it's a lovely lovely colour um, our American family call it pink gold I like that oh, I think that's, that's really lovely. nice I've got my pink gold on <laughs> that's not the accent they have. That's my <laughs> version of it, which hopefully didn't offend anybody. It wasn't meant to. <laughs> Six ninety-five. I. That's my favourite number, but uh, I don't think that's where I would have ever put these. Oh my yeah. gosh, I love them, Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. How many people ask for rose gold? Many people are not. Yeah, they do because yeah. it's it is one of those kind of um, well-known vintagey type yeah. things, isn't it? Um, and I think when you get the people that sometimes go they'll never have any. So yeah. they go, have you got any rose gold? And you go, yes, I have it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> think, oh, I'm going to ask for something you might not have. <laughs> and I quite like the style of these ones. Is that just me? Because I'm just... No, a, I always like the ones with the ball and the twist on them. So they're the, just that little bit extra on there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it okay, feels a little bit of extra detail. It makes me think they, they warrant a higher price point. Yes. They're more considered. They're the, yes. fan, they're the fancy ones. They're not just the simple ones. Yeah. Not that the other ones are simple. They've still got a loop and a shepherd hook, but you know what I mean? They're more it's, traditional, aren't they? Yeah. I, think so. I just feel like somebody's put some effort into them, which is what I want in a special pair of earrings, especially if I'm going to put gemstones like spinel or oh, imagine black and rose gold. Is actual rose gold. Do you know how you get rose gold? No. You get yellow gold, then you add copper to it. Oh, really? Makes it rose gold. Ah. Hmm. Which is why you cannot put gold on top of copper straight away, because then it'll be really, really rose gold. Isn't ah, it? Right, so you've got sterling sense. silver, because it's best for taking the colour, and then rose gold on top. Ta-da! Mm. Right, Labradorite, dun, 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 dun. Time to have a party. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are fab. Ooh! You wouldn't think they would be as um, shillerful as they are, with the size of them, but they really are. Let me show you these. Not long to Ethiopianople. Another phenomenon stone coming your way. Like phenomenon stones. We had some of the best labradorite I think I've ever seen today. And I think my, our gemologist was with, with, was with me there when we were, we were commenting on how high the calibre. I see a little arrow on the television. Oh, he's dropping it again. Oh, I'm not allowed to see it, but he's going. <laughs> I love that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's happening. I can't remember who it was. Is it producer Danny? He's always saying, happening. It's happening. <laughs> it's just happening. I'm like, okay. Guess it's happening then. Oh, I love the totally natural. Now, what's lovely about this is you're actually seeing that rainbow of colour. We can see blues, yellows, greens, purples, ooh, flashes of oranges, yellows in there as well. There's quite an explosion of, of rainbow colour in here. Labradorite, nothing to do with the Labrador dog other than it was found in the Labrador Peninsula of Canada, also like, thought the, to be the dog. But other than that, there's no relation. Totally natural, what can we do for Labradorite? We love it. Number one, Jim, ooh, in 2012, <laughs> 13 and 14. 2015, you voted for Tanzanite, 695. What have you got with that price point? I like it, don't get me wrong. My favourite number. What wows it? Wow. Could we? Yeah, yeah of course Should, should we? Yeah, I think so, because it's such good quality. I know it, we're saying, though, it's good quality and it's 695, but it is because you've got all of that clarity in the shiller. Yeah, you Just do. Just because it's 695. Don't be fooled. Yes, don't, don't think there's something wrong with it or that it's supposed to be. It just happens to be. Where else could you get Labrador? Bear in mind, if you're joining in for the first time, I understand how you might think, look at this and think, well, well that can't be real. There must be something wrong or well, what's going on there. If you buy in bulk, you can get a discount. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people, and, and I'm finding this out a bit more recently and retail-wise, a lot of people are advised, when they purchase it at wholesale price, advised to do times by 2.5 for their wholesale price of what they sell things at. Which is fine, but therefore, when you get something like this, and we buy in bulk and we want to sell it quickly as if it's wholesale, then we can't afford to wait around for big, big margins. We'd rather have a smaller margin, but sell a bigger quantity quicker. And that's how we work, and that's how we've always worked. Um, because the cost of airtime is quite considered, and if you think about a shop, with no disrespect to the shops, because everywhere has their place, don't get me wrong, but in High Street, other than maybe something like Harrods or maybe Jenner's or... I don't know, Saks Fifth Avenue, you're not likely to get 100 people footfall-wise to come through the door within a minute. And you're less likely to get 100 people to buy the same thing. So for us, it's quickly, 100 people, because we go to a lower price, they go quicker. So we have smaller margins, but sell a bigger quantity. Does that make sense? So that's how it works for us. That's how it balances out. Although after tonight, I don't know if we'll be balanced. <laughs> <laughs> but enjoy that. That's a wonderful treat. It's not time for our Ethiopian Oval already, is it? I'm going to take you to a brand new low. It's a final star buy. I'm going lower than it's ever been before, taking it brand new low for everyone who's taking the time to watch this tonight. Why? Why not? Star buy time. <laughs> Wow, how amazing.
To think this gemstone was only discovered in Ethiopia in 2006. That's incredible, isn't it? 2006. That's 10 years ago. That's when I first started working in the genuine gemstone industry. It wasn't ever purchased by um, many, well, actually very few people. We were one of the first people, that the company I worked for at the time was one of the first people in the UK to introduce Ethiopian opals. And it wasn't until 2012, it was 2000, uh, sorry, 2011, forgive me. 2010, we first purchased our Ethiopian opals. We knew they were around in 2006, but there wasn't enough quantity or quality of the same calibre for us to buy enough to make into jewellery uh, on a previous channel I worked with, who we still buy our Ethiopian opals through, may I add. Um, and because of that, we waited, and we waited till 2010. And in November 2010, we found a quality and a quantity that we wanted to purchase for our first launch of Ethiopian Opals. And in 2011, in January, I launched them. Um, and they flew out, everything sold out. I think we managed to make about 15 designs and about 20 to 45 of each design. They completely sold out. And they were amazing, exceptionally popular. And over the past few years, we've been buying and buying and buying and by building a great relationship. In Ethiopia, many of you will know that they banned the rough export of it, so you can't buy it direct from the miners anymore. The mine is ridiculous. There's no way you would catch me up there. You no way you would get me anywhere close to there. It looks, don't get me wrong, I'd love to go to Ethiopia, but I would not like to be doing that. You have to go up to this massive ridge. On the edge of this ridge, you have to abseil down to the edge of the ridge and mine a metre of one to two metres, uh, sorry, a vein of one to two metres in depth. It's tiny and it's on a cliff, a huge, uh, have you seen the pictures of it, Sammy? Oh my gosh, it's huge. I don't have, oh actually, I don't, oh it's the biggest book in the world. I might have it in here. If I can find it, I'll show you. Here's opals. I wonder if it's got the Ethiopian ridge. It may or it may not. Probably no, my luck it won't. Might have it under E. Either way, um, the opals that you've got are amazing. We're going to bring the graphics in, we're going to get started, but join us as soon as you can. Because the, here we go. Ethiopian opal. There's the ridge. Look how big this is. Huge, right? There's the mine. There it is. Look how big this is. <laughs> so you have to get all the way up to the top. It takes about four and a half hours for them to get there. And then they have to abseil down to there and mine in that tiny, tiny, tiny two, two, one to two metre vein. <laughs> Hands up, who's going to do that? I love that. Emma thought about it and then thought better. <laughs> it was a, no, not happening. That's the mine. There's no JCBs, there's no massive digger. I can't think of another brand of diggers, but there's no big diggers in there. You've got your tiny little shovels that you've made yourself. The government have given some shovels as well and pickaxes, and that's how you get Ethiopian opals. This is a joke. This is real. That's why it took so many years to get anything of any quality. But imagine that. That's the mine where this came from. These are some of the highest calibre we've got. We've had opals up in three figures here in Jewelry Maker from Ethiopia. Look at the quality of these. Straight in at guess what? $59.95. But we're going to go to a brand new low. Never been seen before. It's only ever been seen once, but never at the price we were doing. It's previously been seen. And we're down to $39.95 on a first come, first serve basis. Uh, I've got multi purchases already straight in. This should not be as low as it is tonight. It's only because it's a star buy. Normally, with a star buy, I tend to try and bring you something that's brand new, but we can't do brand new every day. Um, we, we have at least kind of one or two treats that are brand new. We, we bring you very popular treats, but if I can do something on a price point, I will. If I try and shade it, you might get an idea of the quality from these, but these have been. Similar in drop styles, the quality have been up at £99 and £89 and £79. These should be, as you've seen, £59.95. Tonight we're dropping a huge £20 off to the lowest price ever. Been seen once before and not as low as £39.95. So congratulations to you on this one. I appreciate it's a wee bit considered um, compared to some of the other treats we've offered tonight, but not for what you can be no, paying for really Ethiopian not. Opal. That's usually £99, usually £89. 
for the Rondell strand of this quality to get anything near £50 is exceptional. Tonight I cannot congratulate or, or, or thank you enough uh, and a big thank you to our producer who managed to not only find this for us but also give us that amazing discount. Nobody else has had that discount before in this one and those watching tonight are getting it so a big thank you to you. Maria's in Ayrshire, you've got yours, Collectors in Northamptonshire, Essex in there, Oxfordshire, Newport Talbot, Tyne and Weir, Yorkshire, Dorset, Hampshire, Bristol. Do check it out as and when you can. What a discount. £20 off from where we should be at £59.95 per person. That's a big discount. We've got a good quantity there as well. We really do. Um, we had 95, so enjoy those 20 carats in that one strand. And we're barely even getting to see the quality of these stones. That's why you've got a 30 day money back guarantee to make your mind up. No rush. Take your time. Have a look next to other opals that you might see elsewhere. But please, please do enjoy that. I'm going to take over to Sammy. I don't know if you've managed to see it firsthand, Sam. No, but I can see them glowing from over there. And I, it's one of my favourite stones. Mainly because it also benefits the local community so much. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. By oh, keeping the mining within no. the community, Look it's wonderful. Every single one has just got fire, fire, fire all over Isn't it. Isn't it? They're exploding and you wouldn't expect that for that price point. No. Oh my gosh. Sammy, you've been so busy. Look at what you've been up oh, to. Oh no. You've <laughs> kept some of the spinel from your previous kit yeah. and you've made the most amazing <laughs> treats with this quartz. Um, their opal is still available. We're just going to uh, possibly bring on the price for the quartz, is that? If we've got it, we'll, we'll pop that on for the Mystic Blue Quartz. Did you have fun working with it, Sammy? I did. Yeah. Really good fun. Yeah. yeah. They, they, I mean, I would have done if I'd have known we had the gold beads, put gold beads with it. Oh, my I gosh. I couldn't find any because they were all over there. Yeah, probably. So <laughs> the gold beads look really good with it, don't they? They so. look amazing. Sammy, really quickly, do you know when you're next back with us? Don't worry if you don't. 6th of Feb. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. Morning, mid, early. Uh, that's different. I, li, mid, mid. Mid. Got She's on in the <laughs> afternoon. Between <laughs> one and five, you'll find her, her Sammy on the 6th of February. I can only thank you so much. Oh, you're amazing. No. Um, I'll be back live with you tomorrow <laughs> night and see you at Elvin. Um, have a lovely couple of days and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. We are live every day from 8am to 9pm. So come and join in and get creating with Jewelry Maker.